Well, this is it. Welcome to the final day of the Ultimate RV Show. Everything is exciting today. What a beautiful day, and what a great way to wrap things up. A piece of history happening here on a beautiful Sunday as we get ready to wrap up some incredible show deals as well. So much going on at Sean Parr, and what an amazing team we have on this stage joining me here today, and we are so excited to have you with us. If we haven't said this enough, Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping all of us make history and making your lives a little bit better with these incredible vehicles that you've decided you want to hit the highways across America in. We are going to have a very exciting day. Get this, you guys. We have had over half a million people join us for the Ultimate RV Show. Can you believe that? I'm blown away by that. Thank you so much for making this the biggest show in in this industry, and we hope you've found the RV of your dreams. Absolutely. Morgan, it's been a gorgeous week, hasn't it? Beautiful RVs, wonderful weather. Look at the sun. It's out this morning. Perfect day to buy. Listen, we have over 150 stores. We're open today. Come see us at Camping World, or if you want to shop and buy in the comforts of your own home, text EZRV to 32094, and our show specialist, they'll get you set up and ready to go. Let me tell you, being here at the Ultimate RV Show with you guys has been an honor for me. It's been a blessing. We still have ultimate prices, ultimate giveaways. If you're not registered at ultimatervshow.com, you're not going to get a chance to win. And of course, ultimate first looks. I've been honored to get a chance to work with my brother, Ian Baker. And I know right now, buddy, you are standing inside an all new rear kitchen Springdale. Tell me about it, big dog. Chris, my man, we are in the all new Springdale 1740 RK. Now, a couple things I do have to say, folks, for everyone watching at home, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a bittersweet feeling right here in my heart as this is the last day. But that being said, we have a great lineup, a ton of stuff, and this is one of them. The Springdale 1740 RK is a lightweight floor plan. You're looking at right around 4,000 pounds dry, so it is towable by some of your mid-size SUVs. And it's also a very versatile floor plan. As we go through, you will see that this one, even though it's at 4,000 pounds, still has a slide out, a Murphy bed, and has a ton of seating. Something else that has a ton of is countertop space. Folks, in a smaller unit like this, this is just not a common occurrence. But this is a rear kitchen, so it's a kind of all about the kitchen space, and you can see that right here. Something that I like, they did have enough space, they could have put like a drop-in TV, I know a lot of manufacturers do that, but again, I'm actually glad they didn't because in a smaller RV, I would much rather have huge space. Take a look at that. If you don't have enough room for pots, pans, pantry food in there, folks, you're just packing too much. So I love that you have a, a bunch of storage right there, a bank of three full extension drawers. Again, sometimes when you start getting into the RVs that are you know, in that lower 20 foot range, you only get one drawer, sometimes two, but they give you three so you can have room for flatware, your towels, anything else you want to bring with you, whether it's a, you know, a hand blender or apple core. I bring that a lot when I go make cutting up apples nice and easy. You'll have the space for it. The other thing that's great about this unit, folks, not only is it a little bit smaller in size, but take a look at that price. Brand new unit here for the Ultimate RV Show, folks. It's starting at $15,995 or $120 a month. You want to talk about a great opportunity to be able to get out, enjoy outdoors, get into that camping lifestyle. You know, we have a great pre-owned selection, but maybe you want something that's brand new for you. This is a great unit for it. Simply text EZRV to 32094 and you can lock in that pricing on this brand new 1740. Electrical outlets, we got a couple of them in the kitchen. You'll see one on this side right over here. So if you have something toward the end, maybe you have an electric griddle over there, something else you're cooking with, you have the capability to do it. Maybe if you were watching last night, a George Foreman, am I right? Huh? Huh? Right over here, you have some more space. I like this too because it's a perfect spot for like a coffee maker. You know, right there in the corner, you can have it here, grab your morning cup of coffee, be able to sit at the dinette and enjoy that. Or, you know, if you want to throw like a toast or something back there, by all means, you can do that too. 
Uh, as we take a look kind of along the top, you do have uh, some storage right next to the microwave. And again, kind of like the little more rustic wood look. And you know, I, I kind of see that there's a couple different uh, trends in this year. A lot of manufacturers either went with like the white cottagey look or a little more natural wood, and that's what you have here. So microwave there, you have the hood underneath, and I personally really like this, and that's open shelves. Um, this is kind of a trend that I see a lot of when you look at people that renovate their RVs. If you, you know, take a look at Pinterest and see what people are doing, a lot of people are tearing out see some of the closed uh, cabinetry in the kitchen and they will put in open shelving. And I was just waiting for some manufacturers to start incorporating it. And it looks like they did right back here, but that way you have easy access to plates, bowls, everything else. Now, when you travel, of course, you'll wanna take that down so things aren't falling out. But when you are at your destination, it does make those very easy to get to. Uh, something else I want to point out is the windows above the countertop. Anytime you have a little bit smaller RV like this one, you know, you start getting under 20 feet, you want to make sure you have plenty of lighting so you don't feel closed in. And folks, there's a ton of natural light. It feels very open, bright colors in here. And as you can see, because of all the room, there's also a slide out, which really opens it up. You can see the dinette. We'll talk about the, uh, more about that in just a moment. Right back here is the fridge freezer combo, opening that up. This one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. Couple of drawers right down underneath. And then in the rear corner here is the bathroom. So I'll take a step inside take a seat on the toilet. And so with this one, you know, again, I'm six foot, a uh, little over 200 pounds. You'll see with my arm up here on the countertop, it's actually pretty comfortable. I have great leg space. You know that my toes touch the tub, but I don't feel like, you know, I'm jammed or crammed at all. I mean, it's actually, they're in a very comfortable position. My arm's good here. Uh, definitely no issues with the toilet. The shower, when I take a step into the shower, folks, I'm six foot tall, you can see, I do have to duck down a little bit. Now this is pretty common when you start getting these smaller, lighter weight units because they, they try to lower the ceiling height. They try not to uh, raise it up too high because they know that you're going to be towing this again with a little bit smaller vehicle and you want as little wind resistance as possible when you're driving so that way you get better towability and you're not all over the road. You'll also see the mirrored medicine cabinet up top here, good countertop space right down below your sink, electrical outlet, and then a couple storage options. You have this one right here, which is great for any reading material or extra toilet paper, black tank chemical, and you will see that you have this section here too, which gives you the same access, plus you have additional storage right down below. So again, uh, you know, the, the bathroom is certainly very usable in this RV. Making our way out, right here on the wall is your thermostat. This will just control your furnace, but um, this one does have an AC unit and it is roof mounted. We'll see that in a little bit, but the controls forward are on that unit itself. And then your tank monitoring panel, water pump and water heater are all built in there. So let's take a look at the slide out because this is a slide out dinette, which is what really makes this 1740 so incredibly open. And again, to be able to get that and still stay at that 4,000 pound mark is pretty impressive. The dinette, you know, I'll scooch over. You can see I, I certainly have room for another person right here. I mean, you know, even as Chris said, with Fritz behind the camera being a big dude, you know, 6'7", what was it, Chris, 410 pounds, something like that, 425, I don't remember, but he's a big guy. There's still enough room for him right here. Uh, at six foot when I sit here, you know, he may, he may struggle a little bit there, but... Uh, I have no issue sitting underneath the slide, LED light, and again, big window, so that way it lets in just a bunch of natural light. The dinette table does drop down into a bed, so this one is able to sleep three people. Now, when I say this is a bed, if, if it's a full-grown adult, you know, again, someone my size, you're probably going to struggle a little bit just because of the length. You might have to curl up a little, but if it's uh, for a child, this is a great space. Something else that I always tell people that I really like is, you know, if... Again, if you're just getting out and you know, you're kind of dipping the toes in, maybe you have a really little one and they still sleep in a pack and play, this is a perfect spot for it because what you can do is when you drop this table down, if you remove all the cushions, it just gives you a big flat space that you can put the pack and play up on. Now, obviously you wanna make sure that you know, your child isn't climbing up on things. The last thing we want them to do is crawl out of the pack and play and fall and hurt themselves. 
But, you know, as long as they're not pulling themselves up and out, with this, you're able to get them up and out of the way, and you can still have good access to the bathroom or anything else that you need to reach. Uh, and again, it just kind of, you know, when we're talking about some, some RV tips and tricks, that's one of them I've used personally, and it does work pretty well. But if you take a look down underneath, so this is a, a raised slide is what they call this. You'll see that it comes up off the floor. And uh, again, the reason they do that is to try to keep the overall height of the RV down. If you see something that has a flush floor slide, what they basically do is they will take the bottom where the floor is right here and they will basically lift this up to the level of the slide. That way all of your mechanisms and everything can be underneath um, you know, to be able to drive that slide in and out. But what that of course does is raises the overall height of the RV. So a lot of times when you're looking at smaller ones like this, in order to keep that nice and low, instead they just raise the slide itself. And it really is, you know, it's not a big issue. It's very functional. You just step up into the dinette. Plus they added this right here. They gave you a little bit of additional storage so that way you're not wasting any space. Now, if we spin it around, this is uh, a lot of times in RVs, this is a make it or break it for people. And that is a Murphy bed. I personally like Murphy beds if it fits the situation, and in the 1740, I think it absolutely does. You have the dinette there, but a lot of people want alternative seating. Maybe you're going to have some guests over. You want another place to sit, and that's what this right here provides. Uh, this, of course, being a rollover sofa. Underneath, I do want to show you this. It does come with this bad boy right here right something like that um, but no so this is a big Bluetooth speaker cool thing about this uh, it has a place to hang it up so you can hang it up right here in the RV or if you want to take it outside right it's easily portable maybe the cool other cool thing is you can take this with you anywhere if you know you're planning on going uh, floating down a river on a tube something like that going out on a boat maybe you're going out on a hike and you want to listen to music maybe you're gonna you know take your wife out on a picnic you have a little bit of music to listen to there too. So uh, that is pretty nice. And of course, a Bluetooth capable. And as you will see, you do get some additional storage there right underneath. Now, the thing I personally like about this is if I'm coming in my camper, I can take my shoes off and kick them right underneath there. And now it's not cluttering up the main doorway. It's the same thing right over here. So you can kind of kick your shoes off right there. Or maybe you have a favorite pair of slippers. You know, if you want to throw them on this side, right? Kick your shoes off by the door, come over here, put on your slippers, be able to walk around and, you know, have some comfort, make sure your toes aren't getting cold. Now for the Murphy bed operation, let me show you how that works. So again, this is a rollover sofa. You'll see the leg right here. That leg is uh, adjustable. I'm actually gonna not put it down because I'm not gonna lay on it, but uh, you can adjust that leg to the right height. And then what you're going to do is pull this and then this just drops right down like so. And then here is your mattress. So you fold that out just like that. And now you have your queen bed. Now, here's the thing, right? If this were to constantly be here, if this were a fixed bed, as you can see, I mean, you just don't have a ton of space. You know, it blocks off this entire area, blocks off part of the entryway, and really just isn't very functional. But by giving you that Murphy bed, you get the additional seating, and it just really helps open up this main area. Something that is cool, though, when it is fully extended, is that you can see on both sides there are some cubby holes. So that's an excellent place if you have a CPAP machine or if you're charging your cell phones, you can put them in there. As you will notice, you have electrical outlets and USB ports on both sides. You have like this cool accent wall there and you will see that you have wardrobe on both sides too. If you want a TV, there is a spot for it. It'll show you right there where you are going to mount it at. Right up on the ceiling are your uh, connections for it. And then an additional shelf across the top here. If you, you know, want to put some other clothes up there or maybe just some decor, uh, that is probably the place you're going to want to put it. Let's take a quick look at some of the features outside and you'll see it is still a little swampy here. Let me see if I can avoid the swamp. Um, actually, let's come right up front. We'll start up front and then make our way back. So if we look up on the front here, a couple, couple of quick things. So this one right there is your 20 pound propane tank. You will see right here is your kind of diamond etched plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. 
And take a look at that, folks. The industry-leading three-year structural warranty. What does that mean for you? If you're looking to get into RVing, you know, again, you're just kind of starting to dip your toes in. You're like, yeah, I, I, this is something that I want to do. One of, a part of the reason people buy new instead of pre-owned is the fact that you get a warranty and that three-year warranty is currently the best in the industry. So if you're looking to get into something for a great price point, right here at the Ultimate RV Show, you saw this one is very affordable. You'll also get that excellent warranty on it so that way you have that peace of mind while you are out camping. When you take a look right here at the pass-through, you can see how open it is. It is a full pass-through. And what I mean by that is you have the same size door on the same size opening on both sides. You don't have any intrusions in there. So if you have some larger items, you can stick them in there, be able to grab them from either side. Adjustable power awning on here. So you touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in. You can see the LED light strip. Um, and then these are adjustable arms too, so it has an adjustable pitch. So uh, with that, you can do a couple different things. You can adjust both arms the same amount, which will lower the overall pitch, so that way you, know, you can kind of adjust with the sun and still have shade. Or something that else that's very common and recommended is that on the back, you have the pitch a little bit lower. That way, if you have any rain or condensation, it naturally runs to the back and not down on your campsite. You get these solid steps with this unit as well. This is something uh, that's come out you know, in the last couple of years here in the industry, and it really is a great system now. Obviously, the one leg is you know, in the middle of, uh, a, as I said, a little swamp right there, so you don't have a ton of support. But what I could do is I could actually extend that leg down a little bit further down in there so you do get more support because both feet are, um, are, are individual so that you can... You can move them at any length you want. They're fully adjustable, so if you have uneven ground, you can make it so the step is still nice and solid. That way you can walk up in there. Plus, it has aluminum treads, which means it's not going to rust. I'm sure you've been out there. You've seen some people that, you know, you fold the steps out. They're all rusty. No one wants that look, and you don't have to worry about it here with the solid steps. Electrical outlet outside, so if you need to plug anything in, that will be the place to do it. And as I duck underneath the awning, come take a look at this right here. So we open this up and again, you see a nice big opening. The other thing I like not only is the storage, but you have an electrical outlet in there. So if you need to bring tools with you and maybe you need a spot to charge your batteries, that right there is a perfect spot for it. Again, folks, this is the brand new Keystone Springdale 1740 RK. We have an amazing price here at the Ultimate RV Show. To lock in that price, simply text EZRV to 32094. And remember, we have show specialists standing around to help you out. Maybe this isn't the perfect one, but it's in the size you're looking for. Our show specialists can help you navigate to make sure we're going to find the perfect RV for you. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chris Young for the Ultimate RV Show. I am here because Coleman Power Sports is available at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. It's all about having fun with the kids and the family. I'm going to show you just a few models that we have available, but as always, please, I want you to think safety first. Think about wearing that protective gear, the helmets, the gloves, the pads, the whole nine. I want you to think about that when I show you all of this, especially for the kids. Speaking of, let's start with something for the kids. How about the Coleman CK100S Go-Kart? Easy steering. You got a rugged four-wheel drive tires all the way around. 
If you come back here in the back, you're gonna notice right behind this rugged four-wheel drive tire, you got hydraulic disc brakes. Easy pull handle start, three horsepower, 98 cc engine with the proven and rugged clutch and chain drive. Easy to start. You're looking at probably, I'd say 150 pounds max weight on this. Easily get up to 15, 20 miles an hour. Foot brakes, pedals, easy to use. And we have the safety harness right there, or as I like to call it, the four corner contact harness. Making sure that safety is paramount even when the kids are having fun. Got the solid roll bar and there's also padded up here and you have the mesh pack right there. Just love it. It's all about the fun and enjoyment when you go out camping. Now, if you got a kid that's looking for an ATV, how about the Coleman Scrambler? This is the 125. 290 pound max capacity, easily get up to 200 or to 200 miles an hour. No kids, you're not gonna be able to do that, but you can get up to 20 miles per hour. You got a great up front, got a great on the back, so if you wanna do some hauling, you absolutely could. Rugged four wheel drive tires. And Bobby, check this out. Look at these tires over here on the side. We're gonna to get to that in a minute. But you see those orange knobs right here? This makes the tires weighted, so it's harder to flip. More safety, more safety. Semi-automatic clutchless shifting system. Got the brakes right there. It's a CDI ignition. And underneath, you got the dual front A-arm suspension. Take a look at that A-arm right there with the suspension. Got the shock absorbers here. Lights. This one is gonna be fun. Your rear, your reverse, your neutral, and your drive. We're all right here on this side. 290 pound max weight on this one too. LED system right up front. So you got the LED readout screen right there that's gonna tell you how fast you're going, if you have any, you know, how much gas you need, the whole nine. So let's go over here and let's talk about some bikes. We got go-karts, we got ATVs for the kids. We also have bikes for the kids and the adults. Up first, is the Coleman CT200U. Now, this is one of those bikes that I had when I was a kid. I loved it. It had the big bench seat right here. It was comfortable. I got the rack on the back if I want to transport some stuff. Rear drum handle operated brake. Look at the fat four-wheel tires on this too. These are low pressure tires. Easy pull start operation on this one as well. And it has a powerful 196 cc engine. And you're looking at 200 pound capacity on this one. I'm 200 pounds. Yep, maybe if I'm lucky. Okay, right over here, we got, I like to call these the scooters. These adults, kids, I mean, obviously for adults, once again, safety is gonna be paramount. This is the CK100. Front hydraulic forks on this one. You got a 49cc air-cooled four-stroke engine with that CDI ignition system. 330 pound max capacity on this one. Plus you got front and rear hydraulic disc brakes on this one too. It also has rear mono shock on it too. This is just a comfortable, stylish way to get around town. And you know how fuel efficient they are. So when you go camping, this is great if you have a toy hauler, even if you have one of those RVs that you could easily put this in. This is great to take with you if you want to try to get around town, you know, do your thing a little bit. You need some space, put the uh, bags on the back. There you go, got the beautiful mirrors. And these are all DOT approved as well. So uh, you can easily take these on the road. So bikes, ATVs, power sports, power sports, power sports. Now, I'm gonna come over here to some ATVs. Bob, take a look at this beautiful right here. Coleman Delphi. This one is the UT250 hard shell. It looks like it's tight, but kids or adults can easily get in there. Here, Bobby, I'm gonna open up this side for you so you can see. Got the solid doors. Got the safety belts, and the great thing is about these too, this will not start unless the safety belt is attached. You got the handle here, the grab handle for security. It's heavy weighted on the bottom, so it's not gonna flip on you. Hydraulic disc brakes all the way around. Once again, if you look up underneath that dual front A-arm suspension and a semi-automatic clutchless shifting system. Take a look on the inside before we get back here to the back, Bobby. Take a look on the inside, comfortable seats. Grab handle, have a LED readout just below my odometer. Got your lights, hazards, turn keys, signals, high and low. And oh, what is this? A winch right below my 12 volt plug. Yes, we come around to the front. This one has a winch on it. 
Strong one too. Automatic winch. Look at that. 290 pound max capacity on this one. Cover. Got the adjustable mirrors on the side. This is, for being an ATV, this is a fun ATV. Sure, I got the rugged rubberized back here, so if I needed to haul some stuff, I could. I got the rugged four-wheel tires, but this is also fun. This is a fun vehicle right here. Now, another one, if you're looking about a, a UTV, because some people will take these with them in their toy haulers, and it's about, you know, oh, sure, you know, we take it to the beach, we ride around in it, but we also know we have to pull some stuff, but we also like to go to the mountains. Let me introduce you to the UT400. This is a four-wheel drive unit right here. 3,500-pound winch on the front. Take a look at that. So if you needed to pull some stuff out of the way, you absolutely could. Rugged and beautiful all at the same time. Headlights enclosed, four-wheel drive. Once again, that push button's four-wheel drive. And this has a 392cc water-cooled single overhead cam four-stroke engine on it. <gasps> Man, this is one that your boy would be taking with him. So come back here to the back, four-wheel drive. Get that out of there. Yes, this does lift up if you need it. So if you needed a dump, you got the dump. And there you go, Bobby, you got that side. Look at that, hydraulic. And underneath, you get to see that 392cc water-cooled single overhead cam four-stroke engine. 400 pounds capacity on this bench seat right here. Once again, will not start unless the seat belt is connected. Plus you have the solid cage, you got the roll bars that are padded safety and security LED readout right here on the display 12 volt plug you got your winch operation down here brakes and uh, speaking of brakes um, Bobby have you seen Kalen with my have you seen Kalen with my uh, go-kart no oh I hear Kalen with of course no power sports would be complete without a go-kart and here comes my buddy Kalen <laughs> Wheeling in. <laughs> need this? Yes, we do need that. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. This is the 200. Ground clearance is 5.9 on this one. Wheelbase is 75 inches. You got disc brakes, nine horsepower, front and rear hydraulic discs, automatic CVT clutch, load capacity is 400 pounds. And once again, a four stroke, one cycle, 200 cc engine. Kaylin, how was that driving around? Uh, how long did it take you to notice that I had taken it? <laughs> Let me tell I'm not gonna lie. I was I was worried because I was like, okay, what? Oh God, where's my golf cart? I thought for sure because so many people have been so interested in this BK200 golf cart that we found it extremely difficult just to get our hands on one to, you know, kind of show you what it's all about. You got the four point harnesses here on the seats, padded. You got the floodlights up top, the roll bar with the pads here that's covered, safety secure, and just all around beautiful. This BK200, if you're looking for a fun go-kart, this is gonna be the one. Now, I'm also surprised you didn't have me in there because you knew I'd have been grabbing that handle while oh, you yeah. were going to town. Your old crap handle. <laughs> <laughs> but how did it handle? How easy was it and how smooth was it? Oh, it's so easy to handle. I'm not typically super comfortable mm -hmm. uh, in recreational vehicles, I right. guess you should say. Right. Um, but I mean, that's not the first time I've taking her for a spin so, right yeah no i'm very comfortable in it easy to drive forward neutral and reverse you know plus you got the automatic clutch you don't have to worry about changing anything got lights all around got the adjustable mirrors beautiful and sleek that's a go-kart i know you're probably gonna try to take home with you i am not gonna lie i've thought about it a couple times <laughs> <laughs> well the ultimate rv show has proven you that it's so much more than just rvs we got power sports and if you want more information just check out campingworld.com or drop camp down in the comment or text camp at 32094. We would love to see you check out how we are doing with these power sports.
Sean Parr, back at the Ultimate RV Show. Got to tell you about another amazing partner, WineGuard Company, the leader in connectivity and many solutions. Over-the-air TV, satellite TV, it's all important when we're out in the RV. Let's not forget, through Wi-Fi and 4G LTE, that's how we're going to get you all that internet that you need when you're on the road. They've got simple solutions to get you connected. I'm talking about WineGuard Company, the leader in connectivity. In a perfect world, you're always chasing adventure and relaxation in your new RV. But in the real world, life happens. That's why Camping World offers a suite of added protection products for our buyers. If the unthinkable happens, added protection from Good Sam will protect your RV and your wallet for the road ahead. Ask your Camping World dealer about Good Sam protection for your RV. Thanks so much, Ian, for showing us that Springdale. That was an awesome little travel trailer, right, Sean? I am having so much fun dancing right? around. Look at these deals that we're doing today. Yeah, seriously. And I'm a big fan of those power sports, Chris, so I got my eye on that, that gator over there. Uh, <laughs> look at you. And all she wants to do is all weekend, she wants to go have some serious fun, and she has been, as we all have, <laughs> thanks to you that have been checking in. And we're going to be heading into some family trailers, a great segment for all of us. It's the Ultimate RV Show, which means ultimate pricing and um we're going to sweeten the deal right now here's what we're going to do Ooh. the first 10 people that check in are going to get an additional one thousand dollars off in our next segment no all way. right think about this for just a moment all right the next 10 people are the first 10 people that check in easy rv text it to 32094 or just call the number 866-853-3510 we're getting excited because this next segment and this particular trailer, one of the most versatile ones ever. Take a look. Let me tell you, th that's pretty daggone awesome, guys. Sean, Elise, thank you. Yeah, Chris Young here. Uh, I am in one of the most versatile travel trailers ever, but hearing that, that the next 10 people who takes Easy RV to 32094 get an additional thousand bucks off, that is, is huge. Because right now, I am doing a segment known as, <laughs> what is Chris doing now? No, this is travel trailers for families over 30 feet. And right now I'm sitting in the all new Forest River Salem 29 V-Bud, which stand the V-B-U-D. The versatile, but everybody dang is gonna love this thing. That's what that stands for when you walk in. Look, I'm sitting on the Versa Lounger right now and you got the beautiful angled entertainment space right here with the sound bar. I got my component shelf, my place to hang stuff. I got the lodge style decor right here. I got my TV backer. But take a look at how nice the fireplace looks. Got a little bit of a chill here this morning. You know, fall's beginning to roll in, which means it's a great time to hop on the opportunity for you to get your brand new RV. There's no better time than right now. Not only with the season, you got the year change coming up, but with the Ultimate RV Show, Hey, bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a beautiful hodgepodge of awesomeness, which was my nickname in college. So here we are with the 2021 Forest River Salem 29 V-Bud. Sleep six easily. This one, the dry weight's roughly 9,700 pounds, 9,615. 36 feet, four inches long, but wait until you see the versatility that's in here. This one has two queen beds. Just wait, hang with me. Right now, this one starts at $31,995 where as low as $233 a month. But here's the deal. If you like this floor plan or you like this specific unit, you need to text EZRV32094. Leave us a comment down below, EZRV. There's somebody standing by who can virtually walk you through this camper. You can also just come in and see one. Just come on in. We got over 150 locations, over 25,000 RVs. We have what you're looking for. But if you say, Chris, it's Sunday, I am not leaving my couch. Dig it. I dig it. We'll walk you through. We'll answer your questions. We'll get you to finance, get you paperwork, and get the camper brought to you. You got a trade in? Guess what? We're going to come get that as well. Good Sam Assurance Program is rolling. Guaranteed best offer or a thousand bucks cash. Kev, I want you to try to get this whole thing in right here. Over here on the off-camp side, we have a super slide that houses our living area, our versatile entertainment space. This is what's known as the Versa Lounger. 
Now, Forest River implemented this, and I gotta tell you, I was skeptical at first when I saw the design for it, and I saw that there was something they were gonna be putting in, I said, I don't know if it's gonna work. I just don't see how the form and functionality is gonna work. But once you get in and you see all the options, look, I got a chaise lounge. If I wanted to just chill and kick up, they still room for Kev to get by if he wants to. Like I mentioned yesterday, Kev is 6'9", 318. Used to be two professional wrestlers. The boy is big, and we got plenty of room to get in here. But you got your sofa right here, which Jack knifes out, so this could be a sleeper. These cushions move. So if you wanted to make this a booth dinette like it is now, or a U-shaped dinette, you absolutely can. But not the most versatile thing about it. How about versatile options for storage? Yes, you have these under every part in this camper. Check it out. If you're, so my wife is great at organization. I am not. She is amazing at it. She would love having these because with the under storage here, sure, you can take these out and put them in the pass through storage if you want to. Or you could say, this is where we're gonna put the toys. This is where we're gonna put the, the clothes. This is where we're gonna put the fishing tackle, the what, whatever. Versatility, comfort, and options, they nailed it with this one. And I love how plush and comfortable these are. Now this is pretty easy here. You actually just take this out, if I can get it. And you bring it on to the other side. Just slides right in. And boom, oh, we get the cushion out the way. And boom, now I have myself a U-shaped dinette. So, if I wanted to have the chaise lounge, or I wanted to have my reconnection space, come over here. I mean, if you think about it, if you're looking to sleep six or more people, or if you're a couple that has dogs, or you want to do that family trip, you know, hey, we're going to bring the other couple along with us, or we're going to go in together and get this so that we can set it up down at the beach, maybe do some seasonal camping, set it up at the mountains, set it up at the state park, or just set it up wherever you want, go in together. You have two separate areas where you can sleep, but one great main living area where everyone can reconnect. I got style and comfort all in one as well. Beautiful wood valances with a modern decor, large panoramic windows. I open these up, I get cross breezes. This reduces down into a sleeper. The sofa reduces down into a sleeper. You could easily get two people here if you wanted to. We say one, you know, but you could easily get two people here. But just think about the fun you would have if you needed to get six people in here. Everybody was kind of just sitting there laughing, enjoying that camp cooked meal, playing some cards, having that Sunday conversation, or watching the TV, enjoying the fireplace, checking out some of that Sunday foosball, which I know my bears are gonna win again this week, so I'm excited about. This is one of these campers that if you're looking for that type of situation, you need something just a little bit over 30 feet because you want some of that space, you need versatility to sleep some cats, this is the one for you. And once again, this is the Forest River Salem 29 V-Bud. Starting right now, $31,995 or as low as $233 a month. My favorite room in this camper, I'm gonna get to the pantry and everything here in a minute, but I got my solid pocket door right here with the magnetic clasp, so if I wanted to close it, but look at the space that we have right here, up and down and left and right. Wide pass through, you're not gonna be cramped. The most versatile room in this camper. Not only do I have a doggy door slash extra entrance slash for the Keebler elves to come in right here, but look at the room, the beautiful, and I got my little piano bench right here. Saturday night's all right, we'll fight in. Saturday night's all right, all right, all right. So this is actually a place where you could sit, enjoy each other's company. You got the dual USB charging ports. You do have a cable connection up there, so if you wanted to plug in a TV, you absolutely could. But this is a bunk room. Right now, I just have it set up so we can kind of sit back and show you, but look at how the bunk comes out. So, well, actually, multiple areas of bunks. This folds down. We got ourselves a queen bed right here. That comes down. 
right there. So you got a queen bed. Got myself a bunk up here. And a bunk right cha. Oh, hang on. I was doing a little bit of light reading in here. Kev made me a bet and said, I bet you can't read. And I proved him right. I had the book upside down, didn't even know it. <laughs> I just look at the words and shake my head. You know, it's just my thing. Windows, cross, lights, got my own AC up here. Yep, second AC for this room. You could easily sleep two adults here, one up here, one over here, or the kids, or the dogs, or whatever you wanted. You got some storage over here with the little totes. I mean, come on, man. Dual USB charging ports on both sides. For versatility, space, comfort, Forest River nailed it with this one. Plus, you know, since it's Forest River, the way they do their manufacturing, they like to reduce and reuse, so they're shrinking that carbon footprint. But by doing that, allows them to pass along a lot of savings to you, which is why, even with the great insulation, the enclosed underbelly, all that stuff, all those features that one of our industry specialists can go through with you one by one that I won't be able to right now just because we're at the Ultimate RV Show, they can explain to you how all of that stuff works. How does it come into play? What's the manufacturing on the slide? Take a look at that beautiful decor, by the way. The light on the dark accents, just beautiful. So text Easy RV to 32094. Got myself a little push button light here for the pantry. Good storage space. But if you want to use this trailer as a, you know, if you want to use this RV as a hunting cabin, fishing cabin, guess what? You could, if you buy it, you can use it for whatever you want. Large 10 cubic foot, ever chill fridge freezer combo, runs on 12 volt. So this will be running when you go down the road, your stuff won't, you know, go bad on you. Or if you have that good fish, you just drain the lake and you come back, you got enough room to put it in there. It's not gonna go bad when you get home and open up that door when you get home and it's like, woo, hey honey, you wanna come help me? You know she's gonna say no. Recessed, flat, got the three burner cooktop with the grill style cover right here. Got my LED accent lights there. Got my oven to do some cooking. Frosted glass in in inlay with that decorative glass, I like it. Plus, with this one being over 80 inches high, you know, you're, you're allowed to get more space in your storage as well. Not only do you get more air room and it makes it feel, uh, you know, airflow room, not only do you get more of that, but you get more of that feel of it being a residential style suite almost. 50 50 split right here on this undermounted sink, solid. Got the graphite style fixture here on my sprayer nozzle, reaching both sides. Solid surface countertop, plenty of room. Nice, big, beautiful window here to get me going with what's on, on going on on the outside. Just versatile space, style, and comfort. Even got my coat hangers right here when you walk in, giving it that sweet chalet, chateau, lodge type of feel. As a matter of fact, Forest River, I know this is a 29 v bud. just change it to the S-C-L, what did I say, Kev? Sweet chalet, lodge, chateau, y'all figure it out. I love the v bud. love it. Got my plastic bowl with the foot flush right here. We're coming in at an angle because the shower is this Neo angle shower. Solid surface, single surround. Got the big skylight with the glass doors in here. Got my corner notches to store my stuff. My shower nozzle. I am not cramped at all. Plus, when you want the privacy, you got that glass right there. It's got the texture to it, so you're not going to have any issues. The storage is actually behind the entertainment center over here. So I know it's a little tight, Kev, so but just trust me. You got three shelves here that are separated down the middle. You got good storage space right there. You got my sink. Oh, it's on the... We got the little rope to hold it in place. These right here, is a little, it's a little suspension rope that holds the... Uh, vanity mirror in place so when you transit them will be bouncing around it's a pretty nice little touch medicine cabinet there single basin sink with those brush nickel fixtures got me some storage space right there this is just i gotta tell you first time walking into this one was uh, today here at the ultimate rv show which is what i like about the ultimate rv show we get a chance to show you rvs that are brand spanking new fresh off the press literally uh, and i've been blown away by a lot of the options that we've seen out here. And with this being the last day of the Ultimate RV Show, 
uh, you know, these deals are only gonna last through the end of today. So if you've been sitting on the fence, now's the day to, to jump. You're not gonna, there's no, there's no skin in the game for you. If you reach out and you talk to someone and say, hey, what's it gonna look like if I finance? Tell me what the options are. You know, we got the best options on the planet when it comes to financing. Just walk through the process. What, what's the harm? What's the harm? Got your boxes right here for storage. Pass-through storage is accessible from underneath. Strut supported, plus I got the mirrored wards on both sides. Got my USB charging ports on both sides. And of course, you know, not to be outdone, we got ourselves a little storage closet right there with the push button light. So, 2021 Forest River Salem 29 V-Bud, probably one of the most versatile travel trailers I have seen to date. Hang on, Kevin, I'm gonna get you there, buddy. All right, so, um, Versa Lounge, Versa Bunk Room, double access points. The only thing that I could think could possibly make this one better would be if it had a little space for an exterior kitchen. Do you think it has an exterior kitchen, Kev? Yeah, baby. Let's go check it out. Sunday morning fun day when you come out here and the sun's rising up. Get your coffee. You come out and you got the beautiful big awning with the LED light underneath. And right here, ready for me to pull it out and just griddle up some hot cakes, some bacon, and some eggs is my Suburban flat top. On the slide with my little mini fridge right here. So if I wanted to keep the kids apple juice, the orange juice, my coffee creamer, I could right there. Let the stuff start to cooking. Sit on my camp chair, lean up against my camper and just take a look and just enjoy things. And oh, hey Bob, good morning, man, good to see you. That's one of those things where until you experience it, the only thing you can do is dream about it. But at the Ultimate RV Show, we're giving you a chance to turn that dream into a reality as easy as possible. I mean, right now, this one starts at $31,995 or as low as $233 a month. You can't beat that for space like this. Got my cable connection here, my power ports right there. Got my LED backlit speakers, my spray port, my fresh water fill. Come back here on the rear. You'll see I got my 4x4 sewer hose storage. Got my leveling jacks. This is set up for backup camera. Plus, we got those arch ceilings, which you know, you'll hear me say a lot. That helps keep all the rain and the elements off the camper. Got the spare tire. But, but gang, look. I would love to go through and tell you how awesome each and every one of these campers are. How wonderful, you know, what's the difference between aluminum and, and fiberglass and what's the insulation mean? What's the R rating mean? But our industry specialists are standing by to do that. Ian and I are out here trying to show you over a hundred RVs in a five day span. That's a lot to pack in, but that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, Text Easy RV to 32094. Get in on this one starting at 31995 or as low as 233 a month. The Forest River Salem 29 V Bud. I got more campers over 30 feet for the families coming up in just a minute. Hang on, Ultimate RV Show is rocking on a Sunday. I am Ian Baker, joined by my good friend David. We are at the ultimate campsite for the ultimate RV show, and we have the ultimate deal. Folks, well, I'm talking about a weight distribution hitch, something everyone should have for a travel trailer. David, take it away, my friend. We have two different hitches today. Why don't you tell us about both? All right, so our friends at Camco with the Easy Lift, their Easy Lift division, have brought out their uh, entry level here. This is the, uh, uh, the 800 pounder. And we also have a thousand pounder over on the uh, truck setup. We'll look at in just a minute. But again, with these, it's the chain style, get you started. This is a, a great price point to get in. And if you just can't go for one of the other styles, love this hitch, very sturdy, very durable. Um, Easy Lift makes great when it comes to durability. Okay. I'll tell you, they, they beef everything up. Okay. Uh, the bars are thicker, the chains are bigger. Uh, I mean, everything about their stuff, their equipment, the brackets are, are bigger. So if you're looking at some of the others, you might know the name brands a little better. Easy Lift definitely outdoes them when it comes to the durability and the size and the bulkiness of it. I really love the way they do their stuff. Okay. okay? So again, here we have one that's already set up. It's uh, got the hog head with a two and five, six, 
uh, two and five sixteenths ball. Okay. Uh, the sway control ball on the side. Whenever you get the kits, they already have these pre-installed. Which is what this one is. Correct. The yep. only thing you have to do is if you have one that is uh, smaller, like a smaller travel trailer that needs a two inch ball, just you would have to change that if you got the kit. Sure. So but but it, com it comes with the sway bar here as well. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. So the sway bar, uh, that will need to be installed. So again, our professionals at Camping World and Gander, okay. uh, we could definitely have them installed from the uh, in the shop. Uh, they'll basically drill this into a plate right on the side of your A-frame. Okay. And they have to do you know, many measurements. So yep. always yep. remember that. Yes. You don't want to definitely tackle this yourself if you're not really into doing that. Yeah, because okay? you have to have a torque wrench, make sure everything's torqued up right. And... Yep, yep. Very much so. All so right. So with these, you basically put them all together. We'll actually show you over here on the thousand pounds. So if we want to go over here and check it out. Before we do, I just yeah. must say, folks, if you're interested in this, you're going to want to call 866-235-8751 or text CAMP to 32094 or put CAMP in the comments section. David, let's go check out the, be the beefy boy, the big all one. All right. So we have the thousand pound distribution already set up here for us. All right, so again, this is exactly what you're seeing. The saddle bracket's in place, the chains are in place, nice and sturdy. This bad boy hooked up. We could pretty much just hook up a couple more things, put a little power on it, and we could go. Sway bar on away. the other side there. Looks like that's all hooked yep, up too. Yep, sway control's already set up. You basically set that to the desired uh, pressure that you need. Okay. Uh, if you start feeling some down the road, you might go back and tighten it up a little bit more, uh, or you can loosen it if it feels like it's, it's not moving with you, not flowing with you. But again, this is uh, a great just starter setup. All ultimately, you just got to have something. You know you always got to have a weight distribution. Now, now, David, tell me. So we have the 800, we have the 1,000. Is this one of those situations where bigger is always better? No, you want to make it sure it's dedicated to the size of your camper. Okay. Don't go too far. Don't, don't go too high. Uh, you're going to get a really rigid ride with those with too strong of bars. If the bars are too strong, your RV, you'll feel the ride just jerking you, bouncing you. It hurts. Okay. So, again, you want to get one that springs. That's what they are. They're spring bars. They curve. That's what all these are for is they have a little bit of give to them. Okay. Yeah. And, and with that, because they are essentially, you know, like you said, that you want to size them correctly. It's not that one is necessarily better than the other. We'll have the same pricing on both. Yes, exactly. And exactly. it is great not pricing. Trying to, yeah, we want to make sure you have the right hitch, but we're going to make sure the pricing is there for you either way. Perfect. Yep. David, why don't, you, uh, why don't you hit us with some pricing? All right, so regular price on this and the 1,000 pound, $439.99 for regular price. Okay. Ultimate RV yes, show. Here we are. Man, Ultimate RV show promo, $368.38. Good gracious. But if you're a Sam member. Yes, sir. Three forty nine ninety seven. Really? Three forty nine ninety seven. Under three hundred and fifty bucks for your weight distribution Come in, hitch. Yes, and it's all of it. It's all of it. Sometimes you hear people they start getting you with the ball and all. This. Yeah, this oh, is yeah no, this is the kit. This is the whole thing. thing. Boom! Yes. Hook it up. Good to go. Yes, sir. Towing your trailer, nice and safe. You're ready to ride, folks. You heard it. Under three hundred and fifty dollars if you're a good Sam member for either the eight hundred pound or the thousand pound easy lift weight distribution hitch. The number to call is eight six six two three five eight seven five one or text camp. That's C A M P to three two zero nine four or type camp in the comments section on the platform you're watching and you will lock in that offer. Thanks, David. No problem, man. Love it. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Ian and Chris. I'm loving these walkthroughs, and I know you guys are too, because you've been checking in online at ultimatervshow.com. Also, you can text EZRV to 32094 or call our 800 number. It's 866-853-3510. Join the conversation. Here's the best news of all. So, like, say Ian is showing you something, or Chris is out there showing you something. You say, you know what, Sean? I miss the storage under that bed, or I want to see how many TVs they have. I, I want to see a little bit more. We've got our show specialist standing by that will give you your own personal walkthrough. You want to see the outside. You want to see the more of the inside. You want to see how the table comes down. Whatever it is, our show specialists right now are standing by so you can shop from home and tell them exactly what you want to see. And I love that, right? Right, and don't forget, we have over 150 Camping World locations, so there is one near you, we promise. <laughs> Absolutely. All you do is check in online again, Easy RV. Just text it to 32094, or you can call that 800 number again, 866-853-3510. The, the conversations, the comments, all the things we've seen for the last five days so great. have been amazing. Right. And we can't thank you guys enough. Seriously, it's the Ultimate RV Show. We've got Ultimate Giveaways coming up. 
And we're going to have an ultimate winner here soon after this next session, Sean. I love that we give away so much stuff. And this is right? a biggie, right? Yeah. So we've got, someone's going to win a $500 merch certificate. Okay. So stand by. We've been giving away the, the mini bikes, you know, right. the Coleman beautiful bikes. We've been giving away those awesome go-karts and a lot of gift cards. A whole camper. $500. <laughs> We've been giving away RVs for RVs. goodness <laughs> sakes. And campers. So $500 is a lot of money. We've got a lot more to come. And I know you're just getting started with us here on the final day. But don't forget, you want something, you see something, you got to get your name on it. Let's check back, at, check back in and see how we went from the ultimate RV show to the Outback. Crikey. This one's fat as mud. Now, I wish I was in the Outback, but I am in an Outback, uh, which is what I like to call the Swiss Chalet of campers. The Keystone Outback Ultralight Series is one of my favorite lines because with Keystone, you have top-of-the-line manufacturing, you're going to have top-of-the-line features, uh, and you're still going to have form, functionality, and affordability. For example, the one that I'm in right now, the 2021 Keystone Outback Ultralight 291 UBH, which is a bunkhouse model, can easily sleep six or more. Dry weight, 8,200 pounds, hence the ultralight. And this one starts at 35,995 or as low as 262 a month. Now, this one is 33 feet, 8 inches. This whole segment is about family travel trailers over 30 feet. You're going to see a lot of comfort, style, and space in all the ones that I'm showing you. But since we're in the Outback, I thought Miss Cassandra had made me this lovely cup of coffee this morning for a beautiful Sunday. So I'm going to sip it as we go through the chalet because when you're in the Swiss Alps and you're in this opulence, why not enjoy mm, a slow roasted pour over while you enjoy a slow walk through. Seamless countertops right here. Wait a minute, hang on, let me do my Sean Parr. If only I had the voice like Sean Parr, I could be making it look like Sean Parr could. I love that dude, man. <laughs> I freaking love it. Stainless steel, undermounted farmhouse sink. I got the high rise faucet, the graphite with the sprayer handle matching, you know, just catch so I can reach all the corners. Take a look at the texture that we have here on this solid surface countertop. Seamless, you have the very light appearance, but these lines give it that marbleish, just beautiful dark accents that really makes this inviting and warm. Shaker style cabinet, solid wood, got the graphite style fixtures all the way around, gonna have plenty of space as well. Plus, I got my flush mounted microwave right here. I got my three burner cooktop with the glass cover here, LED accent lights on my oven controls. Got my oven right there, got me some more storage under here, just a little shelf right there. And if I needed it, I have an extendable countertop right there. So we could lift that up if I needed an additional cutting board, if I needed more space, you got it. Dometic 10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo right here, runs on both gas and electric. Plenty of room when you're looking at taking those long trips. You know, maybe you want to set something up that's, you know, going to sit for a while. going to do some seasonal camping. The, the insulation inside of these are rated from zero to 100 degrees. So, you know, you could do technically that four seasons camping. But listen to me. Look at me. Listen to me. That's what I tell my kids every day. And I miss them, so I haven't had a chance to say it to them. When you text 32094, you text Easy RV to 32094, you drop the comment down below, Easy RV. Your industry specialist is going to walk you through what that means. What is four season camping? Be sure to ask them and tell them, hey, what does that mean? And here's what I'm going to do with my camper. Ba 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 ba. Go through all that entire list. Just run the gamut. Let them walk you through the options and give you the best camper so you can have the best experience. The angled entertainment center right here, frosted glass inlay with the solid cabinets. Take a look at the storage that I have here. TV is on a swivel. Got my component shelf, storage right there, my Jensen AM FM control center with dual zone plus CD and DVD. Got some more storage down there. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, Chris, this, this can't be all the storage. All of these campers I'm gonna show you are versatile. They all have some versatility options that are outstanding. This one, for example, has the hinged door to give us the hideaway pantry. I even have some hangers right here. So if you have those jackets or 
Kavu bags, whatever, you know, backpacks, whatever. You can put them right here. But take a look at the shelf space, the storage that I have in here. I got my little suspension netting, put my trash can right there. Got my solid wood construction full extension on the ball bearing drive drawer right here that's deep. Great spot for the cereal boxes, those pantry items. Fishing lures, tackle boxes. Come on, Fritz. We were talking about hitting the lake this morning, man. Get out there and catch us some steals, man. Rolling. And magnetic. So when you're ready to lock it up and push it away, you got the magnetic clasp right here, which helps keep this in place. So it's not going to be it's not going to be one of those situations where when you're in transit, it's all of a sudden going to be open. Mainly because of that, but also mainly because over here on the off-camp side, my slide is housing the Thomas Paine leather recliners. These are comfortable and awesome. Plus, pull up the handle, they kick out, you can chill. Got my power port right here. Watch the TV. If we're at the lake, the mountains, the beach, wherever, can open up these windows, get the cross breeze going, get some of the largest in-class windows inside this slide. Plus my LED lights, my wood valances with the leather. Comfort, style, beauty. It's a chalet. Got the dinette over here that is legless. If you see right here, this is called the dream dinette. The dream dinette means the table is on this wedge that brings it up and down and locks it into place. And then when you're ready to make it a bed, you just push it down. But the pro about the dream dinette is there's no legs underneath that you have to knock your knees on. Sometimes your booth will have that bang and ah! If you're gonna fit four people in here to do the reconnecting, once again, it's about the comfort and it's about the enjoyment. So when you're sitting with the loved ones, you know, you, you and your wife, you're, you and your spouse, you and the family, whatever, you just got finished cooking a great meal over there on that beautiful campsite kitchen. You come back over here to sit down, enjoy your coffee, look out the panoramic windows, enjoy the views, and just reconnect and disconnect and reconnect. Because let's be honest, when was the last time you got a chance to get out and enjoy each other's company? I'm waiting for you to respond. Think about it. Turn to your loved one and say, when was the last time we got out? Maybe we should. It's the safest way to see America. The easiest way to see America. And you get to take your stuff with you because you're in your house. Barn style door, look at how beautiful this is. Look at that light on dark. That's pretty in the fritz. That's some good looking stuff, man. Got a true pass through bathroom, giving you a great separation of space in here. Porcelain bowl angled with the foot flush. Plenty of countertop prep space here if I need it. Got my power port so I can plug in my flat iron, my curling iron, my hair dryer, my, my shaving soap warmer, my towel warmer. You see where I'm going, this is chalet. Got the mirrored medicine cabinet, large with the raised lips right here. Making sure that when you're in transit, stuff's not going to be falling in and out. And a single surround residential style shower with the glass doors. Got my notch right here for my soap. Not going to be cramped up and down. We got over 81 inches of height inside the uh, this outback because the ceilings are arched like that. Plus, I got my matte black fixtures right there. I tell you, man, it, the just the quality that goes into the manufacturing here that Keystone has. It's worth taking a look. Once again, let your specialist walk you through what that means. What is Chris talking about? The the insulation, the zero to 100. What does that mean? What 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 is fiberglass? What is what, what just ask him. I wish I could answer all the questions. Strut supported storage and a doggy door. So, if you needed a pet kennel, you got your spot right there. It's under the master bed. I got myself a nightstand space with power on both sides. Got the dual USB charging port over here so that if I needed to set up a CPAP machine, charge my iPad, charge my phone, I could right there. And if I had dirty clothes, maybe we use this as a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin. I got my laundry chute right there. So I could put my laundry basket down there, you know, throw my dirty clothes in, whatever. Shaker style cabinets, solid wood all the way around, even back here in the master bedroom. Got the mirrored ward storage on both sides and some side opening storage up top. I'm a fan of the side opening 
because a lot of times when you're loading in, you, I'm here, but I don't have anything on me to like be putting away when I'm setting up or when I'm tearing down. So you don't really see the true action of if I'm lifting it up and I don't have the strut support or if I'm opening it sideways, what the difference is. So when you talk to your industry specialist, ask them about that. Say, hey, uh, I've never owned an RV. You know, or I've never had one that has side opening. Is it easier than you know holding it up? Trust me, strut supporting or having a side opening is great for loading stuff in because you're able to use both hands to put it in. Got myself a vent right here. So give me a little skylight action. Got the big windows, get the cross breeze action going. Solid barn door coming into here as well. And my TV mounting bracket is actually right here on this wall with my key TV connection. Key TV is actually really cool. That's something that uh, Keystone came up with as an innovation to kind of combine all your connections into one spot so that you're not chasing cables. If you have, you know, antenna versus cable TV or satellite, you know, usually you would try to find the plugs, this that, and the other thing. Well, the plugs are actually on the back, which I'll show you when we walk outside. Um, but for an ultralight travel trailer that's over 30 feet, can easily sleep six to eight people, um, starting at $35,995 or as low as $292 a month, that's $262 a month, that's less than a hotel stay for six people for one night. We're talking about you could use this all month long, but Chris, where am I going to put the other people? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Because did I mention this was a bunkhouse at the beginning? Well, let me show you the bunkhouse. How about rear wall, double over, double bunks, dual USB charging ports up top, plus I got them down below. I got storage underneath with the shelves right here, solid wood construction. I got my hideaway ladder and my handle for extra security when I need to get up and down. Yep, this is also a bunkhouse. Not only do you have the hideaway pantry, the leather recliners, the big booth dinette, the walkthrough bathroom, you also have a bunkhouse. Versatile for families and over 30 feet. Is your mind going on the trip that I'm taking it on right now? That's my question. Even have some more storage up here. I mean, solid pocket door, magnet, clasp. They can have their privacy if you got the kids or another couple. You can have your reconnection space, your gathering space, if you will, your supping space. Separation of space for another couple. So kids, family, dual couples, whatever you want. This 2021 Keystone Outback Ultralight 291 UBH sleeps more than six, 8,200 pounds, rough dry weight, 33 feet long, as low as 35,995 or 262 a month. Fritz, I'm grabbing my coffee. Because when you walk out of your chalet, you see your brother Sam, you say, good morning, buddy. Good to see you. Man, what a great card game last night. I sure hate you took everything I had set up for the kids' college fund. Maybe I can get you get a loan from you. And right away, you see the beautiful awning. We got the LED floodlights on both sides, sealed safety windows all the way around this camper, dual zone speakers, KTV connection so I can set up some outside entertainment, beautiful 15-inch aluminum wheels on the double axle travel trailer. I mean, Dexter Easy Loop axles, solid steps. Chris, what else can we do outside? It's so beautiful and there's so much space in there. Maybe you can cook us some burgers? Well, sure, why not? I got myself an outside kitchen. Might as well. But look. The Ultimate RV Show is all about trying to show you as many options as we possibly can when it comes to these RVs. But we have industry specialists standing by right now to walk you through and show you everything from the little storage access back here in the back, the magnetic anti-slam, what does that mean? What is the benefit of that? Look at that being finished off. What is backup camera prep? Let me tell you. Text Easy RV to 32094 right now. Drop me a comment, Easy RV, or give me a call, 866-853-3510. If you want this one, the 291 UBH for as low as $35,995 or as low as $262 a month, you can have it right now, but you got to get on it because it's limited. It's brand spanking new. You like that floor plan? We got over 150 locations across the country, over 25,000 RVs waiting for you. Come on in and see one for yourself or have the industry specialist walk you through one. Me, I'm going to continue with the Ultimate RV Show and sip coffee.
joining us again here at the Ultimate Campsite here at the Ultimate RV Show. So David is going to tell us a little bit about freshwater pumps. Why do we need a fresh water pump? Is this what's pulling the fresh water into like my sink? It will. It is actually that a uh, backup purpose. Uh, normally when you go to a campground, you won't necessarily need it because you're going to have city water. You're going to have the water there okay. creating the pressure for you. But why would you want to just go to a campground all the time? We need water pumps. Now, okay. most of them are outfitted with a water pump inside. Okay, so these are more of an upgrade. They have a couple upgrade features to them. This is your SureFlow, and this is your FlowJet, two major brands in the water pump divisions. Um, with the SureFlow, you're gonna get a little bit more PSI. So some of the old, other uh, ones that are currently in there might only have 35 uh, pounds per square inch. Okay. Okay, so, but then the, this actually has 55. Uh, and a base model might only have 50 PSI for the SureFlow, but there are some with only 35. Now again, gallons per minute also play into that. If you, with all these new RVs, they're gonna have two showers. Uh, okay. You can now, you're, you're getting, catching yeah, up. I'm yeah, you now. see where we're going. So imagine them with just that little rinky dink water pump inside and you go in there to take, take a shower and then somebody else cuts the water on and then the water just trickles out. You don't want that you're gonna to wanna to upgrade it a little bit. So let's get something with a little bit more PSI, um, maybe more gallons per, per minute. And that's really what's gonna uh, play a part is the gallons per minute uh, being increased so that you get more flow for the whole camper on a constant basis. So uh, this guy right here is gonna give you about three gallons per minute. Uh, this one's gonna do 3.2. Uh, also, they can be kind of noisy. Okay. Water pumps are very noisy. So again, uh, with that, you get a little rattling, a lot of craziness going on there. These guys both have, uh, this one has ultra quiet, flow reaction technology and this one the quad series has uh, multiple chambers so that helps cut it down as well so these actually go down in the water tank uh, no they're gonna be mounted near it uh, usually near okay. out beside it in some way um, you have like the 12 volt wires that are gonna come up and be wired into a just a switch on the wall so you won't even really see these guys in your camper in fact like I said most of them have them in there if you, all you do is uh, camp at a campground you may not notice that. So here at the ultimate campsite, we're probably hooked up to, to water, we're just using city water. But if I want to boondock and go out into those beautiful woods over there, I can. I can set up there and I can enjoy the peace and quiet, all the tranquility I need, and I have water pressure and can keep myself going. Okay, yep. all right. So to upgrade to the revolution mm -hmm. with the Ultimate RV show price. Regular, you're looking at $131.99, but for the promo, we're at $110.49, and good Sam, Sam members are going to get this bad boy for $104.97. The Flowjet, regular price is $113.99, promo price is $95.75, and the good Sam members are at $90.97 and you guys can drop that word camp in the comments down below or text to 32094 or give us a call at 866-235-8751. And I do have one more quick question. What what do you what do you what are you harboring back well, here? Well, so yeah, both of these actually come with extra fittings. So just because you may have, a, a, say, a FlowJet in there, doesn't mean you can't go with a SureFlow, or vice versa. If you have a SureFlow, go with FlowJet. They have the equipment in their packets with them for doing the changeover. Now, again, I would always recommend that you go with the professionals of Camping World. We'll get them installed for you, replace that water pump that you current, currently have, get you into the new one. We can definitely do that for you. Okay, yeah. awesome. And just don't forget, guys, drop that comment below. Give us a call, and uh, we'll get you hooked up with the best fresh water pump for your camper. And we will see you guys again shortly. Thanks for visiting the Ultimate RV Campsite. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. Chris Young trying to give you some options on travel trailers for families that are over 30 feet long. Right, and you know what? All of these are going to be versatile. So you'll have comfort, style, and room enough to sleep at least five or more people in every one of these RVs that I'm showing you right now. Check out theultimatervshow.com because if there's anything that you missed during this week's Ultimate RV Show, you can find it right there. Any segment you want to check out, we got you covered. But while I'm here, because these deals are only lasting through Sunday, which is today, 
you might want to go ahead and text Easy RV to 32094 or drop me a comment down below, Easy RV, to get in on some of these deals and some of these great campers. Right now, I'm standing inside the 2021 Jayco Whitehawk 29BH. This one sleeps five or more. Dry weight on this one, just under 9,000 pounds. And this one starts at $39,995 or as low as $291 a month. I'm a big fan of Jayco because they're one of the top selling brands for the last who knows how many years, mainly because they know what they're doing. And they add little creature comforts inside your RVs that you don't think about when you're out on the road and when you're camping. It might be a feature, it might be an aesthetic. They've thought about it, they've put it in, and they listen to the comments whenever they're talking to their customers about what they'd like to see. Right now, we're gonna start right here on the campsite, and I'm gonna kinda go in, in, in a weird direction for you so you can kinda see all the options that we have here. Take a look at this finished off solid wood glazed cabinetry with the frosted glass inlay, the brushed nickel fixtures, this is some storage space up top, corner angled, so you got that little angle in there, good spot for some you know, gear, whatever you need to put in there. Got my TV on a swivel, so everybody can see it easily. Little component shelf down here. Got my command center with my AM, FM, my Bluetooth, my HDMI, my CD, DVD player, and the Inner Flame. LED backlit, electric fireplace with multiple flame settings, multiple color. This does a good job knocking the chill out of the air. Now, I mean, granted, we have a good furnace, we have a good AC, but <clears throat> even got a little spot right there, so if your shoes are wet like mine and it's cold, cut the fireplace on, put them down there, heat them up, get them dried off. Also, slip-resistant, easy-to-clean residential-style flooring, too, here. Take a look at the decor just real quick. Light, dark accents, inviting and beautiful. I mean, very rustic. Feels like an old country cabin almost. Over here on the off camp side is where we have our main slide. This houses the living area. Plush, comfortable, micro suede couch right here that jackknifes out into a bed. And we have the light underneath. Down here, the LED accent light. I like this because it goes all the way under the sofa and the dinette. That's a great night light, but more than that, it's, it's a really pleasing aesthetic when you come in. Oh, that looks kind of nice and inviting. Big panoramic windows. You got the solid balances with, with like this leatherish type of feel. I guess we'll call it pleather, but looks nice, feels nice, just warm and inviting all the way down to my residential style LED lights. Got my power port there, got my U-shaped dinette, and take a look at this rustic table right here. Texture look, and the edge is uneven. So you have that kind of farmhouse look and feel. Talk about just one of those things that when you see it, you just kind of feel like you're home. And that's really what it's about when you get your RV. You're, you're getting a home. You're getting a second home. So you get to take your stuff with you when you go on the road. Safest way to see the country, easiest way to see the country, and right now with the Ultimate RV Show, probably the most affordable way to go out and see the country because the deals that were given, Chris, I got a trade. I got my own camper. Okay, fine. We're not going to be beat when it comes to your trade-in. We have the Good Sam Insurance program going on right now. Best deal or a thousand bucks cash. Go ahead and shop us, you got three days. You take the deal, 24 hours, you got your cash in hand, plus we'll come get the RV and deliver you your new one. Pretty easy, right? Then you could be sitting here amongst the world, just enjoying it, taking a look at the sunrise, taking a look at the beach, watching the kids play, sitting here and just enjoying the cross breeze coming in under these residential, beautiful LED lights. Just take a look at that rustic, dark matte black finish that we have there. Just warm and inviting, very appealing to the eye. Over here on the campsite, the rustic farmhouse style that I like to call it continues. Solid surface countertop, got my flush mounted three burner cooktop. Somebody even came in here and made me a loaf of garlic bread that has to be Gracie because A, she's awesome and B, she's wonderful and C, she knows I love bed, bread and four, I'm not consistent. We got the backsplash here, texture wood balance on my campsite window looking out. I got 
my drying rack on one side, my cutting board on the other of this 50-50 split stainless steel undermounted farmhouse style sink, brushed nickel high-rise faucet with the sprayer handle, and my pop-up charging station. So, got my USB, got my dual power, so if I wanted to set this up as a coffee station and charge my cell phone, I absolutely could. Frosted glass inlay that's tinted, and take a look at the distressed look that we have on the shaker cabinets going around. Storage space up there. Got my flush mounted Furion microwave. Got the Dometic fridge freezer combo, and take a look. They even put the distressed wood on the fridge to just give it, once again, that appeal. It's those little things that make this warm and inviting, and that's plenty of space. If you need to sleep five or more, you're gonna go on those long weekends, you got room right there for what you need. Storage space over here, or pantry space. Um, I would use this as grab and go space. Sometimes you'll hear me talk about the grab and go. Uh, a lot of people say, well, no, that's, that's the kitchen. That's, that's for pantry. Is it? If it's your RV, you can use it for whatever you want. If I wanted to hang my drying socks from up here, the skylight, my RV, I paid for it. You can do the same thing. If you want to use this as a hunting cabin, fishing cabin, that ladies weekend getaway, or check this out. Imagine if you want to go on a wine tour for the year, but you don't want to pay for all them hotel fees and you want to take the girlfriends along with you. Imagine taking this. We got double over double bunks right here. 600 pound capacity on the top, 400 pound capacity on the bottom. We got a little storage shelf back there with dual USB charging. Got my window here. I got my privacy curtain so they could have their privacy, their separation of space. You say, well, Chris, yeah, but you know, when I take my girlfriends on that wine tour, we like to have bikes. Okay. This folds up. You can put your bikes in there if you want. Even got suspension netting to keep them in place. This latches up top. When you're ready to go to bed, that folds down into a bunk that's going to hold 400 pounds, easily two people. That is going to be a winery trip that I'm going to be jealous of. Solid door going into the bathroom here, porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Look at my countertop space, man. This goes all the way down the back of the camper. Solid surface, got good storage shelf here, got the toilet paper roll right there, another shelf on the bottom, towel rack towel hanger, backlit vanity too. And look, that distressed appearance, that beautiful rustic appearance just continues all the way throughout. Corner mounted, so you got plenty of space there. Brushed nickel fixtures, bowl is undermounted, so don't have to worry about that caulking going around. Got a shelf here with some hangers. Dang, Jayco, okay. I hear you. You guys brought the storage on this one. Now, once again, if you like this unit, you like this floor plan, this is the 2021 Jayco Whitehawk 29BH, starting at $39,995 or as low as $291 a month. Yo, that winery idea, that sounded pretty good right now, ain't it, Fritz? I think we can get in on that. I think maybe, and think about it, you can, with, with RVs like this, you can go in together as a couple and get it. Why not? I mean, you got the separation of space, got beds back here, we got a master bedroom we're going to get to, got your reconnection space right there in the middle. Neo angled shower, plenty of headroom. I got the big skylight bringing in the natural light and allowing me to get some more headroom. Plus, I got my corner notches right here, brush nickel fixtures all the way around, soap holder right there, and the glass shower doors to give me some privacy that also have the little rubber latch right there to keep them in place. Got my hangers here. I mean, just an all around great style. Great floor plan. I mean, just take just take a look at that countertop. That is space right there. Could you imagine having all your stuff lined up? Oh my goodness, my wife would yell at me because I would have everything just lined up here. I'd even have shoes in here. Why not? Got enough space. Now, before we go outside, I want to show you the master bedroom because the big reveal on this one is the outside kitchen. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that for you. Oh, by the way, here on my U-shaped dinette, Got storage underneath too, just access right there. Room, storage, convenience, style, comfort. It's almost like they built this knowing that you were gonna want it and want to enjoy it. Coming here to the master, got my second access point right here. Got the blue lit LED reading lights 
and a window in the end cap because why not? <laughs> Jayco said, we're just going to give you everything, including the kitchen sink. Actually, we're going to give you two. We're just going to put one on the outside. Imagine pulling up or waking up and seeing the sunrise right there. You lift the curtain and boom, how beautiful is that? What a reconnection with a loved one that would be. Got hideaway cubby storage back here behind the mirrored ward storage, which is on both sides. Plus I got power ports, dual USB charging. Got strut supported storage underneath. Large, big old bed. And I got myself, now Fritz, this might be a little tough for you to get in there and see. That is a lit vanity and wardrobe storage. I, I'm just, I'm just gonna walk outside. Sam, I can't take it. I can't take it. What was it they said in uh, Weird Science? Give me the keys, Lisa. I gotta have this one, man. This is absolutely beautiful. You are looking at the all new 2021 Jayco Whitehawk 29BH. Just over 30 feet. Dry weight on this one is 8,900 pounds. Can easily sleep five or more. Packed with features. And look, that is what our industry specialists are standing by right now to walk you through all of the questions. What's the difference between fiberglass and aluminum? What does it mean? to have the nitro filled tires with the tire monitors and the extra wide berth in the suspension. What does that do when I'm going down the road? Ask all those questions. I wish I had time to go through everything for you, but I don't. That's why we have industry specialists standing by right now. And you say, Chris, I love it. I'm gonna run, not walk to my local camping world or gander to come see this and check it out. Great. Chris, I don't wanna run because I'm still in my pajamas. Great. Text easy RV 32094. Leave me a comment down below, easy RV right now. They are standing by ready to take you through this one. Large awning with the LED backlit, adjustable pitch arm, seamless safety glass all the way around this camper as well that's tinted. And check out my magnetic anti-slam latches on my storage. Pass through that's finished off. Even have a little table right here that slides out and you can use outside because once again, with this one, you know what? They say this is called the White Hawk 29BH. Jayco, I'm calling it the Why Not 29BH because you thought of everything and just said, why not? Throw it in. Just throw it in. I'm going to give you a vanity. I'm going to give you bunks. I'm going to give you a bathroom with a shelf that's bigger than Chris's forehead. I'm going to give you a table under here with lights, power, a tire monitor that's finished off. Got my battery disconnect on the other side. Here's that painted fiberglass end cap. Got that aggressive profile that really reduces the wind resistance. Got my LED running lights. Look how cool and good this looks. Twin 30 pound LP tanks, power tongue jack. That's too tight, Fritz. You know what? If you wanna see what's on the other side, let one of the industry specialists show you because I'm gonna be taking this one home with me. This is just, this is just beauty. And you remember how I said with a big reveal is the outside kitchen? How about you have separate prep and cooking space? Because once again, why not? Somebody can be prepping. Sam and I just got back from catching 1,800 steelheads. He's gonna clean all them things while I cook them. He's over here going to town. He's spraying, he's cleaning, he's prepping here. He's got the little cutting board that comes up. He's doing double spaces. I got myself a fridge and then I'm over here doing the Bobby Flay. I'm cutting, I'm flipping, I'm cooking on this Capitol Grill with the Radiant. Got even more prep space here. I could go on for days about the features, the comfort, the style that you're gonna get in an RV. But man, there are so many out there. All you need to do is just text EZRV to 32094 right now. Give us a call, 866-853-3510. If you like this one or you like this floor plan, this one, Whitehawk, 29BH, just remember that. Starts at $39,995 or as low as $291 a month. Trust me, with over 25,000 RVs, even here at the Ultimate RV Show, Camping World has got something for you that I know you're gonna love. I'll be right back. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at 
CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Introducing Camco's Taste Pure KDF Carbon Water Filter with Flexible Hose Protector. This point of use filter is made with activated carbon and KDF to improve the smell and taste of your drinking water. The 20 micron fiber barrier helps to keep sediment out of your RV tank. And the included flexible hose protector helps prevent the hose from kinking while in use. Camco's Taste Pure KDF Carbon Water Filter with Flexible Hose Protector. Get yours today. Camco.net. Oh, Yes! Sean Parr, Morgan McKenzie, the ultimate RV show. Hope you are having a fantastic Sunday. I tell you what, this is what it's all about. Watching my buddy Chris Young just go through the motions of these incredible vehicles. That White Hawk, man, I tell you what, you want it? The 29BH, all the stuff he was talking about, the inside, the outside grill, the outside. He's talking about steelhead, cleaning them fish, getting us all excited. I'm thinking about a NASCAR race. And everybody out there doing a little partying in the parking lot, you know what I'm talking about. I I, I just have a good time doing stuff like that. You know, when we talk about the Ultimate RV Show, if you've been watching at all the last several days, helping us break a little record or make a little history, you know we're all about Ultimate Giveaways too, right, Morgan? You know it. Ultimate Giveaway time is happening right now. Wait a minute. We're doing it now? Yeah, let's go with it. It's time for the big one, right? The big one. Okay, I have a $500 merchandise certificate up for grabs right now, and I have a name. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, let's do it. Uh, The winner of the ultimate merchandise certificate of $500 happens to be Bill Daly. You have won. Bill Daly, congratulations. You have $500 to spend the way you want to. (laughs) Woo! That's my buddy Chris. Yes. I'll tell you. Uh, Bill Daly is going crazy just like Chris is. And Chris, what's my uh, what's been my tip of the weekend? I'm talking about the Power Tongue Jacks. And Bill, you can get yourself one of those. You can jump online. You can text EZRV to 32094. You can call. You got questions about anything at all. Anybody that's watching right now, 866-853-3510. Get yourself one of these incredible show-stopping deals that last through today. Now listen, if you want to be a winner like Bill Daly, make sure you register at ultimatervshow.com. If, if, if you don't register, you can't snag these deals, these winnings. You can't you can't win. You're not going to win. You're All right. sit there and go, you know what, wouldn't it be great if I could have won that go-kart or that $500 gift card? Or like that Bill? RV. Or that RV that we gave away. <laughs> right. That's your question, Morgan. What is it? What makes you feel like home when you're in an RV? You're going to bring all your personal stuff with you? You're going to decorate it all up real nice? Decorate it. The storage. If I have all my goodies, all my, my personal belongings set, I'm good to go. And it has to feel cozy. Yeah. I like to feel cozy and snuggled up. And those theater seating. Yeah. Yeah, see? I love those. Okay, we were in a couple of amazing Class C's the other day, and uh, she was all about the theater seating. She was putting it back, you know, and she had the <laughs> massager going. And, and that's the cool thing is, is the one thing that you like to bring from home to make it, you know, kind of feel like, okay, this, this makes me feel like home. What is that for you? Uh, I just have it's all about comfort yeah it's all about comfort maybe that like special blanket or special pillow that you know that you're going to need when you're on the road exactly what about you uh, that's the same for me I, I want to smell my home you know what I mean uh, when I get on my I have my one pillow that I use no matter where I go so that's what it's all about or the way my wife decorates things and makes it feel like it gives that homey feel and that's the segment we're going to go into right now where you know all the comforts of home you take it on the road with you, you don't have to sacrifice anything and that's what it's all about right now giving you the comforts of home we're going to have the soulful rv vamp family take care of that right now hi we're 
Keith and Tia from Soulful RV Family. And we've been traveling with our boys for over six years now. We started RVing six and a half years ago, and I wish I could claim credit for it, but I can't. It was all her fault. Uh, I was working. You're welcome. Down in, well, thank you, honey. I was doing media for my former NFL team, and we had sold our house in South Florida and bought a house in Georgia to be close to my family. Well, we had a problem. I needed to be down there for football season, and my wife came up with the brilliant idea. Why don't we get an RV? I thought about RVs I had seen on TV and in movies, and I thought, there's no way I could be in that small, tiny space with her and three growing, adventurous, energetic boys. But after shopping for RVs, she convinced me and we jumped feet first in and I haven't looked back since. And honey, I will say it in front of everybody. You were right, you were right. We have this recorded, right? <laughs> so I'm a homeschooling mom of three boys, three very rambunctious boys. And RVing has allowed us to take our homeschooling on the road, what people now call road schooling. Mm -hmm. And it has made our homeschooling that much more robust, if you will. We have taken them to different historical sites, science museums. Mm -hmm. One of the best things about RVing is that you get to choose what's right for your family. And that choice is a choice of a campground. You know, some families love camping by a stream in the mountains. Some love beach camping. My wife particularly loves urban camping close to a city. But when you choose these campgrounds, what are the specific things that you look for? When I think about my favorite campsite, honey, it's not the amenities, the 50 amp service. It's not the concrete pad we had there. It was the view. We had taken a summer trip, two and a half months long, all the way up to Acadia National Park in Maine. And for the 4th of July, we were on the ocean. It was cool, the ocean breeze, it was rocky, it was a different kind of beach. But I think the atmosphere, the lobster that everyone had, even though I don't eat seafood, it was, it was magical, it really was. It was everything that I ever envisioned in a campsite. As special as that was, I think my most favorite campground was in Florida where we were able to pull up directly on the beach. We were able to see the glorious view of the ocean tide rolling in and rolling out every morning. I would just sit up yeah, in the front did. seat every morning with my <laughs> cup of coffee and my feet up enjoying that view. We gotta go beach camping again. We haven't been in a while. Campgrounds are a special place. They really are, a special place of family. And as you RVers will find out, whether you're a newbie or a veteran, these RVs, doesn't matter what size space you have, it's your home away from home. And the big plus of it is not just the indoor space, it's the outdoor space. And you wanna make that your home away from home, but definitely this space, your home away from home. I don't know about you, but I'm a glamper. The interior is very important to me. So it stands to reason that the exterior is gonna be just as important. To me, it starts with your mat. For us, we had an experience on our very first camping trip. You remember that, honey? Yes. We went to a nice campground on our first trip and it was complete dirt and mud. And if you're guys, if you're anything like me who lives with a wife that likes a clean house, you need a good camping rug to keep the dirt outside, not inside. And not just a good camping rug. You're gonna need that entryway mat something that they can dust their feet off on or dust their, their shoes off on before they come into the RV. That's gonna go a long way in keeping the inside neat and tidy. Well, now you've got your mat, you got your area clean, but where are you gonna sit? To me, there's nothing as important as a good, sturdy, comfortable camping chair. Our kids can go out and play all day long and we can be sitting here reading, we can be eating, we can enjoy. I need a good, comfortable chair that's number one on my list. I've been through four or five different camp chairs. It took me that long, and it might take you that long to figure out the exact one that fits your body, fits your lifestyle right. But for me, this camp chair is the best of the best. It's comfortable. I love it when I'm reading, and I can't tell you how many times I've dozed off in this chair just listening to my kids play at the campground. I concur with that. Not only a nice, comfortable chair, but if you can, a nice recliner. But honey, if I'm in my chair, a cool drink 
is something I could definitely go for. Having a cooler by your side to keep those drinks cold, and with kids, the bonuses, it keeps them from running inside the RV. They have their drinks right here in your outdoor space. Absolutely. And also, you can have an ice maker on the outside. Now you're really glamping. Have an ice maker outside? Absolutely, I wouldn't have it any other way. You're gonna love it, guys. <laughs> to get ice right there without having to leave your comfy chair, I'm sold. Another piece that you might wanna consider is an expandable table. We use it for the kids to eat. We use it for the kids to do their Legos on, to draw, you name it. And we've been to campgrounds where they don't have picnic tables. That's right. Or even if they do, you're not gonna wanna sit in them. You might wanna think about carrying a propane fire pit. There's a lot of places you're gonna go, campgrounds, where they're gonna have restrictions due to droughts, so you can't do a nice wood fire. So having a propane-based campfire is gonna save the day, especially with our kids, because they certainly love to do s'mores wherever we go. I know you can always pick up that random stick to get those s'mores done, but it's very nice to have those telescoping skewers to get those toasty marshmallows for the perfect s'mores. And then I think about the time I got burned doing s'mores with the kids. Having a good first aid kit. Oh, and don't forget, it's very important to include those non-breakable dinnerware items, such as cups, plates. Please don't take your glassware. Everything is going to shift in flight as you're driving down the road, getting to your next campsite destination. And the last thing you need is a bunch of broken dishes when you arrive. Now, fellas, if you're particular about your grill, like I tend to be, you're not going to sit there and go to any campground and just use any old rusty, crusty old grill. Just bring your own, and there's tons of choices at Camping World. Whether you're a charcoal guy, or whether you're a gas guy, or whether you're wanting one of these newfangled flat grills like I have now, bring your own grill, you'll be happier. And what a special time it is as a mom to be sitting outside while my husband's grilling, taking care of dinner, <laughs> and watching the kids have a great time exploring the campground. A key part of making your outdoor space your own is picking the right campsite. Yeah. We have three boys. They love playing at the playground. So a lot of times we're, st I don't want to say stuck, we're, we have to choose sites that are conveniently closer to the playground. Or the pool. We had one experience where we were at a campground and we were a bit further from the playground than yeah. we felt comfortable with. There was a lot of traffic, yeah. which made me as a mom feel very uncomfortable with allowing my kids to go down to the playground. So it's very important just for your comfort and as well the children's safety, just to make sure that you are exactly where you need to be in your campsite. And for our boys, they thoroughly enjoy having their walkie talkies and being able to communicate across the campground with each other and with us. Not to mention the amazing lanterns that we found. <laughs> Well, both of those items give them independence or at the campground. With the walkie-talkies, we have a sense of comfort that we can communicate with them at a drop of a hat. And the lanterns give them the opportunity to kind of venture out when it's dark. We've even gotten them some headlights to put on their heads and so they can play with the kids at the campground at night, but not too late at night. I know some of you don't have kids, but your pets are your children. We always try to pack a little container in the RV that specifically has our dog's favorite food, favorite chew toys, and don't forget some dog wash, a brush, because if your dog is like ours, inevitably they will get into some mess and you're gonna have to wash that pooch. Camby World has everything that you need to get your RV lifestyle started. From this rug to a table, whatever necessities that you feel that you need for your family. And even if it's not a necessity, it may be a want, like my wonderful grill over here. But I agree with you, honey. Whether you're a veteran or a newbie, you can find anything you need to enjoy the RV lifestyle. The best thing about camping, for me personally, is just being out with my family. Just that together time. The time that we might not necessarily have in our busy everyday lives. Just to sit back and enjoy the campground where life just slows down just a little bit. Our family has benefited so much from the RV lifestyle, from campgrounds, from time together, from the friends we've met along the way. I mean, we've created some incredible friendships over the last six years. It truly is an inclusive community. It's for all of us. And this country is filled with wonderful sights to go see. So we invite you all to come RV with us. And when you do, when you see us out there, 
or you see other people out there, just say hello. You'd be shocked at how friendly the RV community is. They're there to help. They've helped us when we were having our breakdowns Absolutely. in our first year, and we've helped others. So we're glad you're part of the RV community, all you newbies, <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you at the campground. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chris Young here at the Ultimate Campsite for the Ultimate RV Show. You've had, hopefully by now, a chance to take a look at some beautiful RVs, but you think, when I hit the road, this might be my first time. What can I do to make my campsite feel more like home? Or maybe you've been doing it for years. You're on your seventh trade in, and you're thinking, what can I do to spruce mine up a little bit? Hopefully this segment right here will help you out, pick out some items for your campsite to make it feel more like home, because at the end of the day, what does more home feel like? Having some of the creature comforts of home, but also enjoying a homey atmosphere while you're out and about. So we're gonna try to cover all of that here. First things first, for me, when you're talking about being out and camping and having that homey type of feel, you wanna have kind of a clean environment. Start with one of these mats. We have them in multiple sizes, multiple shapes and color styles. Plus we have some with the LED lights on it. These are gonna make your campsite just pop a little bit more. And if you have stuff outside that's comfortable, you're gonna want to go outside and be comfortable. Speaking of comfortable, look at what Lauren is sitting in right now. She is in the padded club chair, which, is this not comfy? It really is. Do you not just wanna take like, a nap really right now, great. right? <laughs> And with any chair, I would always suggest get an extra pillow. Pillow and blanket, that's key. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Pillow and blanket are key. You want to be warm. You want to be cozy. These blankets, and look, together is our favorite place to be. Cute. Isn't that cute? It is cute. We have so many of those cute items. When you see it, you're just going to go, aw, I'm not, but Lauren might. <laughs> I'm the one that goes aw all I the like. time. Now, also when you're home, once again, convenience and comfort. These right here are great. Not only do they screw in and come together, but these are solid metal. Stick them in the ground, and that's your drink holder right there. Sturdy, that is very convenient. Just grab and go. Speaking of, and you see me holding this right here, that's because when you're camping, what is one thing the family and the kids always want to do? Campfires. 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 We want to roast some s'mores. Now, get yourself a good pit or get you one of those gas burners. Either one is great. This one right here is just a regular old fire pit. We threw some wood chips down there. It's got the grate for if you want to grill burgers, you want to do dogs, you could put them on there. Or if you just want to roast the marshmallows, I got it here, but these are the ones I really love. And when you're camping, they come in so handy. They're telescoping, plus they have the little slotted ends right there that you can put your hot dog on, and the covers when you're not using them. But take a look at the length of that. Sometimes when you're out camping, you get a little overzealous, get a little too close. Ah! This is gonna stop that. So you get your dogs, you're roasting them, you're flipping them, and they made this for me because they know I'm a too hot dog type of guy. This you could probably get two hot dogs on, but you know they're gonna be lengthwise. So both work great. Both give you a little bit of that ease when you're on the road cooking and enjoying it. And since this one's a little bit longer, I got my captain's chair right here. I could pull up my little tray, have a seat, kick back, roast my dog, roast my marshmallows, get my s'mores ready. I got a tray right here which is convenient, has a cup holder in it. And if you take a look, it's got the slots right there. Now, what are those for? This is one of those things that, you know, when they made this, they were just thinking about the convenience. And you're gonna hear me say that a lot when you're talking about make the campsite feel more comfortable, more homey for you. The last thing you want is a pool of water, condensation sitting right there, because it's gonna get moldy, it's gonna get dirty. And when you pack it up to put it back into your camper to stow it away in the, in the storage, you don't want that. Plus, it easily comes out and you can clean it, but you got plenty of space there. If I want to make me a sandwich, I get my hot dog and cheese sandwich. I make myself a maywich. If you don't know what a maywich is, you need to Google it because you're going to find something you're going to love. Put that right there. Got my drink right there. I'm comfy in my captain's chair, talking with my family, talking with my friends. Lauren's over there just enjoying life in the padded club chair. The comfort and convenience 
with the chairs and with the amount of different chairs you have to choose from, that's key because not everybody's going to like the same thing. So get yourself a good combination. Get a good mix. One might want to sit up a little bit higher than the others. One might want to be comfy and plush. Get you a good mix. Trust me, it's all about doing and having the things outside to make the family and the friends want to come outside. Plus, it's inviting. And you'll learn this real quick about the RV community. They are such a great, friendly community. You're not going to have any issues making friends when you go to the campsites. You have a good open campsite and you like that style, people will come by and they'll want to hang out with you. That's so true. It is true. It really is true. Now, the one thing you don't want to have at your campsite are the bugs. That's why you got to get one of these. Now, there are numerous ways of getting rid of the bugs. This is just a tiki torch, but it's a patio shield as well. There's actually an apparatus in here that burns the oil. They also have the ones that have the uh, signal that sends out and it deters bugs. Because when you're on the campsite, you know, Everyone knows how annoying that is. Bugs are so bad. And you're not always taking vitamin E. Or if you got the O-type blood, which is literally the ice cream of yes. blood for <laughs> bugs, you want to get rid of them. So, great thing to have. It's aesthetically pleasing. Comes in handy. Plus, it's a torch. It's a light. Opens up the campsite a little bit. Brightens it up. You got the cab. You got the club chairs, the padded chairs. You're having fun. How about some aesthetic? Straight out of 1951. <laughs> I got my pink flamingo. Yes, look, when you're having fun, come on, everybody's got those quirky little decorations that you have at home. When you come out and you see this, it might make you laugh. It might, somebody might walk by and say, what, what are you doing? You know what? I'm enjoying what I enjoy because at the end of the day, when you're out with your family and friends, that's what it's about. Relaxing and enjoying what you want to do. And trust me, you got plenty of things like this to choose from to make your campsite more homey and feel more at home. Now, this thing, I love. this thing is awesome. This is great. So, this is a Coleman Lantern that's also a Bluetooth speaker. You got the little USB plug back there, the charger. You got your controls right here for Bluetooth, the volume, plus you got the light right there. You see how it can get brighter? Look at that. And it's just recharges. Plug in your phone, you know, or Bluetooth your phone, you're good to go makes life so much easier and, and you can enjoy stuff when you're outside. Now you got the dual zone speakers. A lot of campers have the dual zone speakers, but if you have something like this, it's just another layer of making it feel more at home. You got the light, the convenience. Speaking of convenience, how about some coolers? It's a must have on the campsite. Sure, you got a fridge inside your camper, but once again, making sure it's convenient to get yourself a cooler that's gonna work. Whether it's something that's easy to carry and bring around, you got the grilled stuff in there, you wanna do the dogs, you got your stuff in there, or you know you got a big group of people coming, you got the big boys. Wow. The permatils, look at that. Thick, insulated, so many coolers to choose from. Just pick the one that's right for you. Pick the one that's right for your situation. I always will, will say too, two things about coolers. Get more than one. If you can get it with the wheels, get the wheels. But put the ice in the night before you want to put drinks or anything in. Goes a long way. When you're grilling, you're entertaining, you got the family over here, they're playing cornhole, get you some games to play outside. Do some things that's gonna create some activity, create that home feel, because when you're at home, you're usually not sitting idle, you're out playing, you wanna do stuff, you wanna be active. You're outside, you're absorbing the sun, you're absorbing the fresh air, and you're having fun. Same thing with the grilling. You got numerous options for grilling. For example, this one here I like because you have the griddle on one side, you got the grill on the other side. So if you want to do the burgers, want to do the buns, you got breakfast, you got the eggs, the bacon over here, you got the sausage and the steak over there, whatever. It's lightweight, they're easy to carry, folds down, stores away easily. That's also key. Having something that's easy to transport is key because if it's clunky and heavy, you're not going to want to use it. So you're going to spend money on something that you're not going to use, which means you're not going to come outside and enjoy that campsite. Waste of money. Do the research beforehand. Another thing that comes in super handy, this right here is a flip top table. I'm just going to move the griddle for a second. Multi spots to store stuff. You got room for your condiments, you got room for plates, utensils, food, and it's a tabletop. So if you wanted to put like a little smaller grill or a griddle, 
put it right there. You can do all your cooking. You got the space to store, folds up and stores away easy, lightweight. It's great. And speaking of great, <laughs> this right here, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Griddles. If you haven't figured them out when you're camping, I learned my lesson. Love it. Now, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. You're going out to enjoy the great outdoors. You're adventuring, but you want to make it feel like home. What do you usually have at home? TV. It's where people decompress. You get home at night, you watch the news, you watch you know, your NYPD, blue, red, greens, all of that. Get yourself a satellite that's gonna work for you and fit your plan, okay? That's what you want. Some wood chips, they come in super handy when you're talking about the fire or just wanna do some smoking. This is the actual box for those drink holders that I had earlier. They come in a four pack. <clears throat> I just love them because they're easy, convenient, and they're big. Now, this isn't really gonna do anything for the aesthetic, but it's really gonna help out with that homey feel of the camper actually inside. It makes a big difference outside too. Get yourself a regulator. Helps the pressure of the water coming in. Once again, that home feel. You don't have bad water coming out your spigots at home. Your showers are okay. Do the same thing on the road. Exact same for the filter, okay? Get yourself some clean water. Helps for the inside and the outside, trust me. You wanna do some lighting? Tons of lighting options. Sure, your awning's got a LED light in it. You got external lights, but adds the air, adds the aesthetic. Just makes it more homey, makes it more pleasing. Now, what about the kids, Chris? Done. Got you covered there. So, we have these tables. This one right here is just a suspension table. Uh, it's easy, folds away, you know, this sets up in a breeze. But this is a good little kids table right here. And with this tablecloth, comes with these pins because this is a marker tablecloth. So you got the kids, you wanna give them something to do while you're grilling or finishing up doing all the cooking. They could come out here and have fun, you know, just do whatever. This really gets them going. You also are gonna need plates, bowls, all of that because once again, when you're on the road, you still wanna make it feel like home. So you wanna have access to the stuff when you're preparing the meals. We don't have any plates, we don't have any utensils. Get you some that go in your camper. So when you come out to do the eating, voila, there we go. Speaking of tables, let me show you one. Now, this is one that I discovered that really comes in handy. This is actually a table we've been using here for the Ultimate RV Show, but take a look at this one. So it folds away, it's almost like a card table, but Bobby, see if you can get in there. This one has these under compartments that zip up. Great for storage. If you need spots for the utensils or maybe, you know, hey, the kids are coming in and we need some toys, the board games, bam, got you right there. So the campsite is really when you're talking about what's gonna work for you and what's gonna feel like home. What it boils down to is what feels like home for you. You have so many options, from chairs, to grills, to coolers, to aesthetics, to blankets, to pillows, to tables, seats, things that are gonna help you cook, extenders. I mean, there's so many things that you can take with you on the road that are gonna make it feel like home. What it boils down to is what you like and the good thing you're going to have especially with camping world and gander rv and outdoors is there's so many options for you to choose from you're not going to go wrong with any of them you just need to experiment find the ones that you like the ones that are right for you you might find that you know what chris i don't like doing the propane cooking okay great i love cooking with the wood chips but it takes extra time. That's one of those things where you gotta really fill it out. You gotta go through it, you gotta experiment with it. What, what's gonna feel good home for you? If you smoke on a smoker at home, bring the wood chips. If you like doing the grilling, get you some of the propane tanks. These work great for the griddles, the travel grills, plus you're not hauling around that big 20 pound LP tank with you all the time. Some of the trailers even have the LP quick connects. So if you have a grill you can take with you, you can actually hook those grills up to the LP quick connect and run off the LP on the front of your camper. But once again, when it's coming down to what's gonna make your campsite feel like home, it's your taste. It's what's gonna make you feel at home outside of your camper. You've seen the campers that make you feel like home when you're on the inside. Hopefully some of this stuff here 
gave you some ideas to say, oh, you know what? I think the captain's chair would work, but if we had more of a plusher style, maybe as low, kind of like that plusher, regardless, it gets you thinking. And that's really what I want you to do. I want you to think about what's going to be right for me setting up my campsite. I'm Chris Young for The Ultimate RV Show. Thank you so much for joining me here. Lots of great stuff coming your way, but hopefully this right here gave you a hand. And next time I see you on the road, you can show me what you did to make your campsite feel like home. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. We're at the movies and we need to silence our phone. Who knows where that button is? I don't have silent. Everyone does, right up here. It happens to all of us. We buy a new home and we turn into our parents. What I do is help new homeowners overcome this. Oh, is that an adjustable spanner? Good choice, Steve. Okay, don't forget, you're not assisting him. You hired him. You have nowhere to sit. You have too many. Who else reads books about submarines? My dad. Yeah. Oh, those are... Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Look at that. RVing is the best method of travel. It's easy, safe, fun, and affordable. Did you know you can get an RV that can be towed by your car or SUV and sleeps five for less than $5 a day? That's less than a foot-long sub or a fancy cup of coffee. See America for less. With over 35,000 RVs to choose from, we have an RV for every lifestyle and budget. Click, call, or visit Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Woo, a little Mother Nature coming in here today. Boy, we had the uh, Mother Nature of all Mother Natures coming in earlier this week. We had Sally coming in, dropping eight inches of rain. Not a problem. Kept the deals hot. Kept everybody nice and dry at home, which is where you are right now. Just enjoying the ultimate RV show. One of a kind, the first of its kind. And you've helped us create a little bit of history uh, this week. We're talking over half a million people who have checked in to say, you know what, Sean? I want to get on the highways across America with the family and get all kinds of fun stuff taken care of, right? That's right. And we're trying not to get blown away by this wind. That was wild. But these deals are going to blow you away. These giveaways are going to blow you away. Make sure that you are registered at the theultimatervshow.com so you can qualify to win. Absolutely. And listen, uh, as Chris says, as Ian says, if you see a deal here today, that uh, that you're thinking about we're going to wait till next week or next month. It's not going to happen. These show specials will end today. We are live. This is happening in real time. And if you see something you want, you got to grab it right now. Just text EZRV to 32094 or 866-853-3510. That is the number. Our specialists are standing by. They will take care of everything you need. I am fired up. Oh, my goodness. This is our final day. A little too much for Morgan, <laughs> but that's all good. What are we going into, Morgan? Listen, we're going to take a look at Front Living Fifth Wheels with Ian. He's out there. Oh. I'm interested because I'm going to learn a lot about this, this segment right here. If you're looking for all the comforts of home, Ian has got something special for you, if you don't believe me. Ian, take it away, my friend. Sean, Morgan, thank you guys so much, and you are absolutely right. Front living fifth rooms are something, or front living room fifth wheels are something special. They're absolutely gorgeous. If you're looking to live full time or just basically have a home on wheels, 
front living room are great fifth wheel options. Why? Because as you can see, you get the living room feel right up front here. You have excellent seating, you know, you're nice and close. It feels comfortable just like you are at home. I mean, I don't know about you folks that are watching, but me personally, I spend the majority of uh, my time at home with my family in my living room, whether we're sitting on a couch, you know, playing a game on the coffee table or watching a movie, whatever it may be, that tends to be the area we spend the most time. And so it makes sense that in a fifth wheel and you have a front living area, that's where you're going to spend a lot of time. And so that is what these are all about. Now, it does have a lot of space up here. Now, this is the Salem Hemisphere 36 FL. Uh, this one, we're going to see a ton of great features both inside and out. And folks, this one is at an amazing price point. Uh, you can probably see that on your screen. I'll hit you with it a little bit later here, but trust me, you're going to be impressed. With the dual opposing slides right up here, that's what makes this feel so big and open. You'll see tri-fold sofas on both sides. Now, not only does this give you a great seating area, but both of these fold out too. And the reason I like that is because if you are using this for a home or a residence, you're probably going to have guests, you know, whether it's friends, family, uh, you know, maybe the kids have someone that comes over, whatever it may be, uh, you're going to want some additional sleeping space once in a while. And the great thing about it is both of these sofas can fold out at the same time and both of them are sleeping areas and you can have two adults on each. You'll also see this right here. This is something I really enjoy. Something that, again, is a little unique to this floor plan. That's the fact they have an ottoman. So I'll show you the theater seating in a second, but I like to have the movable ottoman so you can kind of have a foot rest. If it's two of you on there, you know, you can put it right in the center, share a little bit, and there is a ton of storage underneath. Now, I know at home, my wife puts a bunch of throw blankets in there, and I'm sure it's exactly what you could do here. Just kind of, you know, cozy up on a nice cold morning. And on top of that, take a look at this, folks. You have a fireplace on here too. You want to get warm in a hurry, it's a good way to do it. You can turn that guy on and that is a space heater and because we're elevated here as well, it's going to do even a better job to really take the chill off in this space because as we all know, heat rises and so it's all going to sit up here keeping you nice and toasty. Big TV is going to be the center point, kind of the main focus in the front living area. Not that you have to watch it. Obviously, you can have conversation and just hang out, but it is there if you want to watch. And it has a multimedia center that is built in with a DVD player if you want to toss in a movie. A couple speakers are built in there, too. If we take a look right down here you will see their theater seating. So a uh, great thing about the theater seats is it has a straight shot to the TV. Both of these do kick up recli and recline. And if you take a look at the cup holders, if you actually double tap these, what it'll do is it'll turn on a light underneath so you have some accent lighting there as well. And the windows have roller shades. That way you can pull those down, be able to block out all the light. As we take a little walk down the steps, we get into the kitchen. So a couple things that I like about this. One, you have big countertop space. Two, as you're sitting here prepping food, you can still see the TV. So, you know, if you want to put on like a cooking show or something, kind of follow along, you can do that. Or if you're watching a movie that you're really into, you don't want to miss it, you can still get in the kitchen and be able to uh, uh, view the TV there. Gorgeous solid surface countertops in here, undermount stainless steel sink, high rise faucet, and again storage all up and around. You'll see they kind of went with the natural wood look in here. You have the decorative glass, which I like the glass. It's simple, it's not over the top, but it is uh, still elegant. It's frosted, so you can see through it just enough so that you know if you uh, put some glasses and stuff up there, you can show them off. And you have crown molding along the top. You also notice right up top here is a ceiling fan to uh, move move some air around, plus you have a big vent fan. So if you really want to move air through here and you don't want to turn on the AC, you can open up some windows, turn that vent fan on, and it's going to suck a ton of air through here. Beautiful light fixtures, as I mentioned, just a bunch of countertop space and storage all underneath. And folks, my favorite part about this, take a look at the pricing we have on here. This one is starting at $69.95 or $371 a month. And folks, if you're looking to live in something full-time, at $371 a month, that's a pretty low mortgage in my opinion, and uh, especially for what you're getting here. As we continue inside then we head outside, I think you're going to agree. Opening this space up, you see the pantry motion sensor light right there, tons of space. The shelves don't come all the way forward, so you have a spot for a broom or a Swiffer in there. 
You have the Furion cooktop and oven. Again, this one has the auto ignition, so you can just hit the clicker down for both the top, and then it has one for the oven too. That way you're not trying to light that burning your eyebrows off. You'll see right in the back, you have the subway tile, kind of in a herringbone pattern, uh, which uh, honestly, if you look at the floor, the floor has kind of a herringbone pattern there too. So kind of, you know, keeping that same patterns, even though they're very distinctly different, you know, being brown versus gray, it does kind of help still pull all that together. Wine rack up top, residential LG refrigerator. I'll just kind of show you some of the size that you're looking at right there, folks. A ton of cold storage, plenty of space. You have the drawer freezer right down below. When I open that up, you'll also see that this one has an ice maker. So, you know, if that's a big deal to you, then again, it has the ice maker built in. If you're looking going full time, having that is really nice. And then right here is a half bath because this is a bath and a half floor plan. So that way, if guests need to use the bathroom, they can, you know, nice and easy to access. Plenty of room on the toilet. Your toilet paper holder is already built in right there. Stainless steel bowl, so upgraded bowl. You have the mirrored medicine cabinet. Plus, there are some storage racks right here behind me. Whether you want to put, you know, just some decor in there or extra toilet paper, uh, you know, I guess that choice is up to you. Um, we'll get to this in a second, but I also want to point out there are two ACs in this unit. Uh, that does come as standard, so that way it can cool things off nice and quickly. This is the control for that fantastic vent fan. The, um, you'll see this guy right here, so you have some controls built in there. As far as, you know, right now you can see leveler, things like that. And then the rest of your controls will be right around the corner. But I do want to show this because, you know, this is something else that um, you know, is a little bit unique about this floor plan. As we go through these front livings, you're going to see the that they're all very different and this one in place of a dinette has this right here where you have a couple bar stools with the bar top so if you really like that then maybe you'll really like the the 36 fl if you want more of a permanent dinette or table then we'll have some other options a little bit later and again folks you know i don't have a ton of time to go through these there's so many features that i'm just not going to be able to hit on but what you can do is text easy rv to 32094 and we have show specialists that are standing by today and what they, could, what they will do is they will help walk you through. They can give you uh, a virtual walkthroughs just like we're doing right now on different front living fifth wheels. They can answer any questions you have and give you a fully personalized experience. Here in the bedroom, you see the queen bed right there in the center. On both sides are nightstands with some additional storage. And then right up top, if you see this, if I shut this door, kind of slide that shut, you'll see big additional storage up there, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, I think that the manufacturer didn't have to put that in, but I'm glad they did just, you know, kind of filling some what normally would be dead space. Nice barn style door right there. Of course, our second AC, you'll see the TV uh, right at the foot of the bed. You'll also have wardrobe storage right next to that. And then we come in the bathroom. Take a look at this. Right here is more wardrobe space, or if you want washer and dryer, this is where the washer and dryer would go. So it is very easy to get to. It's essentially, you know, uh, right in the, the, the bedroom suite, so that way you can do laundry right here, which, again, very easy access. Toilet down in the corner, porcelain bowl, provides plenty of space as we come into the shower. Yep, you can see the bowl right there, a little bit of storage. You'll see the stainless steel bowl. And here in the shower, folks, I'm six foot tall. I have plenty of space. Skylight right up top there. And again, I'm not struggling at all. I can easily flip around in there. But folks, the, the front living that we have here, just it just it's a ton of space, a lot of room. You get that front living room feel. I, wa I uh, wanna go outside real quick just to show you some outside features because there is a ton of stuff out here as well. So when we step outside, the very first thing I wanna show you is this grab handle. Look how big this grab handle is. So as you saw right from the very first step, I can use this to help guide me down. So if you have bad knees, a little bit tougher getting in and out of the camper, this will definitely aid in that as it is much larger than some of the others out there. You also have this solid step so that way you don't get that shaky feeling or the springboard feeling. You can just head right up there. If we come up front, I do want to show you this. So one of the big downfalls generally of front living room fifth wheels, just so you know, is the front storage. You can see right here that this isn't as big as some other fifth wheels. You know, this is probably more akin to the size of a travel trailer, but they are doing more and more to give you additional storage in the back of front living. And I'll show you that in a little bit. I do want to show you a couple other things first though. One is the inverter that's right there that is dedicated to the refrigerator and also the battery disconnect. But as we make our way right back here, 
Check this out, folks. As I said, that's not huge, but look at what we get instead. You get this right here, so you have more storage there, outside speakers, and this is one of my favorites, this massive outside kitchen. You have this beautiful refrigerator with a clear front. Look at all this prep space right here. You'll see the stainless steel bowl. You get the cooktop off to the side, all that prep surface, a TV if you want to watch TV out here, and if you can peek right through there, you will see the giant drawer on the other side. So you have all that storage over there too. And you also can see um, the convenient center there with all of our uh, hookups for water. You, you'll notice this one has a whole house fresh water filter already built in there as well. I'm telling you folks, when it comes to uh, high-end amenities and comfortable living, front living room fifth wheels are definitely a great option. Now as we go through, as I said, I have a couple more to show you. One of them is technically a little flip. It actually is kind of like a front living in the back. But again, that's something we're here to help you out with. Just text Easy RV to 32094. Hey guys, what's happening? You're here at the RV, Ultimate RV campsite at the Ultimate RV show. I'm here with Melissa. My name's Dave. Once again, we have another product to show you. Uh, Melissa, I was looking at this thing, the better way? Yeah. Toe sense technology? What? I mean, this thing is kind of crazy. I need you to tell me a little about this stuff. Uh, it says it does vehicle weight, vehicle and trailer weight, tongue weight, pin weight, trailer brake gain, payload, weight distribution. How in the world does it do all of this? <laughs> it does, actually. I don't know if you've ever been curious to know uh, when you're packing your camper what the weight is uh, i know you want to proportion everything out you don't want to have too much weight going on at the back end in case you go up a steep hill you don't want your bumper dragging no definitely not no so this is going to help you out with something like that um pretty simple this I package can, is so small how are you going to do that it is so it's all electrical it does have uh where you can download it onto an app and works with your phone um very simple to install okay to take me just a couple of seconds i can walk you over here and show you how we do that yeah definitely all right so what it's going to plug into is the port, your OBD port underneath your steering wheel. So very simple, so, just small. Just right here? Yep, underneath the steering wheel. Okay. So you yep. feel your little I plug under it. there. Yep, it's right yep. there. Nice. So all we do is just take this. You find your port. Line it up. Make sure you get all the holes. And there you go. Installed. And then you just have your app on your phone. You are going to want to be in a driving motion. You're going to want to be moving. Okay. You're going to need to go at least 15 miles per hour. You're going to want to go in a straight line. That's going to calculate your weight for you. So it actually uses, so whenever you're moving, it actually, that's when it's actually yes. yeah, you doing actually, all these weights. It's, all, it's measuring all these weights for you. Yeah, you okay. have to be moving for it to read. Um, and I guess that's showing your phone. So your own personal phone, you just pick whichever thing you're trying to look at. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I think this is a great price point for this too we got going on. Oh man, I, I would love to know what that is. Let's see here. We've got uh, regular price is $111.99. But guess what? At the Ultimate RV Show, at the Ultimate RV Show, we have a promo price. It is $99.96. Oh, that's awesome. $99.96. And then we have Good Sam price. Of course, we always got to take care of our Good Sam members. Always. $94.97 for this. I couldn't believe it. I was like, if it does all that, it's worth its weight in gold. Very okay? much. Though, better way, better way mobile towing scale. That's great. That's great. I'll tell you what, if you want the better way, you need to try three different options. You can uh, comment right down below at what camp you can text camp to 32094 once again that's 32094 or you can call 866-235-8751 again at the ultimate rv show at the ultimate campsite you can't beat this this is great what else, is there any other cool things you can tell us about this? Like, do we need to know just all, how this all works? Um, well, your phone's gonna pretty much walk you through every bit of it. So it's gonna do most of the, wor most of the work, it's gonna do all the thinking for us. We don't have to think about this, right? Nope. No, we're just gonna hook up our camper. We're gonna 
if it's a fifth wheel, go put it in the bed. It's mm -hmm. going to tell me how much weight it's, go, it's pushing it's down. It's going to tell you how much weight you have in your truck before you even hook your fifth wheel up what? to it. What? Okay. All right. And I, I mean, it's got all this little, you know, hey, I remember this is like math. We're doing like calculus over here, or, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Or like, or, you know, my, mom, my mom's a math teacher, so of course she'd get mad if I didn't tell, say geometry or something to that effect. But anyway, uh, we got to do this crazy formula. I don't need to do it anymore, mom. Don't have to. This little guy is going to do it for me. Okay, so again, hook up, travel trailer, fifth wheel, we're good to go. I got it all the way through. All so done. again, price again, $111.99 for regular, but we want to get you promo at $99.96. I've got good sand price at $94.97. Look here, comment, camp, down below, camp, comment it. Or you can text 32094 or call 866-235-8751, Ultimate RV Show. Thanks for coming out to our campsite. And now we are in the Avalanche 375 RD. RD stands for rear den. So what a rear den is, is they basically take a front living room, but they flip it around. So what you have then is you have a raised living room in the back, you'll have the raised bedroom in the front, and then essentially a sunken kitchen in the center. Historically speaking, going back a ways, with the front living room, you had the big living room area, you would come down the steps into the kitchen and then move on back into the bedroom. And they still do have those, but as we saw with the hemisphere, a lot of times they're now raising it up in the back to allow for stuff underneath, whether it's storage, amazing outside kitchens like we had in the hemisphere, or this one right here, the rear den, which is kind of what started the trend for the front living. So again, we flipped it around. So even though this looks like a front living room setup, this is actually in the back of the RV. And when we go outside, you'll see why that can be an advantage for you. So you get the same setup. You have dual opposing slides here. You have roll, or sorry, not rollover, tri-fold sofas in both so that they can both fold out. Great sleeping space, again, very comfortable. Theater seats right here, just like you would expect. These ones are powered. Um, so what you have with these ones is it has a light. You also get uh, heat and vibration. So, um, you know, that way, again, you can kind of take a chill off. There's USB ports in there too. A uh, little spot for your remotes and then some additional cup holders. Now that is gonna be the best seat in the house because na uh, naturally that is directly across from the TV, but you still have a great viewing angle from but the sofas here. And if you wanna lay down on a sofa, by all means, you can do that too. Multimedia center right there in the middle and that is a DVD player, speakers on the side with the fireplace underneath. You'll also see a lot of windows up here, both on the, on the sides of the TV, as well as in these slide boxes themselves to let in a lot of natural light. And they went with the beige style roller shades. Now roller shades are great because they just are so much easier to use than your pleated blinds. Um, and again, you know, they, they tend to work a little bit better. And I personally like the beige ones just because at nighttime when you close them all down, it just kind of makes it feel a little bit brighter. It doesn't feel quite as closed in for me. And as we head down the stairs, this is kind of what I was referring to. So this back part is lifted up. Of course, the front is lifted up because that's where your kingpin will be. And then right down in the center here is is our kitchen as well as our dining area. So as I mentioned with the last uh, one we were in, the hemisphere, that one had more of a bar style. But if you want something with a permanent place to eat, then this one might be more your speed. So right here, you'll see the four chairs, you'll have the table. The price on this one, folks, again, an amazing price. You can see that starting at $68,995, uh, at four twenty dollars a month here at the Ultimate RV Show to lock in that pricing. And folks, today is the last day. It's the last day of the show. If you're just tuning in, um, you can see some of the last sessions. We have archived them all. I definitely recommend checking them out because we've had a lot of great stuff. But if you're looking to lock in pricing, you're going to want to text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in that comment section. Now we have dual opposing slides here too. We had it up front. We have it here so that you can open up this kitchen space and that allows for this beautiful island right here in the kitchen. Gorgeous solid surface that they used. You will see that the sink is in the center. I love the sink they use. There's a few different manufacturers that are using these. Really big bowl here on the left, a little bit smaller on the right, so it's perfect for washing and rinsing. We have a little bit of uh, uh, pink stuff on there. That's from winterization. If you're not familiar with it, uh, it's a propylene glycol you put through it to winterize. 
And of course, you have to make sure that it's all the way through all of your fixtures, so when you open it up, it makes a little bit of a mess. That being said, you have the high-rise pull-out faucet right here, so it's easy to wash and rinse those dishes. Plenty of storage, and if you know me, you know that I love when they put a spot for a trash can even more when they have two trash cans. Why have one when you can have two, right? Well, it goes for a lot of things in life, honey. You're the only one, I promise, I love you, I swear. We're talking about trash cans, you're the furthest thing from trash, you're the best. Taking a look right over here, uh, you will see that you have a buffet style countertop there, uh, electrical outlet, so this makes a good spot for like a coffee bar or, you know, if, hey, maybe it's nighttime, right? Check this out, in the morning you have a coffee bar at night, what are you thinking, Kevin? Maybe put a margarita machine there, get some margaritas going. Now we're, yeah, now we're cruising. Now we're living the life. That's what RVing's about. We take a look right down below. We have good storage space right there. Again, more over, uh, more prep space over to the side. Furion three burner cooktop. You can see here is uh, you have the microwave there, storage all up top there, and then a residential style refrigerator. Now this is a Samsung brand. You know you may have this exact same one in your house with one exception, of course, and that is the travel lock I have right here. I'm gonna guess you probably don't have that unless you're trying to keep you know, uh, a teenager out of the fridge, because I don't know about you guys, but mine's trying to eat me out of house and home. But right here, you'll see plenty of cold storage, a couple crisper drawers there, and right down underneath is our freezer. And you will see this tray, that is because this one has the ice maker built in. One of the great things about having the residential refrigerator, they cool down way quicker. A lot of them have that ice maker, and so that way you don't have to buy a portable one or have ice trays or anything to that effect. You'll also see right there is your pantry. Um, and again, the shelves didn't come all the way forward. So if you have something a little bit smaller, a Swiffer pry, eh, it might fit, not the wet jet, but if you have a broom or something, you can put it in there. Uh, and again, a uh, good shelving space there. And then up top, they have this cool light feature. So uh, I do like that they put that in there. It's just, you know, again, kind of gives it a little extra flair. Then you kind of have the buffet hutch uh, area here. So if you didn't want to put your bar over there, maybe you want to put it over here. Maybe you have coffee over there, margaritas over there. Who knows? We can party in here, folks. But you will see that you have, again, good space there and storage all the way down. Heading up the steps, we get into the bathroom. So there are a couple entrances and exits. There's one we'll see in just a second to go into the bedroom. This, of course, enters straight into the bathroom. And they did a good job with the toilet by angling it. So you're still able to have good flow through here. Porcelain bowls, nice and easy to clean. I have plenty of space. Uh, big sink, that is something that doesn't seem like a big deal to have in the kitchen, but when you're brushing your teeth, you know, sometimes it's a small sink and you go to spit and it makes a mess, or when you're washing your hands, it splashes everywhere. I do personally appreciate a larger sink. Speaking of large, take a look at the size of this shower. I can spin all the way around in here. This is a one-piece residential style shower, so there aren't any seams in the bottom. You'll see the seat there in case you want to sit down or shave your legs. You have that option. And then when we head into the bedroom here, we'll open that up. Come on in. So big, beautiful bedroom spot for a TV. What you will notice right in here too, folks, Take a look at that. You know what that means? That means you have a quiet, cool AC in here. And so what that does for you is as you're snoozing, it's not nearly as loud, so you can actually fall asleep. It doesn't sound like there's a hurricane going through your bedroom. The gorgeous headboard right there. You have windows on both sides that open. I appreciate that because that way if you want to open them up, get some cross ventilation, you can. Big wardrobe storage right here up front. And then right over to the side, if I open this up, you can take a look in there. You can see the, uh, the hanging rod does extend all the way through and if you want washer and dryer you will see you have washer dryer prep in there as we head outside lots of great things to happen out here too so of course the solid steps and again those have aluminum treads you have the big grab handle as we come around to the front i'll open this up for you just so you can take a look so this one has the battery over to the side you also have your uh, hydraulic fluid tank there with the pump because this one has hydraulic auto level which generally for the industry standard is considered the best it's just a little bit stronger than what you generally get on electric motors battery disconnect in there solar prep if you want a little bit of solar just to kind of help top off the batteries you also see big storage area up front folks so we're talking about a rear den you can see how much bigger this front storage is than what we had in the front living the other great thing i mentioned out here about putting the living room area in the back is look up 
Right here we have an awning. On a front living room, what will happen is you will have a slide right here, which takes away a lot of your good camp space. So it shifts your camp space to the back. So depending on where you like to camp, depending on the campsite, especially if you have a seasonal, this is a big deal. It's very important when you're making the distinction if you want a rear den or a front living is where your main camp space is going to be. Now folks, that's something we're absolutely happy to help you out with. All you have to do is text uh, EZRV to 32094 or drop EZRV in the comments section. Our show specialists will make sure that you're getting set up with the right RV for your campsite based upon where you're going and help you determine if a rear den or a front living is right for you. Now, another big advantage of the rear den, folks, is right back here, you saw that we had that elevated rear area. And what does that do? It gives you storage, storage, storage. And what I mean by that, come right around the back here for me, folks. Let's pop this guy open. Oh, baby, look at that that you want to talk about big outside storage there it is we have a massive tray folks you can probably fit a kayak in there if you want you have bikes you have kayaks you have cornhole boards this tray makes it very easy to access this is what they use in high-end diesel pushers this exact same brand you can see it just rolls out with ease so even items that you have back here are still very accessible and again maybe that's a big deal to you maybe it's not if you want some of the biggest in-class storage, a lot of times a rear den is better than a front living. But that's why I say, folks, that's why our show specialists are here. We want to make sure that you're getting the perfect RV for you. Uh, you'll also see this one has frameless windows. Great thing about frameless windows is not only do they look nicer, but also the seals are tucked behind the glass, so they're not getting nearly as beat up by the elements. And the way this opens, it essentially tilt opens. That means you can have these open while it's raining, unless it's a sideways rain, you're not getting a bunch of rain in there, so it doesn't get all stuffy in the RV and you still stay dry. So folks, we've only gone over two so far. We have a couple more. Again, we're talking about front living room, fifth wheels. Living rooms are king, but storage can be king too. So let's go check out a few more. Hey, it's Sean Parr. I'm out here at the Ultimate RV Show, and I want to take a moment and thank one of our ultimate partners, Progressive Insurance. Everybody knows Progressive, and they're going to be one of the specialty insurers that's going to take care of you and all your RV insurance needs. They can put a special package together just for you. They can bundle everything together, too. Recreational vehicles, RVs, your home, they can put it all in one. you got a commercial auto or your trucks or anything else. All you have to do to get a quote is just visit our partners, Progressive.com com slash rv introducing easy rv by camping world the only way to buy and take delivery of your new rv all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair to buy your new rv the easy way just follow these simple steps step one shop till you drop find your perfect rv online at campingworld.com Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Welcome everyone to the Ultimate RV Show. Chris Young here with Morgan McKenzie. Hey, for all of you who may be just tuning in to the Ultimate RV Show, thank you so much for joining us. You are tuning in to the world's largest virtual RV show where you can, from the comfort of your own home or from your own camp chair, view RVs inside and out as well as get insider information, tips and tricks, and find the easiest way to take home your RV. Morgan, my boy Ian is out there right now in those front living fifth wheels, and my gosh, the manufacturers have done such a good job, not only with 2021s, but giving us some beautiful things to look at. That's right. Listen, if you're new to the show, we want to get you registered for these giveaways as oh, well. absolutely. We got one coming up in a little bit, don't oh we? Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. We have a Coleman Power Sports CK100S go-kart up for grabs, so get registered at UltimateRVShow.com. If you're not registered, you can't win, so do that. 
I love it. If you, yeah, because you can't win if you don't register. It's important. You also can't view these RVs unless you text Easy RV to 32094 or drop us a comment down below, Easy RV, or just give us a call, 866 853 3510. Now, granted, the virtual, the Ultimate RV Show is all about being virtual, all about the ease of use. Everything from viewing your RV to getting your paperwork sent to you to getting your unit delivered. And with the Good Sam Assurance Program, Morgan, let me tell you, guaranteed best offer on your trade or a thousand bucks in cash, 24 hour cash in hand, and we'll come get your trade, drop off your new one, or they can just come in and see us. We got over how many locations across the country? 150. 150 locations across the country and over 25,000 RVs that you can check out. Ultimate RV Show pricing ends today. And you know, my boy Ian, we've been having fun back and forth pretty much all week. You we had two some, have been cutting up in the boxing ring. We've had a well, you know, The one thing I noticed last <laughs> night was my boy Ian, he's got some junk in the trunk. But since he's got these front living fifth wheels, I think the one he's in right now has got junk in Chris, the trunk, too. you talking about too. my butt again? You, you talking about my butt again, buddy? This is the fourth time this week. What's going on? I get it. I get it. It's nice. No. Uh, but, folks... <laughs> Honestly, this Montana has a ton of space outside. We saw what we had before. Trust me, when you see this one, you are going to be blown away. But it is Montana. And if you've you know been out RVing, I'm sure Montana is a name that rings very familiar. And this is a wonderful front living setup. Uh, we had a first look earlier in the week that actually had a little bit of a twist on this one. And we'll see that in just a second, where instead of a half bath, you can get a butler pantry. But I do want to hit on a couple things up front that are very notable. One is the big window that you have here. So the reason I really like this is you'll see that the TV it, uh, drops right down. So you can open this up, have that window there. So as I mentioned, if you want to be up here and just kind of talking with guests, you don't want the TV to be a distraction. I completely understand that. This completely eliminates that and if you have a nice view out the front you're able to enjoy it so you have the roller shade here too let me see if I can now you know you can just see a bunch of RV right there because we're parking nice and close for the ultimate RV show but you can certainly imagine if you have a beautiful lake view out the front what you're able to see how gorgeous that uh, could be and how much you can enjoy that have all your friends right around here and uh, again really just kind of bond and spend time with each other now Maybe in the event, you know, it's a Sunday and you want to watch your Lions kick the butt out of some Packers. Packers fans, I'm sorry, it's going to happen. Here we go. This is how you do it. You just pop this bad boy up right there. Everyone can sit right around here. And, uh, you know, yeah, if it's nighttime, you want to watch TV, you want to watch a movie, this gives you the ability to do it. Popping this bad boy open. Whoop. I might have that stuck a little bit, uh, but this normally uh, just pops open and what you'll have right behind there is the uh, multimedia center. That way you can, you can watch a movie, just slide a DVD right in there. Fireplace right underneath too, folks. This is a gorgeous fireplace. You'll see how long it is. That's again, you know, kind of following the residential trend, a little bit more modern when it comes to that style fireplace, but it looks a lot nicer. And again, this is a space heater and a front living does a great job. But Maybe you don't need heat. Maybe it's hot. It's the middle of summer. You want to cool down? We got you covered. In a Montana, it is standard to have two quiet, cool ACs, one in the front and one in the back. The really nice thing about that, is, especially in a front living room, is the fact that when you're sitting here watching TV, folks, that's like 35% quieter having that quiet, cool AC. So you don't have to turn the TV way up. You don't have to yell over people. Uh, you know, again, if you ask my wife or, well, actually, pretty much anyone that's been here that's been around me this week, they'll tell you I yell all the time. I don't mean to. I'm just a loud person. So for me, it's not as big of a deal. But for everyone else, uh, having that qu uh, quieter AC is super helpful. Now, as we saw before, these are both trifold sofas. These, um, could, you know, they will flip right out. They create very comfortable beds, so great sleeping space here. And because it is a, a wide body, the Montana, when you do flip these in, you will still have enough room to be able to walk in between them. Uh, you know, you get with that wide body, you get an extra four inches. And four inches may not seem like a lot, but in certain scenarios, like right here, four inches is a huge deal. You will also see your theater seating. So right there, you'll have a spot for your remotes. You see uh, a little bit of foam, that's cool. Hey, you wanna hide some foam, that's the place to do it. You'll see cup holders there too, and you have all sorts of controls. You have lights, you have power um, footrests, so you can, you know, 
kind of extend it just like so, bring it right back, make it super nice and easy. And then you also have both massage and heat features. Something else that's cool. We talked about people sleeping up here because this does make a good bedroom space. Look at that. They put in a curtain because they know that eventually you will have guests. You probably will want someone to stay. And I don't know about you, but when I'm sleeping somewhere, I want my privacy. The last thing in the world I want is someone to come, you know, walk out here. And here I am in my underwear with my blanket half off, drool all over the pillow. My hair is a mess. You know, I'm probably talking in my sleep, probably saying something about the Ultimate RV Show and how you can save so much money. I'm sure it's going to happen over the next couple days. Uh, right over here, though, is your bar space. So again, whether you want, you know, an actual uh, like liquor bar or if you want a coffee bar, a margarita bar, mimosa bar, that sounds kind of good this morning. Uh, you can just throw that right in there. You also see TV hookup. So if you want a TV in the kitchen because, you know, maybe you love to do some cooking and you like to watch shows while you cook, you can certainly have that, too. You'll see one of your thermostats will be located here as both of them are, both your AC units are individually controlled. Max air fan control is there as well. If you look directly above, you will see that max air fan. A couple really cool points here too. One, if you open up the windows and turn that fan on, folks, you will definitely feel the wind come in through the window if you put your hand on it. Does a great job, has a lot of suction, but also it is prepped for a third AC. So if you are going somewhere, you're staying somewhere, it's really hot and you want that third AC, it is already pre-wired and uh, braced for it so you can have that installed. Residential refrigerator again, open that guy up. You can see, you know, I mean, we're looking at, you know, big advantage of residential refrigerators, folks, a ton of space. This is a GE one, sliding that open. You can see, well, it's a little taped up here, but you can see that you have the, again, the drawer for the ice maker, uh, big dr uh, drawer freezer. And there are different styles they're putting in RVs, but this is, uh, you know, again, just gives you a ton of cold storage. Because we have dual opposing slides in this main living area, that gives us the island. And just like we saw in the Avalanche, same style sink. Big sink on the left here, a little bit smaller one on the right. This is honestly one of my favorite sinks in the industry just because this bowl by itself is so darn large that you can fit big pots and pans down in there. Now, folks, price on this one, this is what we got, starting at $77,995 or as low as $475 a month. I'm telling you folks, if you're looking to get into something beautiful, you wanna live full time, here's something for you. Montana recognizes full time RVers. That's not always the case. Some manufacturers, they find out you're living full time in it, they're like, nope, warranty's gone. Montana says, absolutely, we build this, we build it to be used every single day, we trust in our product. If you wanna live in it, we will warranty you. And you can live in this in the cold seasons too, folks. This one is 100% ready for the cold weather. Everything's insulated, it's heated, you have heating tank pads, your valves are insulated, you're good to go. Right up top here, you'll of course see your microwave there, a convection microwave, mind you, storage all around. So if you wanna uh, you know, use it basically an electric oven, you have this right here. If you want a propane oven, you have that right down below. Pretty good size there as well. If you wanna cook some casseroles or some enchiladas in there, you see your cooktop, three burner cooktop, little drawer there, and drawers all along the side here, full bank of drawers. It's also worth adding because I always love to talk about it. Take a look at that. You got a spot for your trash can there. In here, so I talked earlier about the, the little bit different floor plan, right? The BP, which is the ba uh, butler pantry. So you can have an option, you can get the butler pantry or you can get the one like this with a half bath. So, you know, it all depends on, on what you want. Uh, for me, I love the functionality of a half bath. I understand why people don't want it. I don't want someone pooping here either. I get it. But that's not what this one is for. If they're going to do that, do the business back there. But if you just need someone to come in, do something real quick, you know, you just got to pee, head right back out. This is perfect for it. Maybe you just want to come in, make sure, you know, your hair and makeup's looking good. You have the capability to do that too. You also have a stainless steel sink and storage up top. Plus, folks, you have a big max air fan with a rain sensor. So, you know, if you are one of those people that are going to come in here and do your duty, that'll make sure that... Uh, that takes care of that smell real quick. But again, I, I know that it does freak some people out. I, I personally have no issues. I just love the functionality of having a bath and a half floor plan. You will see the big storage all along the side here. Our buffet style dinette right over to the side. The table slides out. It does come with two folding chairs, windows all the way around, pop up power tower in case you need to do some work. You wanna make it a mobile office, you can plug in right there and go. And when we come up into the bedroom, 
As I said, folks, right up top on the ceiling, you can see it there, quiet, cool AC. You have a TV at the foot of the bed. It's actually on an angle, so you have a better viewing angle to the TV. Uh, nice, big, king-size bed. You have shelves on both sides, electrical outlets, windows all the way around. Big wardrobe space right there with washer dryer preps. If you want washer and dryer in here, you can have that. Again, if you're look, looking to live full time, it may be a good option. And when you step into the master bath, you have the beautiful master suite here, porcelain bowl, plenty of leg room, dual vanity. That can be a pretty big deal. Uh, you know, some people, sometimes we call it the marriage saver because both people can get ready at the same time. You're not fighting over the bathroom. When you come right in here, you will see the one piece residential style shower. The hand wand is on an arm bar as well, or on the bar, so that way you can adjust that and move it to uh, kind of what you want. So absolutely beautiful interior, folks. I wanna show you the exterior because there is so much on this one. They do a wonderful job, and I promised you earlier that this one had some junk in the trunk. I do also wanna point out before I step outdoors, there is a central vac built right into those steps. That way you can vacuum the whole thing out. Big, uh, your uh, more ride solid steps. You can see that aluminum treads. Come on up to the front. We talk about front living. You generally don't get a ton of storage up front and that's no exception here. You can see it's a little bit narrower. You have the dump out right there for your central vac. You also have the connections. If you want TV out here, you have that option. Propane tanks right up front. You'll see a side camera prep. So if you want side camera, you have the capability to do it. We're almost out of time. I gotta show you this. Hustle to the back. Big awning coverage over both sides, power awning, LED lights. Take a look at how big this storage is. This runs all the way to the back of the RV, from the front all the way to the back. Kevin, come around to the back real quick here. Show everyone how stinking huge that is. Folks, I'm telling you, if you're looking for storage, you don't beat a floor plan like this, folks. You have big kayaks, you wanna throw two of them in there, you have the space to do it. That's something that we know, maybe you don't, but that's okay. You can text EZRV to 32094, we can help you out. Damn, one second over. Hey guys, Kaylin and Melissa back at the Ultimate Campsite, we have been slaving away washing the campers no we haven't we really haven't don't worry about it but melissa is going to show us how to properly wash our camper and prevent uh oh having to overwash in the future right correct awesome we don't need to wash our campers all the time all right so um first off you're gonna want to concentrate on your roof first uh, i would say every three to six months you're gonna want to wash your roof you're gonna want to to last that 10 years that it's supposed to last. So what we have here today is gonna be our rubber roof cleaner and conditioner. So I would start off with this. You're gonna wanna do it in not sun beaming down. Okay. So you wanna do it cooler weathers uh, and you're gonna wanna try and do all this in uh, one step. So don't stop, come back, just get it all done at once, knock it out. All right, so right here, like I said, we have our RB, RV rubber roof cleaner and conditioner. This is gonna be my step one. Okay, and your step one is a regular $12.99 on sale for the Ultimate RV Show at $9.44 and Good Sam members coming in at $8.97. All right, awesome, sounds good. Step two is gonna be your UV shield and protectant. This is what's gonna help that sun protect it. It's like putting sunblock on your skin. You're gonna put this on your roof. Oh, okay, so would, should I put this on even if my camper is covered most of the You're time? You're gonna wanna do this every time you wash. Every time I wash. Yes. And for the UV shield protection, it's a regular $14.99, $11.02 Ultimate RV Show price. And for our good Sam members, you get it for $10.47. Awesome, all right, so. Like when you're in the shower and you're washing your body, mm -hmm. you start from the head and you finish at the toes. So we're gonna, next step is gonna be our awning cleaner. You're always gonna wash your awning. If you're washing your roof, it's gonna run off. Let that awning out, wash it, spray it down really good, scrub it. It's gonna last longer. It's vinyl fabric. So this is washing and protecting. It's washing time. and protecting, yes it is. That's awesome. And the awning cleaner, regular price is $5.99, $4.49 for our Ultimate RV Show pricing and good Sam members are at 427. All right, so next is gonna be the body of the unit. You're gonna wanna wash and wax. This is great, doesn't leave any 
film or residue on the RV. It's just like you would wash your camper, just like you're gonna wash your body. You're gonna wanna wash every part of it. Right, get you that good shine with the wax yes. as well. So the wax here is at $6.99 regular, $5.23 for the Ultimate RV Show promo price and $4.97 for Good Sam members. And then what do we have here at the end, the spray? So these are gonna be a little extra. Sometimes you're gonna notice that you start noticing black streaks. That's mm -hmm. gonna be from you washing your roof and not washing the body properly. Or if you're parked under a lot of trees, sometimes it'll just get runoff. Um, as soon as you see a black streak on your unit, the best bet is for you to try to scrub it then. The longer it sits, the harder it is for it to come off. Uh, same thing with mildew stain remover. So um, black streak remover, I think we have a special one going on that right now. Yep, so the black streak remover is at $6.99. Promo price is at $5.23 and Good Sam members get it for $4.97. That mildew is going to be the same price. $5.99, $4.49 for the promo price and $4.27 for Good Sam members. And guys, all of this stuff is featured in our Ultimate RV show. So you can drop that word camp below. Text camp to 32094 or give us a call at 866-235-8751 and uh, go wash your RV and we'll see you guys in a little bit. And the last front living room of the hour is the Alpine 3700 FL. Another great front living room floor plan, folks. This may start to look familiar. What do we have up here? Dual opposing slides, tri-fold sofas on both end. Of course, both of these fold out and you're able to have a little bit of walking space in between there. And of course you get two beds here so you can sleep four adults right up top. Also, you'll see something a little bit familiar here, a little bit like the Montana. Got the window up front, you have the roller shade and the pop-up TV. Now that one is located right on the other side, but very similar, we just go like that, push the button, and as you would expect, that bad boy just rolls up and out of there just like that. So that way, if you wanna watch TV, if you wanna watch your Packers lose, you can. Right next to that, you have the cowboy, right? Take a look at that. Yeah, he's herding away, my man. You got some electrical outlets on both sides. Uh, multimedia center on this one, a little bit different placement. They put it up top, so um, you know, that's fine. You can still put everything in there. Just know if you put a DVD in there, you're probably gonna have to take it out to read what it is, I suppose. Probably can't do it from there. But anyway, it's still very functional. Speakers on the side. Right down below is your fireplace. Absolutely gorgeous. And as we mentioned in some of the previous front livings, because we're up high, that'll do a good job, especially of heating this space up. But while we're looking at the ceiling, you will see this one also has quiet, cool AC. So again, nice and quiet up here, unless I'm up here, because then I'm yelling. Right over here is your theater seats. Both of these do recline. You will see that you uh, have light up cup holders, lights underneath. You'll also see here you have heat and you have massage features. Making our way down the stairs, I want to point this out. You will see this one has central vac here as well. So they try to take out as much carpet as possible in RVs these days, and that definitely aids in it, or definitely aids aids in cleaning up with having the central vac. You can just take it everywhere. In this one, there is a little bit of carpet in the slide. We'll see that in just a moment. But some people do like it because you're in a living room and you know you don't want the cold feeling on your toes. It's all personal preference. In command system, let's see if we can have a code. For the record, folks, if you ever do go to a dealership, which we do have safety protocols in place, and you see one of these and you want to start messing with it, generally there's two codes. It's either all zeros Aha, which this one was, or it'll be all ones. Anyway, once we're in here, you can see all sorts of different options. Optional generator, because you do have the option for it, if you have that installed. Awning, slide, lights, tank heaters, HVAC. Uh, you can do all that right from this touch screen. Very simple and easy to use. You can change from the front AC to the rear AC and be able to uh, flip that on and off. Um, and also, let's see this one. Yeah, so just so you know, heat strip, I forgot to mention that in the Montana too, it has a heat pump. So what that'll actually do for you folks is if it's over 45 degrees out, you know, so when basically not when it's freezing out, but when it's just kind of starting to get chilly, whether that's early in the morning or if it's late at night, you can cl uh, click that on and then that will just give you some electric heat and especially in conjunction with that fireplace. It also has your suburban on-demand water heater. What this is, it's a, basically a small little three gallon tank 
but, but the only reason they have that is so it's instant hot. So you have three gallons of that instant hot water, which gives it time to heat up more incoming water so that way you have continuous hot water. So if you have four people taking a shower back to back to back, you'll still be good to go. Storage all along here, gorgeous solid surface countertops. Man, I feel like I'm talking like Sean Parr. We have gorgeous solid surface countertops in here. Am I doing good? Am I doing good, Sean? Um, yeah, Kevin agrees, my man. So uh, again, solid surface countertops right here. You have the sink top covers. Now you have different styles. With this one, they give you the actual solid surface cutout, and I think that's smart because although I always talk about how much I love this sink, chances are it's gonna be a little bit tougher to find a sink top cover to fit that shape. So just bear in mind that uh, you wanna make sure you take good care of your sink top covers. If you do have to replace it, chances are you have to go through the manufacturer. Uh, you have the high rise pull out faucet here. Look at that, once again, not one, but two trash cans, gotta love it. Plenty of, hey listen, maybe you wanna do one as recycle. You know, maybe you're drinking some beers and you recycle in your state, there you go. Maybe you have it, uh, you know, one as, um, I don't know, whatever else you want. There's plenty of options there, right? Uh -huh, but you see the other sink top cover right over to the side here. Woo! Your basket strainers. Uh, in case you didn't know, drop a little knowledge on you, that's what those are called. You have uh, drawers, so a set of four drawers all the way down, silverware, everything else you need across the way. More storage here. And of course, we bopped right on past the residential refrigerator. We've seen a couple of these. Again, this is the Samsung one. Open that up just to kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at for space. And then once again, you have the freezer drawer on the bottom. Kind of a different backsplash on here. This is, uh, uh, you know, we saw this in the Alpine and then the, um, I believe it was the Avalanche had the same one, but I do like this backsplash. It's a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. A lot of manufacturers are putting in subway tile, uh, you know, and some of them are doing herringbone, some of them flat, but if you want something a little different, that may be the one that sells you on this unit. You will also see the convection microwave oven, storage all across the top, Furion cooktop here, and again, that residential feel where it's built into the countertop, and as we saw earlier, this one has that electric spark ignition, not just for the cooktop, but also for the large oven underneath to make sure we're not burning off any eyebrows. If we go across the way, you will see your, uh, your table. So again, you know, a most of your front living have the table set up. The, the hemisphere is a little bit of an anomaly in that, but most of them will have some kind of physical table. Beautiful light fixture up top there. Take a look, there it is again. We have that, uh, that kind of cool little centerpiece there. And this one also has a half bath off the kitchen. So you know my feelings here, I'm all for it. Maybe you're not, but uh, I just like the functionality of having a half bath nearby where people are going to be hanging out. And again, folks, they put solid surface in the bathroom. When you're talking about higher end fifth wheels, you know, they're not skimping out anywhere. A lot of manufacturers would put something, you know, maybe a seamless countertop, which is still very nice, but a little bit less expensive, but they did your true solid surface, American stone cast sink, great sink product, uh, mirrored medicine cabinet. And once again, you have the max air fan with the rain sensor right up top. The, the rain sensor is kind of a big deal and you'll have that on both max air fans. Um, just because if it does start raining, it'll automatically close for you if you're wondering what the rain sensor does. So that way you don't have to worry about it so you don't have a bunch of rain coming in. Uh, I did just want to show you the price on this one. So there we go, folks, during the Ultimate RV Show. $72,995 or as low as $440 for a month. So all these are you know, kind of right in that same realm um, and they're all absolutely gorgeous. You see pantry space right here. As we come up the stairs, all along the foot of the bed is all different storage. You can see that you have hanging rods there, so you have wardrobe space, more storage there, drawers all over here, a, a TV at the foot of the bed. Once again, a second quiet, cool AC right here in the bedroom. So, you know, as we talked about, it's not gonna be super loud, 35% quieter. You got the headboard there. But folks, I think the big selling point on this unit is right back here, and that is your master bath. I mean, look at all this space. If I wanna do jumping jacks, woo! You know, wanna sit down, do, do some core workout. Should I start doing 
I start doing some core, right? Some leg lifts. Oh, I'm gonna break the mics, don't do that. But you just have a, a ton of space in here. Not that you're gonna work out in your bathroom, but you could. Um, but the thing I do like about it is it gives you a spot to change. Far too often when you're in RVs, the bedrooms usually aren't big enough to comfortably change in. And so sometimes you'll get a bigger bathroom like this where you can. Uh, just again, feels a little bit more like home. And when you're talking about full timing, that can be a pretty big deal. When you open this up, you'll see your washer dryer prep with your uh, hose there. But you also see that this one has the hanging rod. Now why that's important is because even though it has washer dryer prep, most people don't use the washer and dryer. But here, uh, you have the ability to do that. So you kind of get the option. And then again, folks, a big, beautiful dual vanity. You have storage all across the top, just an absolutely massive bathroom, which really just gives you the ability to have two people get ready at the same time and have plenty of storage for everything else that you need in there. So we make our way down the steps. You have solid or the uh, <laughs> solid surface. I'm still inside. You'll see the solid step with the aluminum treads that does flip right up into the door. Nice big grab handle. Come on up here and show people what they're looking at for storage. Again, you're talking front living. So what do you notice? We're seeing a trend. We don't have a ton of storage in here. Um, also, if we pop right in there, you'll see a couple things. You have your hydraulic tank. You also have the battery there solar prep but as I mentioned earlier one of the advantages of having the rear den was that you don't have the slide here so you know if you notice your camp space on your front living where does your camp space do it shifts to the back you can see where both of your power awnings are now don't get me wrong you still have great camp space but most of it is going to be shifted to the back of the RV so you know that may not be something that you normally think about when you're out RV shopping but that's why we're here folks we're here to help you out help you navigate through that this one has auto level just like all of them that we've seen so touch a button uh, and it will level itself out for you super simple you have the road armor suspension giving you an excellent ride down the road and once again, uh, as I mentioned, with a lot of these front living, they're starting to elevate the back. And what that does is it gives you this extra storage. So they divided this one up a little bit rather than having the whole thing all the way through. You can see that they put different sections. Then they sectioned this one off. And then if you come right around to the back with me, this, of course, is the largest section. So, you know, that might depend on if you want a kayak, if you want something a little bit bigger, this might not be the one for you. Maybe if the biggest thing you have is a kiddie pool, it might work. You also see the uh, hitch right there for a bike rack, of course, ladder for fully walkable roof and backup camera prep. Folks, these are just some of the front living room fifth wheels that are out there. Uh, there's a lot of other ones. There's some mid profile ones, all sorts of stuff. We're here to help you. Just text Easy RV to 32094. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. In a perfect world, you're always chasing adventure and relaxation in your new RV. But in the real world, life happens. That's why Camping World offers a suite of added protection products for our buyers. If the unthinkable happens, added protection from Good Sam will protect your RV and your wallet for the road ahead. Ask your Camping World dealer about Good Sam protection for your RV. Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. Wow, what an absolutely beautiful, just those those front living fifth wheels. Ian does such a good job with those two, man. He does. I mean, he really does. Now, we are here at the Ultimate RV Show. Chris Young, joined by my good buddy Morgan McKenzie. So glad to have you here, too. Are you having fun you, this week? I'm having a blast. Is it this fun? It really is, and I'm learning so much about RVs, and yeah. I really want to buy one. I know. <laughs> you know hopefully, everyone there just kind of has the opportunity to Get a chance to look through, see what they have, see what you like. You, plus, you can come to Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. 150 locations. Right. But if you want to register to win, because we have a ton of giveaways, you need to go to ultimatervshow.com because if you don't register, you can't win. As a matter of fact, we have something going on right now, right? We do, we do. I have a giveaway happening right now. Uh, Coleman CK100SP. 
go-kart, and I have a winner. Ooh, have you seen those? Yes, I have. Oh, they are so cool. <laughs> Power Sports are now at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors, if you haven't if you haven't figured it out by now. Just Hopefully you've been out. watching the Ultimate RV Show and you've mm-hmm. seen them. You saw me hauling butt around that Lathane with that I've go-kart. I've seen a couple people on the go-karts around here, and you I want to get in on, on it. too. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So let's talk about this winner here. Yes. Uh, let's go with it. Sharon Johnson, you are our ultimate winner for Coleman CK100S go-kart. Congratulations. And if you want to win like her, if you want to win like Sharon, make sure you register at ultimatervshow.com. I love it. Congratulations. You know, one of the best parts of being here at the Ultimate RV Show is you get to see a lot of the new units. We have stuff that has just come from the manufacturers. We have first looks. And now we just got finished with some of the best front living fifth wheels that you're going to see. One of my favorite brands, Morgan, I think we talked about a little bit the other day, the Keystone Sprinter Limited. Okay. They are my absolute favorite. So you know what? I'm actually going to run, not walk, so you can check this out. Just like you should run, not walk to Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors so that you can see yours. All right, I'm out. There you go. I'm out, Morgan. Man, out. what? Listen, if you need more information on what you see, text us EZRV32094. We're going to take a look at the first look, the Sprinter Limited, and we see Chris is sprinting to get to it. Stay tuned. We've got so much in store for you. Listen, let's just go with it. Let's go with it. First look exclusive right here at The Ultimate RV Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to The Ultimate RV Show. Chris Young here, my buddy Rob O'Neill from Keystone. We're going to show you this beautiful Keystone Sprinter 3190 RLS rear living fifth wheel. And before we get going, Rob, do you know about Easy RV? I do not. So check this out. Easy RV, if you like this floor plan and you say, oh, Chris, I got to have that one, you, you, you want to text Easy RV right now, 32094. Before I even show it to you, do it right now. Leave me a comment, Easy RV down below, or give us a call, 866 853 3510. Here's what Easy RV is. Okay. You know, right now, people have a little bit of trepidation when it comes to getting out and going and seeing a unit. Correct. I got to put on a mask, I got to drive, I got to get dressed. I've been in my pajamas for six months. I don't want to go anywhere, right? We've, we've taken all of that and condensed it. If you can cook a meal in 30 seconds with the technology that we have today, you can get an RV the same way. Easy RV, once again, to 32094, or just drop us a comment, Easy RV. We have specialists standing by right now. You say, I love that rear living fifth wheel. Show me one. They're gonna take a virtual walkthrough with you. Answer all the questions. Ooh, what's this fabric? What's it feel like? What's the grain? What's the blah, blah, blah? They're going to make sure you get every question that you have answered. Then they're going to let you talk to a finance specialist. Hey, what are my options? Why should I finance with you guys? What are the rates? How long can I go? They're going to go through all of that stuff. Find out what works for you. Then say, we're going to mail you the paperwork with postmark envelopes included so you don't even have to use a stamp. You can send it right back. You buy your RV. Now, one of our specialists is going to deliver it to you or your campsite, walk you through the same way you would at Camping World, get that same professional walkthrough, and then all you got to do is enjoy camping. That's easier than going to the grocery store. Right? That's easier <laughs> than making coffee. That's less steps than making coffee. Easy RV, 32094, or drop us a comment, Easy RV. Four letters for your camper, for your life. For right now, it's Rob O'Neill. Forever. In the brand new Keystone Sprinter yeah. Limited 3190 RLS. Dude, I love Keystone. But tell me a little bit about Sprinter. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm Rob O'Neill. I'm the district sales manager here for Sprinter. Um, Sprinter is a unique brand in the RV industry um, as it's uh, been around for 20 plus years, right? right? So um, I would you challenge you. First. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sprinter started Keystone back in 1996. Back then, we manufactured stick and tin travel trailers. So right. as a brand, Sprinter has evolved a lot along the way with, with the RV industry to what you have here today, which is a full profile luxury laminated fifth wheel. So we've seen everything that the RV industry has, has you know, thrown at us over the last 20 plus years. Right. We're still here. Um, some manufacturers haven't even, haven't even been around for half that long. So, right. Um, right. There's a lot of, of brand confidence within Sprinter. Yeah. Um, right here, this is a brand new floor plan that we have here. It's our 3190. Yeah. Um, so tell a, me about the rear living a little right. bit. Right, a rear living yeah. fifth wheel, um, I'm probably not gonna shatter the world, but we do things a little <laughs> bit differently. Um, and I think this, this is the best rear living fifth wheel on the market right now. Okay. Um, so what you have here, uh, trifold sleeper sofa. Mm-hmm. This is our coastal cottage, the microfiber. Yes. So this will fold out into a sleeping surface. It's a, um, a residential queen size sleeping surface here. Okay. So um, two people. Correct. Yeah. 
Over here, you have your 36 inch Greystone fireplace. That's electric, 5,000 BTUs. Yeah. Yes, love it. So now you guys have the multiple lights, multiple flames. Correct. Settings. So you have a couple different um, light settings. You have um, you know low, medium, high for heat settings, or you can just have it on for ambient light. You know what I love about rear living, especially when you have the entertainment center. Now, this fifth wheel has opposing slides. Correct. So we're able to get this big space we have here. That. But when you have the entertainment center over here on the off camp, you got the fireplace there, and you got the Thomas Paine recliners yep. right there. Talk about enjoying life while you're out reconnecting. And look, we talked about this earlier too. People say all the time, ah, you can't sleep in a recliner. That is not a sleeper. You can't count that as a sleeping apparatus. I challenge that every day. Chris, I've slept in, in, in uh, recliners before. Well, I mean, you've, you've met my wife, and you know why I have to sleep in a recliner sometimes. <laughs> but when you get these largest in-class panoramic windows, you open the breeze up. Let's say you're at the mountains. Let's say you go to Colorado, or you're at the beach. You got the breeze coming in. Next thing you know, you're out. You're comfortable. And these right Thomas here. Paine, is this, the, is this the pillow top? Or yes. the plush top? Yep, plush oh. top, Thomas Paine, T-Paine. T-Pain. Um, a couple of features what? here. <laughs> a couple of features here. You have your USBs right here, right by Love your it. theater seat. So that's kind of nice. Charging. And then you have your dimmer switch right here. Yeah. Um, and you can raise or lower the lights here in the slide box. And you're, uh, what you said before, you're exactly right, Chris. Having these campsite, this campsite dinette slide with this panoramic window here. I mean, this this space just feels absolutely massive. When it feels like home. Game. Yeah, it feels like home. Yes. And if this is the type of style that you're looking for, the rear living style, it's great, but you're only going to sleep, you know, four people. Yeah, correct. Uh, you know, and but we have this freestanding dinette over here. Right. Um, and I tell you what, tell me about this because this is beautiful. Yeah, so this this freestanding table and chairs, this is kind of um, an industry first, and I believe uh, we are the only uh, brand on the market that has the live edge tabletop, which is really okay. kind of an eye catcher. Um, it's something different, something unique, and it really kind of ties this whole modern rustic barn look together, mm -hmm. um, which is very trendy right now. You have our dark weathered wood up here. Love it. The Aspen Oak. Um, and it just complements with the LG solid surface. Yes, um, which we, yeah, we'll get to that here in a minute. Correct. Look at the construction and the inlay that we have here in the slide. I mean, this, once again, residential and talk about another nice feature. Six foot slide boxes. Six foot slide, well, I'm 6'2", I'm man. Oh, okay, what are you talking about? Well, it's six, six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. I was gonna say, don't shrink six me already. Six foot plus slide boxes. But having that headroom Especially when talking, this, which is pretty common in the full profile. Correct. Fifth wheels. Having that headroom for me is a must. Right. And yes, solid surface countertop on this kitchen island here, which having the opposing slides allows us to have this island kitchen. So much room for activities. Yeah. We got plenty of ports. We got dual USB charging on this side. Lots of countertop prep space. Farmhouse style sink, which is undermounted. Sprayer the nozzle sprayer, here. Residential pull-down Love that because you can get all the corners. Correct. It just comes in so handy. Um, but the prep room, and then tell me about the kitchen and the pantry. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll just kind of start right here. We have this residential pantry. Um, open this up. This is an impressive uh, pantry size for an RV. It does have a uh, motion light on there. Um, so if we had that toggled off, you open that up, stick your hand in to grab anything, right. that's going to kick on. So you have um, uh, some room, like you said before, a mud room yeah. below. So you can store you know, wet shoes, um, dog toys, anything like that. They, they could go right down there. Which, um, to me, I mean, when you're talking about it, you take the family out. Now, now, granted, real living style, you know, two to four people. You, that, that might be the kids. That might be the couple's getaway. Correct. Um, you still, let's say you go hiking, biking, fishing, hunting, whatever. You come back, you don't want to track all that stuff. No. All over the place. That'd be a good space to store. Absolutely. Or, I always talk about the grab and go spots. So, you know, we love to hike. And having the backpack or the Kavu bags or the water bags or whatever, throwing that in there is a good spot for that. Your go bags, absolutely. Yeah, yeah um, the go bags. My bug out bag. <laughs> Coming uh, around here, uh, full-size doors. You have your um, your dish drainer right here, your countertop extender, however you want to um, kind of skin that cat. Um, over here, you have... <laughs> the, the drying rack. Yeah, over here you have uh, more storage, but we have 22-inch um, residential drawers. And that's um, full extension, solid wood, correct. on the ball-bearing drives. I mean, look at the room that you have there. Correct. So you don't have to worry about getting smaller size utensils for your RV. Right, I mean, right. anything can fit right in there. Well, you know, and that's the thing that people, I, I, I make the comment all the time, it's your RV. Do with it what you please. If you say, look, this is where my utensils are gonna go, good for you. If that's where you wanna put your fishing lures, your, your hunting gear, your tennis shoes, it's your RV. Somebody's <laughs> gonna say, that's the kitchen spot, that's where utensils gotta go. Is it? Did you buy it? 
somebody else right now is texting Easy RV to 32094 because they're like, yes, that's my hunting cabin. I'm gonna put my shells in there. <laughs> and that's what's gonna happen. So we got the three burner cooktop, love the grill style grate on the top. Yep. Plus we got the glass cover. I mean, LED accent lights right there, which nightlight. Correct. If you got the kids, you don't have to worry about cutting the lights on. That, believe it or not, that little blue LED light will illuminate the whole area in here. It's a great spot, great space. Yeah. Recessed microwave, got the cooktop. More storage there. Spice rack up top. Shell rack. <laughs> I was gonna say, or your fishing lure rack. That's right. Um, yeah, absolutely. My wife hates it when I put just the fishing gear everywhere. Because uh, it's just such random spots. But it's an RV, man. It's a bad I didn't see any fishing enjoy gear it. when I came to your house, but. Oh, well, yeah, no, it's because I had to take it out. I was like, I got somebody professional coming in. I'm not doing this. Beautiful residential fridge. Tell me a little bit about this one. Yeah, this is definitely an eye catcher when you first walk into the coach. Um, we have our residential 15 cubic foot higher refrigerator here. Um, double French doors here. We've got our waters hiding in there to keep yes. us hydrated. Love and it. then you have dual freezer drawers here. Now, if I wanted the residential fridge like this and not a RV fridge, correct? Um, I'd have to get the 1,000 watt inverter just to make sure that while I'm running. So that's something that Sprinter does, right? We have our Camping Made Easy package. There's a couple things that roll into that, but the 1,000 sure. watt inverter comes in our Camping Made Easy package, so that okay. comes standard on here. So what that means for, for you, the customer, would be your RV is gonna be running off of your 12 volt power from your, from your right, tow vehicle your tow while you're in transit, and this is gonna be cold as you're going down the road, so you don't yeah. have to worry about that. that. That's important. If this is your first time ever buying an RV or looking at one, and you say, you know what, I got a 2500, I got a 3500 that can tow a fifth wheel, um, that's important because one of those things, you, once again, camping and what Camping World does is try to make it easy for you, which is why we came up with Easy RV for you to get your camper. But more than that, our professionals help you enjoy the camping experience too. Because if you pull up to the camp spot after loading up, you think, oh, it's gonna be a great weekend, but you don't have an inverter or you don't have the automatic switch, all your stuff's gonna go bad. Correct. And then you're not gonna enjoy the experience, you're not gonna wanna do it again. Right. And that's that's just a no-go at any station. Uh, another, uh, unless it's a coffee station. <laughs> another new feature on this on this fifth wheel is that we have a residential kind of uh, buffet hutch style right here. So mm -hmm. you have tons and tons of storage here. Um, Chris, that cabinet right there, open that up. That's a nice blank slate for oh, uh, another trash, trash or mud room. Yeah, yeah, another little mud room, your go bag, fishing doors. Um, again, Spool nice deep uh, residential doors and drawers, um, wooden doors and drawers. I just, this solid surface countertop, man. I can't get over how beautiful and nice these are. Yeah, with our um, residential backsplash, backsplash here, yeah. it really just pulls it all together, especially that um, sculpture that we have here. Um, does that come with the unit if they buy this one here at the RV uh, show? I made this myself, <laughs> so no. Uh, but, you know, hey, easy RV, 32094. Chris said I could have the horses. Sure, go for it. Now, residential style, shaker style cabinets here. I love the frosted glass inlay. I call this the graphite style fixtures in sure. matte black, whatever you want to call it. Um, love the combination of the wood with those here and just how the whole hutch right here comes together and makes it look residential. Right. Right below our, our power uh, fan right up there. Correct. So you have that fan there, and then you also have a max air fan there in the back. Nice. Now, speaking of air, I noticed when we came in, air conditioner was, was doing a pretty good job. Right. We have duals on this one, do we so, not? So yeah, again, uh, part of our Camping Made Easy package, every single Sprinter, every single time, two ACs come standard. So you have 50 amp service, yep. uh, you have your main AC unit here, 15K that's fully ducted throughout, and then a 13.5, dump unit for the master bedroom up front, which we'll, we'll step up there in a second. Sure. It's frigidly cold. Yes, but, but see, but that's, that's the way I like that's it. That's exactly you how gotta I have like it, it at night. Well, <laughs> well and, and the ducting that Keystone does in, you know, especially here in the Sprinters, you guys have those tough locks in between the joints, Correct. right? So, um, man, you know a lot about RVs. Um, so <laughs> with all <laughs> of our right. duct runners, so some manufacturers will run, uh, essentially it's like glorified dryer vents. Yeah. yeah. Um, and any of the connections, they'll just join those two um, foil um, hoses together and just mm -hmm. tape them, right, with duct tape, duct runner tape. Um, with all of our duct runners, we have these plastic couplers that are also in there to, right. to prevent crushing um, and tearing and things like that as right. you're jostling down the road, right? right? So what does that mean to you, the customer? So you have residential ductwork laid in your roof rafters and then off of your 35,000 BTU furnace through right. your floor joists as well, right? right. Um, so No you have, soft spots down here. No, yeah. uh, 5 8 inch marine grade decking. Oh. I can get into that whole thing. Yeah. Uh, but what does that mean from the duct standpoint? You have hot or cold air where you need it, when you need it, yes. in, in a sprinter, in any Keystone product. Uh, yeah, I, I love this. You know what, it kind of reminds me of like a cabin. Like if I was gonna, you know, if I was gonna go to the mountains, get a cabin, this residential slip resistance flooring here. Correct. 
Love the feature. Love the way it looks. The grain. It just looks residential. Yeah, it is. Nice. I mean, it is our um, um, Congolian flooring, so it's like a, a, a durable vinyl flooring. Nice. Love it. And we got the little remote here too. This is a cool feature. Now, I'm just gonna unlock it real quick. Tell me a little bit about the remote. What all can we do there? So with this, you can do your um, your running lights, your leveling system. This has our four point leveling system. Yes, automatic um, leveling. Correct. Yeah. You have your awning. We have a twenty foot awning out front. We'll see that here in a second. And then you can run your slide outs out from this station as oh, well. Beautiful. So the, what I like to use this for when I'm setting up for RV shows, if I'm in kind of a tight spot, um, and then this would be also for customers if they're camping in kind of a, a tight spot with trees sure. and things like that. Sure. Um, just do yourself a favor. Do your do your marriage. Do you favor. walk around? Uh, <laughs> do, do, walk around and run out your slide boxes from this right here. Do you walk uh, and around? You're, and you're not going to run into anything. Talk about an easy feature that makes owning it so easy. Correct. And as we make our way up to the bathroom, speaking of easy. You're going to hear me talk about it all day because it is the best thing since somebody put grains together to make sliced bread. Easy RV. Just text Easy RV, those four letters, to 32094. Drop us a comment, Easy RV, or give us a call, 866 853 3510. We're going to have specialists standing by right now to walk you through a rear living fifth wheel. If that's what you like, that's what you want, they got one right there near you. They're gonna answer all those questions, give you a virtual walkthrough of everything that's in that RV. Then they're gonna let you speak to a financial specialist. They're gonna mail you the paperwork. Envelopes are already stamped and included. We got another specialist that's gonna deliver that RV to your home or your campsite, tell you how to set it up. Same walk that you get at Camping World. Then all you gotta do is enjoy camping. It's just that easy. That's why it's easy RV. We got it so you can get it. Now, tell me a little bit about, we got the solid glass shower right here, residential shower with the large so you have skylight your piece, fire pla fiberglass shower, so yeah. which I, I wish that I had this. My wife and I purchased our first home last year and we have a two piece shower surround oh. um, and we just had a leak. So I had to go through and recaulk this. So one oh. piece fiberglass shower surround. I don't even have this in my house. Yep. Um, <laughs> big square shower with, with the skylight up here. Uh, right behind you, Chris, we have our uh, oh our, yeah our, our linen closet, tons and tons of storage. Lots for, of storage there, storage um, down below. For I would say towels, but mm -hmm. Chris might put shelves in there. I would put them. <laughs> That's a good spot for tackle boxes. Look at it. Tell um, me it's not. You have your porcelain toilet with the foot flush. Mm -hmm. um, again, you have your um, large stainless vanity steel. sink. Yeah, yeah vanity stainless sink. Stainless steel with once again. I call it the graphite, but I know it's you know the matte black. And I like what you guys did here. Correct. You don't have the two doors. You got right. a door and a drawer. Two drawers. Two and drawers. A door. Two drawers. <laughs> I think that was a special on Netflix. I watched last night. <laughs> so, mirrored medicine cabinet with the raised lip, which is going to help stuff stay uh, in place when you're in transit. Correct. And I mean, just a. And then you have a, a, a nice uh, roof fan right well, above the porcelain toilet. And and here's the thing too. So, Kev, see if you can get. Can you get both of us in the shot right here? Look, you got enough room for two people in this bathroom, in an RV, taking a shower, brushing the teeth, doing whatever, and then when it's time to go, you can get out the way, he can get out the way. I mean, space is a must when you're talking about camping, especially if you have loved ones, if you have a wife that's coming. I'm gonna shut this. Correct. Um, or you just got another couple that's coming with you. You want to have enough space to get in and do what you. <laughs> oh, that 13.5 AC. I uh, see what you're saying. <laughs> Woo! It's a little chilly in here. Tell you what, I'm gonna lay down on this king size bed, take a nap. You finish it up. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. So this is our residential um, 70 by 80 king bed, and it does mm -hmm. have storage underneath with strut assist. So just look at that amount of storage that you have look underneath you your bed. Just look at it. Would you just look at that? So here, here's the thing with strut supporting. Um, if you notice, when we take our hands off the bed, the bed stays up. Look, mom, no hands. When you're loading, that means you're not trying to hold it with your shoulder and Correct. put a bag or put, put whatever, you know, whatever you want to put in there. This, to me, is another one of those things that's a must. Plus, true walk around. I see I got power ports over here. I got windows right next to the padded headboards. Plenty of space, plenty of room. You have LED puck lights. On oh, either right side on. of the bed, so if you want to nice. sleep, and you know my wife likes to stay up and read, yep, so that would too. that would be one thing. Um, one thing to note with your power on this side, you have a little shelf right there to um, charge oh, your phone or uh, hold any kind of apparatus that you need while you're sleeping. Right. Um, this is kind of a new feature that we have here. Um, XL wardrobe up here with the mirrored front. So with that That's shut, nice. this really opens up the space here. I mean, this, this bedroom is an impress impressive spot size, but with all those mirrors, it really does open up that space. Um, and then when you get into the wardrobe itself, 
tons and tons of room. Um, Got the rack hang. up top. Plus, Correct. it's lit in there. That's always a nice plus too, because when you're getting up early in the morning, or if you got late at night. Um, Having that light in there is, is nice. I tell you, the only thing I would have changed, only thing I would have changed, and right over here, I like how I got my little shelf space there. If this were just a little bit bigger or a cubby, so I could put stuff in, that's the only thing I changed. Gotcha. That's the only thing I changed. But beautiful. Yeah. The absolutely. layout is absolutely beautiful. Um, what you have here, double door storage here. And is this washer dryer prepped? Correct. This so one is? More, more storage down here. And then this is your washer dryer prep. So a combo unit would slide right in there. Nice. Your service department would be able to take out this style right here. There's two screws, one on the top, one on the bottom. And then that combo unit would slide right in there for washer dryer prep. Dude, I love it. See, that's the thing I've always, and we, we've obviously talked about this a few times. I'm, I'm such a fan of how Sprinter thinks of things. Yeah. How they think of the designs, how they think of the layouts, how you think of how somebody is going to camp when they're in the unit which I noticed there's a little bit of a change here. And that's a big thing, like I said, um, one of our packages, Camping Made Easy, that's what we right. want to focus on. We want to bring our customers, um, I mean, the best RV with the features that they need at the, you know, the most affordable price. Right. So right here you have, what, what some uh, manufacturers do, they'll do a small window here yeah. with a longer lower armoire. Right. So we shrunk our armoire up, made it taller, Put a big window right here, which also opens up this huge space. Love but it. another uh, benefit that the customer has is your your TV prep right here, backers right there, yep. outlet right here. So you have your TV right on your right armoire. Right there. Not in front not, of your window. Yeah, or not over here on the side wall, on the wall. And I got to look across somebody. Correct. I mean, that is such a pet peeve of Correct. mine. If I, now granted, obviously when you go out, sometimes you just want to get away and disconnect from everything. But at the same time, you want to have that option to be connected. Yeah. And not having to look over somebody or turn this way to see the TV. Love camp, that touch, man. Camping made camping easy. Made easy. <laughs> camping RV, made easy. What did you have? Easy RV? Easy RV? Y'all got camping made, made easy. <laughs> Text easy RV 32094 or just drop us a comment. E-Z-R-V. That's four letters. E-Z-R-V. We're going to get your camper to you as quickly as humanly possible. And we're going to get out of this one as humanly possible, but back into the AC. Solid, <laughs> large, overextended grab handle. Walking down the Moride steps here, the solid over steps. I love how you did the four. A lot of people will just do the three. Yeah. And we have the, yeah, the um, Lippert solid stance steps yep. with the big first step. Um, some of the solid stand steps have the smaller first step. I like having right. the bigger first step. I just see, and for me, it's always that last step's a doozy. <laughs> and walking out in the middle of the night or walking early in the morning. Yeah, just having that's nice. Okay. I see I got my TV mount here with my Key TV connection. Tell me a little bit about this. So Key TV is a Keystone exclusive feature. Uh, it's a smart TV input detection system. So when you plug up satellite or cable to the back of the coach, right. it's automatically going to recognize that that um, input. You don't have to manually toggle. I'm not, All, chasing, I'm not chasing cables, man. Correct. All you have cables. to do is change the input on your TV, um, do a channel search, and now you're watching TV. Now, I will say with the satellite, um, you have to have a box for every TV, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have one box, it's not going to be able to run out here. You'd have to take the box out and plug it in. Sure, 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 uh, sure. But I yeah. just just to be clear at that, the, the key TV will not um, disperse the satellite, just the cable. So Beautiful. Um, yeah, you have your uh, a mount that's hooked to the back of your TV on the inside, so you can hang it right here. I was going to say, you got the switchable mounts. Yep, like and then you too. have your power and your, your um, input right there. And I see we got the LED light. We got the awning out so you guys can kind of see some of the coverage you're going to get with the awning. But the LED light, granted, even during the day, look how bright it is. We got the sealed tinted safety glass all the way around this unit. Um, One thing I will touch on, I mean, this awning, 20 feet, unobstructed. So you don't have a slide out in front of um, that's taking up your awning space, right? So you have a ton of space right here. Yeah. Um, your sound bar on the inside has uh, zone control. So you have zone one and zone two. You can have one on or nice. both of them on. And then that hooks to the speakers and the awnings, which point down. Okay. So some manufacturers will have speakers laid in the wall. Yeah, the that, yeah I, I see you got them right here on the corner. Correct. Yeah, I like that. Yep. So you're projecting your sound down and got not overhead out. sound. Nice. Yeah. So, so we could play the T paint out here as loud as I want. <laughs> One thing I will touch on too that I like what you guys do is the molded end cap over the fiber glass. This to me makes a world of difference because of the security you're going to get in it. Right. Plus that closure you're going to so, get. So, and part of our, our fiberglass front cap, it's seven layer paint technology mm -hmm. with a uh, coated uh, key shield, which is nice. uh, a keystone protectant. So, and a fifth wheel, this is the Road Armor fifth wheel hitch. Towing a fifth wheel is a lot easier than a travel trailer because of how the weight is distributed. It's in the bed of the truck. And you're going to see right here, we got uh, the insulated box, got the spare tire under there. So you could put, well, I mean, that's extra storage, or you could put gin in there if you need to. 
Um, more hunting or fishing gear. More hunting or fishing gear. Yeah. You have a, uh, a battery disconnect. Uh, this Road Armor pin box will will work in tandem with your uh, Road Armor suspension system. I'll touch nice. more on that in a little bit. Sure. But you do have um, a three degrees of rubber torsion suspension system at your pin box and nice. also at your wheelbase. Uh, you do have ground deploy solar prep right here so you can trickle charge your battery and I, I do believe I did say there is a battery quick disconnect on the inside. Okay. So when we got twin 30 pounds LPs here plus Correct. we got the that's that's the leveling system. Correct. It's locked right. Oh no it's not. Uh, electronic leveling four points automatic. Yep. So and you have that over right there and then on the uh, on the remote as well. Got my pass-through storage here. Heated pass-through storage. Heated and heated in enclosed underbelly as well, Correct. too, right? Yep. That's important. Your and dump valves are enclosed in your underbelly as well, and you have force heat with um, radiant layer, the astrofoil, that's mm -hmm. going to reflect that heat back up from your 35,000 BTU furnace, 0 to 100 degrees. Nice. Nice. Four seasons. Correct. And these are your terminations, obviously. Now, you had talked a little bit about the suspension. Uh, let's see, this is a dual axle travel trailer, 15 inch aluminums. We got the Dexter Easy Lube axles on there. And Bob, I don't know if you can get down there and see, this is the road armor suspension that he was talking about. Yep, so you have a blue pivot arm attached to your trailer leaf springs that's always engaged and ready to absorb road shock. When you do max that suspension system out, the road armor suspension system is 33% more absorbent than other suspension systems on the market. Right. What does that mean to the customer? You're transferring a third less road shock. I was gonna unit. say, that's gonna make a lot world of difference. Got our 50 amp plug here, four by four sewer hose storage there, solid mounted ladder, which with the handles go over the top. Plus we're prepped for backup camera if you notice. The top is also arched with those three inch nozzles. That's gonna help keep the rain and the snow yeah, yeah, off of the camper, off of you, but falling over here on the corner, you can see right there. So, Rob, I gotta tell you, this is a beautiful, brand new Keystone Sprinter Limited 3190 RLS. And guys, look, if you like this unit, this is one you say, hey, look, I gotta have that one. Get in now, text Easy RV to 32094, drop us a comment, Easy RV, or give us a call, 866-835 or 853-3510. But trust me, because there's not going to be a whole lot of them. We have rear living floor plans that are fifth wheels that are perfect for you, and our specialists are going to help you find it. we got people standing by to walk you through that RV right now. Just text EZRV32094, drop the comment, EZRV. They're going to walk you through. Then they're going to let you speak to a finance specialist who's going to mail you paperwork with the envelopes already stamped and ready to go. You don't even have to get up out of your fluffy slippers. They're going to bring that camper to you, to your house, to your campsite show you how to set it up, show you how to hook it up, the whole nine. Then all you gotta do is just enjoy camping. Rob O'Neill, thank you so much for thank showing us this brand new Keystone Sprinter. Yep. It's absolutely beautiful. Easy RV to 32094, text it now. The Ultimate RV Show will be back in just a minute. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With all plans currently 50% off, you can't afford to get stuck without it. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacation just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World.
Wow, that was a beautiful Sprinter Limited. Don't you think so, Sean? It was fully loaded. And when you hear Chris talk about anything, you just think, you just think like, that's the one I got to have. So then you have a problem because there's so many great ones to choose from, right? I agree. And what was your favorite thing about it? You know, I really liked the island kitchen, but I love the king size bed. The washer and dryer prep was pretty amazing, too. See, and that's the thing. You take all the comforts from home, you think, you know what, but we've got to go find a launcher mat. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not with these kind of vehicles, not with everything that we have here. As a matter of fact, we're getting ready to go into some luxury vehicles that have everything. And I'm telling you, listen, we've got so many wonderful things that have happened over the last several days. Besides the fact that all of you have tuned in for so long, we certainly appreciate that. You've helped us break some serious records here. I mean, we're talking over 400, actually now over 500,000 people have tuned in. But there's a segment that you saw Chris, my buddy Chris Young, knows how to do it. Or my buddy Ian over there, they're just working so hard. You say, you know what, Sean, I missed that segment on Fifth Wheels or Class C's. We have archived every single one of those at Ultimate RV Show. Dot com. You just click the on-demand button. Bam! You're right back to wherever you want to go. It's that simple. So easy. Yeah. Are you ready to do some more stuff here? Yes. Most stuff. You said easy, like as an easy RV. We've got so many people also that will answer your questions. And I know you've been looking at all the comments online, too. I have. I yeah. have. Everybody's... Apparently, my hair has been held and strong. Well, I mean, you've got the luxury hair. You've got the luxury sunglasses that you're not wearing that you usually are. And I think you should wear them in our next segment. And we've been having a luxury weekend, or actually we could say a week now, because we've been out here for quite a while. Let's go to ultimate luxury and easy towability. And I'm talking about a vehicle that can take care of you and the entire family. And you know who's got it for us? It's our good buddy, Ian. He's over there right now. Let's get her done, Ian. What do you got? Sean, this is the life, my friend. We talk about luxury. It's all about just being able to kick back and relax and make things easy for you. Uh, this one is the Outback 340BH. And folks, if you're looking for something that is built extremely well, has a ton of amazing features and has sleeping for the family, then this is an excellent option. Right away, what you'll notice is the beautiful theater seating. And we'll see in a second, it has posi a perfect positioning in here. Of course, you have the cup holders. You'll see space for your remotes right there. And as you noticed, these do recline. You also have an electric outlet built right into the wall. Very convenient. So that way, if you need to plug in a laptop, tablet, cell phone, you can do so. Big windows here in the slide. You have the roller shades letting in a lot of natural light. And you have the LED lights on the slide itself. The other thing you will notice is how much space you have in here because this whole living room and kitchen area all of it has dual opposing slides really opens this space up and it makes a very unique floor plan because a lot of times when you have a rear bunkhouse like this one you struggle to get a good area to sit in and that's not the case here even though we have plenty of sleeping we'll see in just a moment you have the theater seats right across from the tv right where you want it and as i said we'll see that in a moment as well but it still feels very open you can see here is your dinette. Now this is a dream style dinette. I currently have it down. I'll lift it up in just a moment, but I kind of want to show you how truly easy it is. I also like the table they use. You'll see it's almost like a, not antiques, but kind of like an old school looking table as far as it kind of shows like the wood grain in there. Uh, just a little more natural looking. And I, I really like that they did that. I think it brings a lot to the dinette itself. Plus you'll see right down here that if you choose to do so, you can turn on the auxiliary lights down there. And then again, it just adds a little bit. I like that they went with a white light rather than blue. When you're trying to look for something that's a little bit more luxury and high end, I think it's better to stay with something, uh, you know, a little bit classier and something that we tend to see more often in homes. Something else you'll notice is they got rid of carpet. In lieu of the carpet, they went with this right here, which is your vinyl flooring, just like you have there. I mean, if we lift it up, you'll see a couple things. One is you'll see the uh, underlayment right there. So that way you don't have any water coming in from underneath. Uh, helps uh, as well with some of your insulation properties. And again, you don't have any carpet right there. So it is very, very easy to clean. It's not going to get dirty as quickly. When you talk about you know, luxury, of course, you're going to spend a little bit more money, but that's okay because you get things like this so that when you go to sell it, you will get more money back for it because it will be a lot cleaner. 
Also, I'll show you how this works. We can lift this Dream Dinette up just like this, folks. That's all there is to it. Slides right up like so. Underneath here is a lever. You just flip that lever over, and what that will do is that will prevent the table from pushing back down. And as far as the dinette seats themselves, you can see that there is plenty of seating here for four people. And when it was down, if you know you didn't have this beautiful wine set on there, you could of course take the back cushions, throw it on top, and this would become an additional sleeping space. You'll also see USB ports right there. So again, if you need to plug anything in, you can do that. Right back here, we'll open this guy up. You see big pantry space here, which I really like. Or, you know, if you need some additional dishes, maybe some serving ware, if you like to entertain, that's an excellent spot for it right there. And something else I want to show while we're here is that you can kind of see the curvature line of the roof. You have a big barreled ceiling in here, which really helps open it up. When you're talking about travel trailers, uh, you know, your, your ceiling heights obviously aren't quite as big as fifth wheels, but having the barreled ceiling helps to really feel, make it feel more open so you don't feel uh, closed in at all. Gorgeous light fixture right here. I really like what they've done because as you'll see, you have kind of the farmhouse style lights, but they also put a big skylight right in the center directly over your kitchen island. So no matter if it's, you know, the middle of the day or the middle of the night, you have light to light up this island, which honestly, that's where you want the light to be at. When we look at the island itself, again, gorgeous solid surface on here. You have the high-rise two-tone faucet. That's something that, you know, we've seen in a couple other RVs, but it just really kind of helps uh, give it a very unique look with the oil rub bronze and the brush nickel on there. You have the undermount stainless steel sink. Anytime you have solid surface, you know, you tend to undermount the sink. You don't have to, but the undermount sink looks a lot cleaner and it's more functional because if you're sitting here, you know, cutting anything up or you have crumbs, it's nice and easy to just sweep those right into the sink. The sink itself is very large. You can see it is a large single basin. It is deep and the corners are true corners. And what I mean by that is rather than having a radius corner, like a lot of the older sinks did, what they would do is they would radius in and then you would actually only end up with about this much usable sink, even though the sink was this size. So, uh, you know, they, they made it a lot more, um, a lot more open and a lot more functional. You will see the price on this one, folks. We're talking about luxury, but you know what? That doesn't mean it has to come at a super high price point. This one's starting at $46,995 or $342 a month. So to get you into something like this, that is a wonderful price point. We have a lot more to show you. Again, there's a ton of amazing features that this one has that a lot of manufacturers don't on the outside as well. If you're interested and you want to lock in that price, make sure you text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in the comments section below coming around to the front good storage here folks open that up you see nice drawer space larger drawers right down below i do enjoy that too um, you know that's one of the great things about having a kitchen island is that it really helps give you a lot more storage space opening that up if you know me you've been watching the stream you know how much i love a space for a trash can and there you go uh, that way you don't have just your trash hanging out all over because no one wants to see your trash you don't want to smell it you want to be able to tuck it away um, we'll get to the rest of the kitchen in just a minute, but first I want to take a look at the bunk room. So come on back because at its core, this is a bunk model. So chances are you will have kids if this is something you're interested in. Um, you know, we do have some beds that adults can sleep in, uh, sleep on too, but the, the main idea here is for the kiddos. So right over here, your top bunk, 150 pound weight capacity, um, a little bit narrower than the one on the other side. But the cool thing about this is it's strut assisted. So it lifts up very easily. Underneath that is a tri-fold sofa. So this is absolutely wonderful. Most of the time in these back bunk houses, you'll have a jackknife or sometimes a cube sofa. I personally really like the tri-fold because it's not only comfortable to sit on, but it's comfortable to sleep on. And it's a big enough bed that if you do have adult guests, you can sleep two adults right there. Across the way is your third bunk, 300 pound weight capacity on this one. You have a window ladder, so it's nice and easy to climb up in there. And you'll see behind the ladder is additional storage. Opening this up there again, more storage here. You'll also see a spot for a TV. And what you'll notice is that you have these little grommets. So that way if you have any auxiliary equipment, like if you have, um, you know, like a, a gaming station or something like that, I don't know if you can fit it in there. Maybe, maybe able to sneak that in there, a Blu-ray player. You have the ability to do that. The connections are right up on the top. 
more storage right over here on the side, electrical outlet back here, and a big rear picture window. Not necessarily a rear picture window, I guess, but it is a large window nonetheless that lets in a lot of light, and that is an emergency exit, which that can be good peace of mind. Um, you know, sometimes, like in the master bedroom, emergency exit, probably not quite as big of a deal because the doors are generally pretty close to that, but in the back bunk room, you want to make sure that if something tragic were to happen in the kitchen, you know, and you were separated, that the kiddos still have a safe way out. So it just kind of gives you that peace of mind. The fridge freezer combo is located right here in the slide. This unit does run off both propane and electric. It has automatic switch over. I'll open it up there just to kind of give you an idea of the size. Uh, so, you know, good cold storage. Moving over a little bit further, right up top, you have some storage there. Very slim line hood. Uh, right next to the microwave, you can see that unit. And then if you drop down below, excuse me, drop down below, you will see the, again, more solid surface prep space here, plus the recessed cooktop with the glass cover, so that you can utilize this as prep space too. Now, when you're ready to use it, you just flip this up and back like so. Of course, you have the two back burners. The front one is high output, and where that can be especially important is if you're in higher altitude, you need to boil some water, that front one is probably the one you would want to use. Now, we take a look at the lights here, uh, flip that on, you will see that the knobs do light up. Now, uh, again, I would prefer if they're the white light. I know Furion currently only makes the blue. Furion, if you're watching this, if you could please put white lights in there, I would appreciate it. Uh, but the nice thing about this, folks, is if you want to flip that on at uh, nighttime, you know, when everyone's sleeping, it does kind of provide a nice courtesy light for anyone that is coming to use the bathroom. And speaking of that, I almost forgot. If we get right down here, you will see this one does have courtesy lights built in for that exact purpose. Um, so, you know, if, if again, if you want to use that, you can, but you definitely have the courtesy lights, which are great for that. In other RVs, though, if they don't have it, just keep this in mind. It is just a nice little trick with the uh, these style of cooktops. And then right down underneath, you have a pretty good size oven right there, and you will also see there's a light in it and a drawer. So you have good extra storage space. And so again, anytime you can get storage in an RV is always a great thing. Open this one up for you just to show you how big that storage space is. So again, we're talking pots, pans. I know we had the big pull-out drawers, but you have a ton of storage over here too. Now, one of the other things I love about this layout, this floor plan, and I had mentioned this previously, but you know, you have the theater seats right over here. And as I had said, it is directly across from the, the TV space, which your TV is on a, uh, uh, on an elevator or a, a televator they call it so that way it just pops right up when you want to watch it when you don't though you have a beautiful view out the window so sometimes you have people over you have guests over and you don't want the tv to be the center focus you just want to be able to hang out and as my good friend chris young always says just reconnect with people right you know putting away some of the electronics and just getting back to uh being with each other and so that's kind of what you know this provides being able to put it away and plus you have a beautiful view you can enjoy it but if you do want tv we have a button right here we'll simply push this and there you go it pops up just like that it is a large TV as well, so you know it's not like you're going to be hurting to uh, to watch it. And so, you know, I would love to be able to put a, a game on right now and uh, you know see see some of the scores, see how today's going in the NFL, and uh, if I'm winning or losing money today. But again, you can see how that pops right up. And underneath, folks, is the multimedia center. This unit does have a DVD player. If you want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in there. Um, Another thing about this one is it is Bluetooth capable, controls the speakers in here as well as outside. Underneath that is a gorgeous fireplace. It is very large. Now, this is something that we're seeing a lot more in some of the modern RVs, and they're trying to get that modern look by giving you the long rectangular fireplace. The cool thing about this, though, folks, is that not only does this look really nice, this also has uh, dual heat settings. It will kick out heat. So this can be a 750 watt or 1500, up to 1500 watt fireplace. So again, it'll help take the chill off uh, in this main living area. Now, if it's the opposite, if it's really hot out, you'll see this unit has a, a roof mounted AC unit. In fact, it has two. It'll have one right here, another one up in the bedroom. And what you'll also notice is that it has the quick dump option. So if you have these vents closed, it will push to all the vents throughout the camper. 
you open these up and it'll quick dump. And what that means is all the, basically all the cold air right here, because you know, the air is gonna be like water where it takes the path of least resistance. So it's gonna push right down into this living area. That is especially helpful when you are loading or unloading your camper, because you're, this is the main area you're gonna be moving in and out of, and it's a lot more powerful. So it'll feel really good and help cool you down. More pantry space, you gotta, you know, like I said, there's a ton of storage in here. And so there you go, folks. You have this big, gorgeous pantry. You'll also see this one as a hanging rod. So it gives you a little versatility. If you wanna use this for like a coat closet, you can remove this shelf. Now, you do have to take some screws out to take it out, but it does give you that, um, that option there. And then as you can see, you have the gorgeous kind of farmhouse style barn door, which, uh, you know, seamlessly blends in the colors that we've seen throughout with all the cabinetry. We make our way up front, a couple quick things. We'll go in the bathroom in just a second, but I do wanna show you uh, the thermostat for this AC is located right here. The other one's in the bedroom. You also see your main uh, panel here, including your tank monitoring panel, slide, awning, uh, basically everything that you're gonna need. When we open up the bathroom door, and again, something I like about this setup, you just come right in the door, you can head right into the bathroom, do your business and head right back out without bringing dirt throughout the entire camper. So I like the location of both the entry door and the bathroom door. We'll pop a squat right here. A ton of space, both for my legs and for my shoulders, folks. I am uh, six foot. I know I'm a little over 200 pounds. I have no problems. Porcelain bowl, which is easy to clean. Open this guy up. You see a little bit of storage space there, which is good for like your toilet paper, black tank chemicals. You have the mirrored medicine cabinet. Then over to this side is the shower. And I wanna step in here too, just to kind of give you an idea of size. So as I said, I'm six foot tall. With that barreled ceiling, you see I have a ton of room. And with that skylight, it adds even more. Folks, I could probably be six three, maybe six four, still be able to shower in here. I can turn around, no problem. I just have a lot of great space. You can see there, you know, decent size uh, sink, you know, so it's good to wash your hands. You're not spilling water everywhere. Beautiful, seamless countertop, making our way back out. Right there, you have a, a coat hook. So as soon as you walk in, if you have, you know, jackets or anything, you can hang them up, maybe some sweatshirts. Another courtesy light, we talked about that. So that's good for when you're coming into the camper at night, or again, if you need to use the bathroom. And as we step inside the bedroom here, you'll see wardrobe on both sides, as well as storage across the top. You have the accent wall. You have electrical outlets and USB ports plus cubby holes on both sides, whether you have a CPAP machine or wanna just charge cell phones, you have the ability to do that. On the wall right here, might be a little tough to get in there, but right there is a TV hookup. You also have the thermostat on that wall, which of course controls this AC. Uh, if we kind of back up a little bit, we'll go outside. There is a lot of features on this one outside that definitely help um, you know, with some of the uh, luxury of the Outback. And one of them is actually starting right up front. One of the things I love about the Outback that a lot of manufacturers uh, not a lot, some manufacturers had, but they got rid of is this right here. And that is the front cap, folks. I am a huge, huge advocate of a front cap on a high-end travel trailer. Why? One, it adds insulation value. So it helps keep you cooler in the heat, help keeps you warmer in the cold, and it looks a lot nicer, but most importantly for me is the functionality. So a lot of times, if you have just a, a normal flat front or you have the three-quarter, you'll have a seam running right up and down here. And what happens when you're driving down the road is all that water gets pushed into that seam. But with the front cap, it actually wraps all the way around. So for water to get in, it would actually have to come in back through the seal and then back and underneath. And folks, as we know, that is just not going to happen. So when you're talking about uh, you know, quality construction, this is one of the big things I personally really look for. As I said, a lot of manufacturers went away from it because it is a costly thing to do. And unless you know why it's important, most people aren't willing to pay that additional price. So, uh, you know, people just, uh, I don't think they just weren't educated. People like me weren't able to tell them and so it went away. But that's the great thing, folks. Here at the Ultimate RV Show, all you have to do is text EZRV to 32094, put EZRV in the comment section. We can help you out with things like this, help you understand why the Outback is a luxury travel trailer, help you understand what a front cap can do for a travel trailer. Not only that, but they are one of the only ones in the industry that use this amazing system. What this is, is an actual auto level for a travel trailer. 
Auto level is something that is pretty standard for higher end uh, motor homes as well as fifth wheels, but something that is very rare in travel trailers. Again, it is a costly option to have, but folks, I'm telling you, once you use this, once you can just touch a button and the RV levels itself out, you no longer have to mess with blocks and driving up on them and stacking them and driving back on them, you will certainly appreciate what this can do for you. Um, but you know, again, maybe some people just don't understand what true auto level does if people don't want to or aren't willing to pay for it. But with the price we're getting at the Ultimate RV Show, folks, it's tough to beat. You're getting wonderful construction, you're getting amazing amenities, and at the ultimate price. You also see right in the back, this one does have solar prep. That's what this is right here. So if you want solar, you can buy the portable panels, plug it in there. You'll see your battery behind it too. Uh, this one has LED lights. I don't know if I'll be able to see them in the day. Turn it on, there you go. You can kind of see them. So it has it right down below as well as up top there. So that's, you know, it just doesn't look great, or sorry, that not only looks great, um, you know, while it's sitting in the campground, but it also helps you find your RV, right? You flip those on in the middle of the night, I know where my RV is. Taking a look in the pass-through, you can see again, good size pass-through, nice tall door, so it's able to fit some of those larger items. If you want TV outside, you have the hookup for the TV, and it's also a key TV system. So what that means is in the back, we have um, well, uh, the, what they call the multi-source controller. What that is, that's where you plug your cable into, and it will feed that cable to all the TVs, including this exterior one. Power awning with easy adjustable pitch. All you have to do is pull down right here to adjust the pitch. You can do that on both sides or one side, so that way you can control water runoff. Um, or again, if you wanna just control the angle of it to block the sun, you can do that too. We saw the solid steps there when we were walking up. And lastly, folks, we come right back here. Uh, what I wanna show you is this one also has the beautiful outside kitchen, very functional. You see you have a uh, kind of like a metal top on here rather than wood, a little more durable, easier to clean storage up top, refrigerator there, storage in the bottom, and of course, a cooktop out here. Folks, this is just one of many luxury travel trailers. We have a lot. Again, there's so much more to these than I have time to go over, but if you text EZRV to 32094, you can get a virtual walkthrough of one that you are interested in. Kaylin and David here at the ultimate campsite for the ultimate RV show and we are going to show you guys some more cleaners here and it's just different ways to protect your RV and kind of get in front of issues before you have issues. So uh, what, what do we have here today David? Well we have the Mean Green product line. Uh, we just started carrying this in the last few months with uh, Camping World and Gander. So actually you've seen these in other places but we want to definitely let you know that you can use these in your RV, around your RV, everything that has to do with, with the recreational vehicle or around it. That's because the best thing. Not everything is RV safe, so. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so you want okay. to make sure that we approve it and that's why we have the line line up with us. Oh. So we'll start with basically the antibacterial multi-purpose cleaner. I mean, you always need a multi-purpose cleaner. Now again, you can use this in your home, but definitely we're telling you it can be used in the RV. You have all your areas inside, the surface counters that you want to take care of. This is what you're gonna get for that. Clean anything that you need. And again, 99.9% uh, of bacteria is killed. And it doesn't have that really harsh chemically smell. You're getting more of a fresh scent there. Yes, most definitely. Uh, next, we actually have the Mildo, Mil <laughs> Mildew Destroyer, um, of course, for your bathroom. And uh, any other areas that you need to worry about, because we do have outside showers, we do have compartments that we worry about. So there's other areas that you want to make sure that you're looking at and cleaning. So this is great for the, even just the outside uh, areas and compartments in, the, in RVs. And if I didn't have awning cleaner, could I spray that on my awning? Is it safe for my awning? Uh, mildew, yes. Yeah, so anytime you have mildew in those, you definitely could do that. Uh, typically the underside at, uh, at any point, most definitely. Just make sure you rinse, you know, a good bit afterwards. Okay, yeah. And get awesome. it most all. Uh, we also have the Main Green Super Strength cleaner and degreaser. Now this one actually even says for right there on there, RVs. So recreation, we want to be able to clean the outside of the RV. Uh, so it's a good alternative for some of the other cleaners that we've talked about before. Uh, so right here, start cleaning up the sides and, um, and really it, it can be used for any other purposes. Inside kitchen, um, you can actually use that at your home as well. Uh, use it on your, on your car. Okay. Yep. 
And what's the, the big purple guy here? All right, so we've got the auto and garage cleaner and degreaser. So this is a the real heavy duty. This is when we start getting to the real big problems. You wanna clean your grill? We can clean your grill. You want to clean the chrome on your tires. You want to clean, uh, you can clean the outside, but I would save it for like the really bad mud. When mud gets slung up on the side of an RV, mm -hmm. you want to use that stuff for, the, for those. Really try to break down those, those heavy greases. Bug splatter on the front, that might be something you would, uh, you would pull this one out for. But again, it even says garage, so hey, you can use it at home. I love when you have something multi-purpose that you can use anyway, right? Yeah, so are we talking like I'm spraying my garage floor? Yeah, concrete. <laughs> you certainly can. It says it right there. Concrete. So <laughs> awesome. So all of these mean green cleaner line, the whole mean green cleaner line here um, is going to start at $499 and the ultimate RV show promo price is at $359 with the Good Sam at $347. Great pricing. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just, to, I mean, this is a huge bottle of cleaner for $347. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and to pick up that price, just like before, just drop the word camp below in the comments, or you can text that to 32094, or give us a call at the 866-235-8751. Now, my question is, are these like samples for us? Because I mean, well, I'm, I'm sure, sure I if they disappeared it, in your possession, so do you think we that, will figure out a way to make do you sure think that this is, this is a promotion. <laughs> 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 I won't say anything. I won't say anything. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> excuse me, guys. We'll see y'all in a little bit. And folks, if you don't recognize this, uh, maybe you're new to the industry, but this of course is an Airstream. When we talk about luxury travel trailers, Airstream is probably one of the first names that pop into people's head. You have the iconic silver bullet, they call it, the outside, that aluminum exterior, something very different than what we're used to seeing in the industry. Uh, this one is the Flying Cloud 25RB, and as you will see, uh, it is a uh, kind of an open layout. You have the walkway all the way down. One of the things about Airstream is that they don't use any slide outs, so that's something that's a little unique to them. A lot of manufacturers have the slides to help open it up, but because of Airstream's construction method, it doesn't really allow for slides, and we'll get into that in just a moment. Let's start off with the kitchen space right over here. So you will see the big stainless steel sink. Now what I do like is that they switch this up a little bit. Uh, for a while they had a round sink, but they went to the square one. Uh, and I think it just works with the style of countertop because they squared the countertop off instead of having it rounded. So I think that was a good choice. You also see the high rise pull out faucet as you would expect there. Uh, if we drop down underneath, I will open this up. You can see the trash can. Taking a look up top here, a uh, little bit different. So what they did, you know, a lot of manufacturers, again, kind of have the little bit uh, more brown or gray, and you can see that they kind of have that going on here too. When I open that up, you will see hidden hinges. So that, um, you know, and they're very smooth operation too. Nice and easy. They don't, you know, fly open or slam shut on you. You can see the beautiful cabinetry that they use. Uh, one of the things that is worth mentioning is all the cabinetry when they build it, folks, nothing in here is stapled. It is all going to be screwed and glued and doweled. When we open this up, I mean, you can see right here that, you know, it's, it's all very well constructed. Uh, you have a bank of three drawers all the way down right there. So whether it's, you know, the, the flatware, you know, you have a spot for flatware here. It already comes with it. You know, again, it's, it's small things like this. I know that for the price point, yes, it absolutely should be wood, uh, not plastic, but I do like that they put that in there. And again, drawers all the way down there. Speaking of price point, folks, for the Ultimate RV Show, the Flying Cloud 25RB is starting at $109,995 or $669 a month is where you're gonna be starting at on this one. Beautiful RV, we're gonna continue on going through here. One of the, again, iconic things about Airstream is the side walls as well as the exterior. So this right here is what they call, uh, it's basically the shell within the shell. And what I mean by that is they, they kind of duplicate this. So if you see the, the thickness uh, right here, so you know you have the inside layer, and then what you have is a bunch of EcoBat insulation, and then the outside layer, of course, will be that exterior. But they both have a very similar process when they make it. Uh, with this, it is .040 uh, aluminum, 
So that's going to be your thickness. So nice thick aluminum that they use on here. They put a uh, fluorocarbon coating over all of it as well. And what that does is it helps prevent any kind of mold or rust, which is why your uh, Airstreams are so shiny for so long. And they put that on the inside as well as the outside, again, just to help protect it, especially from moisture as we have temperature change from hot to cold, you know, hot temps, running AC, things like that. Uh, plus, you know, aluminum just doesn't rust to begin with. So, you know, between, uh, again, the kind of the coating they put on there, the aluminum itself, it just creates a generational camper. That's why you see these Airstreams that have been on the road, you know, for 10, 20, 30 years. Um, and, you know, you see people that are buying up old ones and redoing the interiors to make it more modern, but it still has that same original exterior because it has proven to last. Um, and we talked about the EcoBat insulation. One of the cool things about that is it does make it a green RV. So if you have allergies to flamaldehydes or anything like that, you don't have to worry about it in here. And also the aluminum structure that they use. There is no wood in these walls, folks. There's no wood, so again, nothing to rot out. It is an aluminum structure. And uh, with that, you know, going in between the outer layer and the inner layer, they use a thermal tape so that there's not conduct, uh, conductivity of moisture running through there. So again, we're talking about construction. The Airstream certainly has it nailed down. Uh, going back to the kitchen, a couple things I do want to show you. Of course, you have the slimline hood right here. Back on the wall is kind of our energy management system. So you will see um, your solar uh, control right here. Right next to that is your inverter. So you can pop that on and off. Electrical outlet, of course. And then the tank monitor. One of the cool things about the tank in here is that the, it's a probeless tank system. Uh, most black tanks will have probes literally in the tank that sticks out. And when the water level you know, trips the probe, that's when you hit the little button and it shows you how full it is. The issue with that with the black tank is that you have toilet paper and the toilet paper sometimes will sit on that probe and if you don't wash your black tank out or you don't have a black tank flush or you know sticking the hose down there to do it uh, that that paper that's sitting on there will give you a false reading and so it will say the tank is more full than it is if you've been camping this is probably something that has happened to you uh, but with this it's not something that you have to worry about because again it is a probeless system so very cool uh, three burner cooktop, the front one's high output, oven right there underneath. You can see if we drop down this compartment, a little bit of storage there too. I mean, I know it's not huge, but the thing I like about it is that they gave it to you. A lot of manufacturers would not, they would have just wrote it off, but Airstream did put it in there. Um, kind of rounding out the kitchen, right up top, of course, is your convection microwave oven. So that way, if, you're, if you don't know this, convection actually cooks twice as fast um, and it uh, is easier to clean than your standard oven. You can see the air fry on there. Got all sorts of things. Very, very, very cool. So if you have an air fryer at home and you love it, you're going to love this unit too. Here is your fridge freezer combo. So you'll see that you have good cold storage in here. Uh, this one does run off of both propane and electric. You can set the temp on there. As we swing around up front, I wanna show the front real quick before we go to the back. Um, so again, you know, you can see the aluminum mixed with the wood just makes it absolutely beautiful. Nice big windows let in a lot of natural light. The uh, uh, upholstery in here has been uh, tested. They, well, they'll take like a, a brace of cleaners and materials and rub it on there to make sure that it's going to be durable. So as you are you know, sliding in and out of the dinettes, it's not breaking down. And that's important when we're talking about longevity and quality of the RV. Taking a look up front, of course, this one has a dinette up front, so a little bit different floor plan, but it is kind of cool. If you have a beautiful view out the front, you have that, again, kind of like that iconic front wraparound window there. If you have that gorgeous view, this will allow you to really take advantage of that. That does drop down into a bed too. Uh, right up top, again, more storage. I'll open this up just to kind of show you what you're looking at there. The curtains are all hand sewn in house. Um, you know, it's not anything that's ordered, so they, they hand sew it and make sure that it is going to fit. Right here, some of your controls, you'll see that the lights are on dimmers, and then your battery disconnects so that when you're not using it, you can just pop that disconnect and it will shut everything down. We make our way to the back. We're gonna kind of come back here before we head out. So this one is a midship bath. So uh, what that basically means is that it's, it's a walk through here. So over to this side, and the reason I like this personally is because, you know, I may be in here why, you know, my wife is in the shower or vice versa. Maybe I'm showering and she's using this bathroom. 
So while yes, it is slightly more inconvenient if you have um, guests, you know, because uh, oh, you know if someone is in here, you can't. Um, you know, get ready, but as you can see, because it's on both sides of the aisle, you can still get through here, no problem. And if you are showering, you want the privacy folks, you can definitely close it off too. Right here in the bathroom though, I'll sit on the toilet again, just to give you an idea of size. Porcelain bowl, of course, and you see I have plenty of space with my legs as well as my shoulders. Uh, the flooring, if you look at the flooring, it's a, a very unique flooring as well, super easy to clean up. Um, you know, any dirt, you can just sweep right up, you can vac up, very simple and easy to use storage all the way around here this one has the um, on-demand water heater so that way you know again kind of like we talked about before with the uh, some of the other sessions today is it has a little three gallon tank and once and that's basically so you get instant hot water and then once that starts running through it will keep that hot water continuous so that if you have multiple people showering you're not going to run out this is something else that i love a couple things about this one you can see that the woodwork in the cabinetry itself and how beautiful that is but also the fact it's curved i really like that when they when they kind of add those pieces to any woodwork it just kind of shows you the uh, quality of wood that we're using here you had the mirror, so if you need to check yourself out or if you need magnification, you can flip it over. It's five times magnification on the back. Shelf across the top here, and then the towel bar too. Uh, something else I do wanna point out is this, and this is something else I like about Airstream. When we talk about some of the little things that make a difference, Woof, woof. Um, right down here, instead of having silicone, you can see that they put this aluminum strip. So, you know, again, they kind of uh, edged it out like you would at your home. You know, if you're connecting a wall to a floor, you're going to put edging there. And that's what they did all the way around rather than just silicone. And I, I personally like that they did that. Right in here, you can take a look there. You'll see big storage sink top cover is in there as well. Uh, you see hanging space. Something I like about this is that's not plastic like a lot of them are. That is actually a rubber covering on there. And so when you put the hangers on top of there, they're not going to slide all over and bounce out. You know, they will actually stay there and your clothes will still be, sta um, still be hanging when you arrive at your destination. The shower, let me open this up for you and I'll stand in here just to give you an idea. So, Side aisle shower, you know, I, if I stand in here, is it is a little bit tight, but I can still definitely do what I need to do. You know, if I spin here, again, that's when it starts to get tight is shoulder, uh, shoulder wise, but it does have a very large seat. So if you wanna sit down and shower, there you go. And I can sit right here, do your business, makes life easy, need to shave your legs, sure, good to go. And I do have enough depth that when I'm sitting here, you can see, I can, well, sorry. I'm sitting here very comfortably, um, you know, and, and no issues as far as the knee space or the, uh, or the legs there. When I come back out, we'll head back to the bedroom. So back in the bedroom, of course, bed right in the center, nightstands, storage all across the top here. Again, windows along the entire back, uh, back half of that camper. So again, if you have a nice view out the back, you're able to enjoy it no matter where you are. You have a TV in here if you wanna watch TV. You'll see your thermostat mounted right there on the wall, and then you have more storage uh, right next to the bed. So you have, on one side you have your nightstand, the other side here you see you have storage. Now if we head back out, I just wanna kinda of point at the ceiling. Um, so we have the vents here, right? And you can turn these vents, which is nice. Um, you can also, you know, kind of close them off or open them based upon how much airflow you want. So that's something that's uh, pretty unique. While most of them, most RVs, you can, you know, turn the vents, you can't generally close them or control the airflow. It's not just an off on. You actually get to restrict the airflow to the amount you want so that instead of having to mess with the thermostat, you know, maybe you want it nice and cool out here for guests, but you know, you're cold in the bedroom, you can just shut your vents a little bit more. The other thing I wanna mention is the fact we've had the AC on this entire video. You can see right here that you have the air intakes rather than a big white box, and that greatly helps reduce the sound of the AC unit, which is why I'm able to talk in here, and again, you probably aren't even picking the AC up, and if you are, it is going to be very little. Uh, as we come around to the outside, a couple things on the outside, because again, we talk about Airstream, a lot of it is construction. A beautiful door, we'll get to that in just a moment. They have an amazing door on the Airstream, but when we come up front, 
So right here is a power tongue jack. It does have a level on it. You'll see we're slightly off level, um, but the power tongue jack of course is great because it does just make hooking up and disconnecting that much easier. There's a light up front if you need the added visibility. And then right behind that, you will see your propane tank cover. Now the cool thing about this too, is that they make this in house. This is a custom uh, propane cover just for Airstream and it looks much nicer than having the big plastic ones. As I said, you can see the gorgeous window wrapping around right there. You also see five panels up top. They have five panels on the front and five in the back. Uh, just for a little bit of knowledge, when Airstream first started, they actually had 13 panels uh, in order to be able to wrap that around. But since then, with some improvements in technology, uh, they've actually been able to reduce that to five. Now, even though it looks like it's bent, it's actually not. It's a different process altogether. They take a die and they put the aluminum on it and they put several tons of pressure on there and it actually kind of uh, form stretches that so it's a completely different process it is very very durable very strong which again is one of uh, one of the reasons that Airstream can last generation after generation we take a look at the front panels these are going to be your rock guards you know again most manufacturers will put up just diamond plating uh, you know it's a little bit thinner diamond plating too it's not usually the diamond plating that you have for like toolboxes in the back of your truck for example example but these right here are very solid and so any rocks or anything will uh, just kind of hit those and so that way they won't damage the Airstream itself because the nice thing about these is they are removable so if you need to change them out later down the road you can absolutely do that also they will swing open there's a hinge right over on this side so what you can do is you can swing these open if you need to get back there to clean or anything like that because you know you want a nice looking rig you don't want to leave it dirty back there you can certainly do that that. Um, right up front you'll see your 30 amp power supply so you can just plug in right there. These windows, this front window does open up too I may add. It's not just for looks. If you want some airflow it does open up, it ratchets up so you have several different positions and where you can put that window so again not only can you control the AC you can control the airflow via the windows. Coming around to this side, we will see the Zip D awning, wonderful awning system, uh, fairly quick and easy to set up. You can see the, uh, the material on there. This one uses like a gray color scheme. Different Airstreams will use different colors. So it's, if you're out there, you're looking at Airstreams, it's kind of a quick and easy way to find out what kind of Airstream it is. The other thing I really like about the Zip D awning though is this right here, and that's the fact it has an awning guard. So the number one place that an awning is going to start to fail is right where it attaches to the RV. And what will happen is over time you'll start to see little pinholes or it'll start to tear right there. But with this awning cover, when it rolls back up, this uh, cover protects it from the UV rays, so it helps prevent it from breaking down. So when you're talking about longevity, you want to make sure that your awning is going to last for a while. That right there is what certainly aids in that. And of course, you still have an LED light strip. Take a looking at the door. So when we talk about Airstream folks, this is one of those things that's just, you know, uh, company history, right? There's a lot of company history in this door. Airstream, uh, and I, I wish I could remember the year, but they um, kind of started with just wonderful door systems. And when uh, the first time we landed on the moon, when we came back, they actually thought that they were going to be diseased. And so they built these capsules for people to be isolated in and they used Airstream's door system because of how solid the door was. And you can, I mean, you can hear it, you can feel it, extremely solid, rugged. You have one piece cast hinges on there. So again, you're talking about durability. F is for the screen itself. You see it has covers over the screen on the door so that if you have uh, dogs that are traveling with you and they jump up on the door when you walk out or you, you know, have a little one and they start pushing on the door here, it's not going to rip open your screen. So again, when it comes to the door, you can see the curvature of the door. They just do an absolute wonderful job. The latch is super simple and easy too. You just pull that, that lets you open the door up. Sometimes it's the simple things in life that uh, you know, really make a difference. As for the construction here, you know, I know some people get a little worried about you know, the rivets and say, oh, it's gonna leak, it's gonna leak. Well, folks, I'm here to tell you that Airstream has one of the best 
uh, testing when it comes to leaks. They actually put it in a chamber with over 80 spray nozzles and they put 350 gallons per minute of water on the outside of this RV and they will do that for 30 minutes to make sure there's no leak. So, you know, it's again, one of the best out there when you're talking about uh, construction and luxury and that is why we have the Airstream, of course, in this segment. You'll also see right up top there is an LED light outside. So if you need to light up the outside, you're able to do that. Uh, making our way back a little bit here. I kind of want to get to the back and then work our way uh, on the off door side. But something else I like is built right here into the bumper. You can see you have big open storage. And then kind of coming around to the back again, you'll see that you have that window. Uh, and then you have a window awning too. So you can prop that out, which is pretty nice. Coming around to the off door side here, couple last things I want to hit on so you will notice some storage right in the back and again you can see that these um, the doors on the Airstream you know they make all their own doors as well so that way everything is custom fit every opening on the outside of this Airstream is um, is computer cut right everything you know nothing is hand cut on here they make sure that they see and see every opening so that everything fits precisely and perfect and you will even notice you have an awning right here on the off door side how often do you see that very very cool outside shower so you have nice easy access this one does have a black tank flush again to help wash out the black tank even though you don't have any probes in there still a good thing to have Something else I like is this right here. This is the back of the refrigerator and what you'll notice is this is your refrigerator vent and they clamped it in place. Now I know that seems like a silly small thing, but that just goes to show you the manufacturers paying attention because what'll happen is a lot of times you go try to put it in a vent, it'll fall out and then it starts to flood the back of your refrigerator. You have a bunch of water in there and that's not anything you ever want. Something else you'll notice, they put a screen in here. Why? Because bugs like to make homes in there. So they put a screen in there to make sure the bugs are staying out. And then lastly, you'll see more storage right up front here. Now, folks, this is the Flying Cloud. Up next, we have the Globe Trotter. A little bit bigger, a little bit better. Hey, it's Sean Parr. I'm out here at the Ultimate RV Show, and I want to take a moment and thank one of our ultimate partners, Progressive Insurance. Everybody knows Progressive, and they're going to be one of the specialty insurers that's going to take care of you and all your RV insurance needs. They can put a special package together just for you. They can bundle everything together, too. Recreational vehicles, RVs, your home, they can put it all in one. you got a commercial auto or your trucks or anything else. All you have to do to get a quote is just visit our partners, Progressive dot com slash RV. You want to do new things outside and, and sometimes it's about that change of scenery. Just fulfilling that love for the outdoors that I have. Woo! The best things happen outdoors and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a motorhome that sleeps six for only three twenty nine a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. The best things happen outdoors, and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a motorhome that sleeps six for only $3.29 a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. 
Now more than ever, Americans need to be responsible with their money. Did you know? The average theme park vacation costs over $4,800. Rethink your vacation. We have RVs that can be towed by your car or SUV and sleep fine for less than $5 a day. That's less than a drink or ice cream cone at the theme park. See America for less. Click, call, or visit Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Wow, Ian. That Airstream really is just so streamlined. It's a classic, timeless beauty. It's like the Audrey Hepburn of, RB, of RVs. Wow. A classic, timeless beauty. Plus, it has an air fryer. Yeah, and you, we were all about the air fryers. The greatest thing about those, you know, right now we are sandwiched in between two incredible Airstreams. These are absolutely gorgeous, fully loaded vehicles. One of the things that uh, Ian was mentioning earlier uh, in the program was an auto leveler. I mean, he said that's the tip of the day for him personally. Do it yourself. I've got a little trivia here for you. Since we're talking about Airstreams, there was actually a commercial in 1996 that featured an Airstream in their commercial. It was one of one of America's favorite snack foods. Do you know what that snack food was? I'll give you a hint. It had a cowboy hat involved. Little Debbie, Nabisco, Oreo. Let's start with Hostess. That was my next guess. A Hostess sponge cake delicious Twinkie. The Hostess Twinkie used it as a commercial. The Airstream. There you go. See, even our stage manager, Todd, knew all about that one. He was all excited about the Twinkie. I'm all excited about being in between these two Airstreams because we're going to see more luxury. We're going to see more style. We're going to see more amenities. And listen, you're saying to yourself, Sean, I need to get my hands on that Airstream or I haven't seen the Class C that I'm looking for. Here's what you do. You just go to ultimatervshow.com click the on demand uh, button right there bam you can go to anything you want we've archived every single session you ready to go to another one yes let's do it why don't you just turn it over to our uh, superstar who's been so busy this week he's just i mean he's making history with us right he really is let's send it over to ian and see what he's doing and the next Airstream. Oh, he's all about the Airstream. Ian, I know you're going to talk about style, and I know you really like to talk about amenities. What do you got for us? You hit it, Sean. Style and amenities, and as you can see, the Globetrotter definitely has both. Airstream has beautiful style to begin with. Globetrotter, of course, being one of the top echelons in that Airstream name, just underneath the classic. And you can certainly tell when you take a look. I mean, look at this wall. This entire wall here is just a thing of beauty. You have the gorgeous aluminum, you have a ton of windows letting in so much light that it just really helps brighten this space up with some of the brighter cabinetry they have in here, your gorgeous countertop here as well. I mean, it just feels open. And you know what else I love? Look at this. Speaking of Globetrotter, you could fit the entire Harlem Globetrotter team on this sofa. It is massive. You have so much space wrapping all the way around. Uh, you know, and I love that if you are one for entertaining, if you're one for just having a, you know, maybe you have a big family or having people over, maybe it's something that you set up and you have, uh, you know, rock stars come in here. I mean, it's possible, right? You have the seating for it. I would hang out here. Jace, would you hang out here? I bet he would. You'll see right here that uh, you know you have the big long table as well. So the cool thing about this is it gives you a place to just be able to sit. This of course is removable, um, but again, I love the uniqueness of how much seating you truly have right up front. If we take a look underneath the seating as well, you will see storage. So they didn't waste any space. Now, one of the things I like is that you'll see right here, they actually made the door small enough that you can drop it with the table legs still in place. Some of the other doors we'll see are much larger, but again, under all of this seating, from here over to here, you know, more storage there. You can see your electrical outlet. And then even right back here, as I'm crawling along the floor, you have more there, and now you'll also see you get bins. Now, I understand that, you know, these have probably cost you a dollar at Walmart, but the thing that I like is the fact that the manufacturer already put them in here, and they certainly didn't have to. Uh, you know, they could have just left, left it to you to find something to fit in there or just left it open. Uh, but the fact they gave them to you, I think, is kind of cool. This flooring, again, is kind of like a woven marine grade flooring, something that is very durable. It is extremely easy to clean. 
You will see over to this side here, we have some electrical outlets as well as your battery disconnect. So right down there, if you wanna quickly kill all power, you can just flip it down uh, and that way it's good to store. And then you will see here your, um, your USB port as well as the electrical outlet. And as I mentioned, in the Flying Cloud, folks, all of these are hand sewn. And again, it's something that you don't normally think about. You take curtains for granted, but this is a nice thick cloth material. It's Velcroed, so that way when you bring them together, they will stay together. They don't open and separate on you. You can see again the big window. Of course, this one does open. So as I mentioned, allow it in that airflow, some lights underneath. Beautiful white cabinetry of auxiliary lighting up top here. Speakers, of course, so you can listen to some music. And let's open that up. Something that's really neat in here is in a lot of these upper cabinets, they put a mirror in there. Because if you're a little bit shorter, you may struggle to see what's in there. Now at six foot tall, I can see in here pretty good, but the mirror is nice because it kind of shows you, you know, what's hanging out that you normally might not be able to see. And again, the, the hidden hinges, and because these ones open up, you will see they put in struts too. So it really makes sure that those are gonna stay up for you, not come down, slam on you or anything like that. Um, of course, you have your entertainment center up here, Blu-ray player. If you want to, you know, watch a Blu-ray, you have the capability to do that. When we take a look at the ceiling, again, that same amazing construction with the rivets, that .040 aluminum, you have LED lights, your vents right here. So if you can kind of, I don't know if you, let me turn this toward the camera. Let's see if you can see this. Can you see up in the vents there? So if we actually turn this, you can see how it kind of chokes off or adds more air, right? Kind of throttles it a little bit. It gives you the option to be able to control it. And then these are directional, so you just turn it wherever you want the air to go. So, um, you know, again, it, I, I know that, you know, it might not cost a ton to do that, but the fact they do it and nobody else does is part of why Airstream has the name that it does. Walking inside, you have a spot to hang up your keys right there, nice and simple. Uh, of course, your curtains. I will pull this down just to kind of show you the, uh, the roller style shade. It's kind of nice. You have the double windows. That's something else. I uh, like about, you know, kind of like the globe trotter and the flying cloud, some of the windows they have on the side, you know, rather than just having like one big square one, instead they put two rectangles, you know, or two ovals rather. Um, it just kind of gives it a, a pretty neat look. These ones, by the way, I probably should mention, if you want to put this down, you have these right there, so it just catches. Uh, pretty simple and easy to use, and you will see that on all the windows, including these bottom ones here. The top ones are a little bit different because they're going up. They have accordion style, but they did that because it is on that angle, so they want to make sure that, you know, it's, that whatever they put there is actually going to stay. If you want to watch TV, right there is the TV, and of course, hooked up to that Blu-ray player we saw. Uh, everything we basically need for our power system, again, is right here. That tank monitoring panel I mentioned is there. Uh, the kitchen itself, this one uses the white, ca uh, uh, white countertop. It's nice and bright, just beautiful. You will see the undermount stainless steel sink because, you know, you have the solid surface. If you get a chance to undermount, you absolutely want to do it. High-rise pull-out faucet on here underneath. Now, this one is contending with the sink and the plumbing. So what you'll see is there's a cutout right there. Plus, you have a cutout here for the P-trap, uh, you know, because you do have, again, that plumbing there. And then this one, of course, you don't have the cutout, but because there is, you know, some other stuff uh, along the side, you have that other area that's cut out too. But that's not it. Look at this. You have more drawer space. You get a big countertop. That means you get big storage. And so you can see that again, and then one more time underneath. Now, if we open up the top, a couple things here. So once again, you can see they have the mirrors there, good overhead storage. Um, you will see, let's see, let's see if I can grab it, sorry. Right up here are your sink top covers. So you do have sink top covers. That way, again, you can utilize all of that as prep space. And there's actually a special little spot for it. There's a little bit of carpeting up here so that that uh, there is an actual place because that's oftentimes a problem in RVs is that you take off your sink top covers, you have no space for them, but clearly not the case here. Very slim line hood. You have, uh, of course, the light in there, as you would expect, some spice racks over to the side. You have the recessed cooktop. So this, take a look at that guy. It flips up just like that. Just one solid piece. You have the backsplash, three burner there. And then this one has the oven down below. So if you want, uh, you know, an actual propane oven, this one does have that capability. 
because again, once again, little drop down compartment they didn't have to give you, but they did. It is also worth mentioning you have this one right over here. So, you know, we're talking about a little bit um, storage areas all underneath this dinette, folks. There's just a ton of it. Something else I want to show you, if I open this one up, I think you can see it. Um, yes, here we go. So right here. So when I talk about excellent construction, if you can take a look in there, you will see that it is slotted, which allows them to drill a screw right in there. So that way the head's not po uh, poking out. So again, folks, this is a residential style construction. They are screwing and gluing the cabinetry in this RV. And you know, maybe that's not a big deal to you, but for someone like me, it certainly is. Uh, this, I'm honestly, Honestly, not sure what's supposed to go in here. I see an electrical outlet, so something certainly goes there. Um, but then if we, we pull this guy out, again, you can see that uh, you got a little bit right there. So then, of course, underneath, massive storage on the side. Swing this one open, and again, some more. Just kind of want to show you what you're working with. And if you look at the cabinetry, you can see how, you know, again, they curve the wood around. That is not a, a cheap thing to do at all, to be able to put those curves in here, but it certainly makes it beautiful. Opening this guy up, the Norcold fridge freezer combo. You can see that, plenty of storage in here. Making our way back a little bit further, we're almost back to the bedroom, but of course we have our wardrobe. And once again, you'll see that you have the rubber on there, so that way your hanger stays. You can see all the extra storage space you get in there, some extra uh, legs for the table. The shower, just like we had in the Flying Cloud, same deal. There is a vent, by the way. You can see that right up top. And also, you have the clothes hanger. So. If you're somewhere where you have facilities that you can use and you don't need to use the shower, you can also use this, you know, for wet bathing suits or if you just want to hang, you know, some, uh, some other clothes there, you have the capability to do that. And right across the way, I personally really like this, you have the porthole there, right? Kind of a, a cool look, makes me feel like I'm on a submarine or something. Um, but you come inside, you'll see, again, great space for the toilet, porcelain bowl. You know, great storage underneath that beautiful curved wood again. They have light. You know, you have this big window in the bathroom, which just brings in a ton of light, which is why it's so bright in here. Once again, you see the control for that on-demand water heater. You have the shelf. You have the mirror. You have the vent in here as well. Um, you know, as I mentioned, just a, a lot of similar features between the two. Then as we make our way to the very back, you have the skylight letting in a lot of natural light. Right there is your quiet AC. And then back in the bedroom space, queen bed here in the center, nightstands on both sides, USB ports. Again, you have the speakers up there. You have that uh, lighting. Open this up and you once again will see the hinges with the struts. There is a TV in here too. So if you, um, you know, want to watch TV, you do have that on one of the walls. The thermostat will be located right there. And again, folks, this is just very open and airy. It's one of the things I love about this Globetrotter floor plan. And as I said, the seating in it is definitely second to none. We have the fold out step. So as you noticed, I currently have it with just one step out, but you can actually go like so and it will fold out down to a second step. So if you want you know, the two steps, you can do that, uh, depending on the ground level. Obviously, I only needed the one, but you know, sometimes uh, you know, having that second step will just kind of help you get up into the camper. Coming around to the front, we're gonna see a lot of similar features on the construction. Again, you have the power tongue jack, you have the propane surround that is made in-house right here. You can see your guards. Now, the other one, of course, it was white because it had the cover on there, but you know, when you peel that off, of course, it's the beautiful aluminum, the glass that just wraps around. We look at the Zip D awning. This one is, as I mentioned, a different color. You can see that. Uh, you know, pretty similar to like the, the Tommy Bahama colors, but a little bit darker. You got the, the black in there. But big awning, folks. I mean, it spans the entire length of the travel trailer. That's something that oftentimes you don't get. It's a little bit shorter, but not at all the case here. That, that wonderful door that we saw. I mean, listen to just how solid this is. You know, it sounds solid. It, it sounds like it shuts the way that a RV door should, or any door for that matter. You have those windows again, kind of like portholes from the outside. 
making our way down a little bit further underneath the awning. Uh, and as I mentioned, folks, this one has that floral carbon on the outside too, so it helps protect that exterior. These these rivets right here are a very, it's a very laborious construction method. In case you're wondering why, you know, Airstream is the only one that does this, uh, it's a couple things. One is it is a skill. It is not easy to do whatsoever. Two, it takes a ton of time in order to do this. Every rivet you see here takes two people in order to put in one rivet. So um, it does take a while, but, you know, it is a very old style of um, of construction, but a very tried and true one. They, again, they call it a semi monocoat construction method, and they took it from the aviation industry. And why it is good, not just from a durability standpoint, but also from a vibration standpoint is the way it's built. It takes a lot of the shock from the road vibration and it transfers it to the body of the RV instead of inside so that this is taking the beating and not everything on the inside. Kind of like the reason when you're flying on a plane, you know, you'll feel a little bit of turbulence, but that, but when you're just traveling, you know, nice and smooth, the airplane is getting a lot of that, getting beat up, but you're not getting tossed around in your seat too bad unless, you know, of course, like I said, you're hitting really bad turbulence. So very uh, kind of similar idea in that. Coming around to the back, you want to look at storage. This one has double. So you have the storage right here, as we saw, this is where the bed was, of course. And then you also have the storage located in the bumper. So several different storage options. Whew, that's bright. That sun got me right in the eye, seeing black spots. Uh, coming around the backside, you do have jacks on all four corners on the Airstream, as you would expect, so that way, you know, it'll help level things out. You'll notice the awning covers across the whole thing here. Outside shower, black tank flush. You have the uh, cable and satellite hookup. This right here is your on-demand water heater. Gorgeous windows all along this side. These are those ones we saw. And this is the cool thing about the Airstream, folks. You see these three, but look up top. Can you see the top three right up there? You can barely see them, but they bring in a ton of light. The double ACs, and you'll also notice the solar that's up there. I showed you the solar controller on the Flying Cloud. That's because, you know, these units do come with solar. Help keep that battery topped off. Folks, there is so, so, so much more to Airstream that I wish I could cover. Uh, you know, there's a reason that they have been the iconic unit that they are. Please don't hesitate. Text Easy RV to 32094. Put Easy RV in that comment section. So one of our truly and highly trained specialists are able to help you on the Airstream, help you pick the perfect one for you. And you know what's even better yet? They can walk you through the exact one you're going to get and deliver it to your doorstep. Kaylin and David coming back to you guys from the Ultimate Campsite here at the Ultimate RV Show. So what we wanted to do with the Ultimate RV Show is show a lot of products that our new campers might not know a lot about. And I actually don't know a lot about an RV waste pump. So do I have to have an RV waste pump? You don't technically have to have one. As you uh, had in an earlier segment, you can use a sewer hose. Okay. Yeah, but some of the need for this is in a long distance scenario. So let's say you're really far from the sewer. This will actually push everything that way. It'll make sure it gets down the line. You can go much further away with, with an RV waste pump. Uh, some folks, they don't want to deal with uh, things getting clogged up inside or, or issues. So this will actually liquefy everything that's in there. So it's like it a macerator. It is definitely. Okay. It'll completely liquefy it. Master it, and that's exactly what's in here. Now, you're like, huh? I mean, I gotta be outside with this for forever? No, 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 no. This thing's got uh, a huge motor on it. It's got 13 gallons per minute of flush. I mean, it'll just clean, cleanse it out. Um, you have a trigger here for when you set it up. Of course, you have the 12 volt that you hook up outside. Uh, it's got plenty of, of line for that. And of course, you hit the trigger button, macerate it up, cleans it out, and you can move on. Uh, this guy right here hooks the, you actually hook a a freshwater hose, yeah. but you definitely don't want to use a freshwater hose. So I always uh, look at some of the uh, color coordinating ones we carry in the stores. We have a gray, we have a black, you can actually get those, uh, or even a blue, use a white or a blue for, for your different areas, but have that hose dedicated for it. But you have it, comes in a nice little storage case, um, easily pack it up, of course you probably just clean it off before doing so. But you pack it up, put it underneath when you're done with it. So I'm going to put myself a note on the inside of my storage compartment that says white equals freshwater, gray you equals if you need a label. what I use for that. Yeah. I always recommend labels. That helps a good bit. That's right. So 
as far as using this, what kind of time frame am I looking at? So is it like less than five minutes to, to pump everything well, out? Of course, it's also gonna depend on how much waste you have in the tank. Uh, the standard tank is about 40 gallons. Um, this will liquefy in a, a short time frame, so you shouldn't be out there more than five. Really. Okay, okay. okay. Um, and what you were saying earlier about the distance to my dump tanks, isn't so regular would be gravity fed as well. So maybe if I don't have yeah. the ability, I mean, maybe the way that I'm parked, I don't have the ability to give it really the gravity that it needs. I don't know if you've ever been to a campsite, uh, but there's plenty of them out there where they've somehow put the pipe up and it's like this far out of the ground. Well, if you have a gravity one, it's clearly not gonna go in there. So if you have something like this, it's gonna shove it all down there. You don't have to like guide your, your sewer hose out and cleanse it out. You're good to go. This thing will hand, handle everything you need to do. And it'll be a little cleaner application as well, if you can think of it like that. So less to clean up, less to wash yeah. off. Well, and you just close it right up and you're all good to go there. That's right. All right. That's right. So uh, just as we mentioned before, guys, you can comment camp down below for the portable RV waste pump or to chat with someone about that. You can also text that camp to 32094 or give us a call at the 866-235-8751. And like we've said before, these prices are only good through the Ultimate RV Show. And we are at 339 regular price. Promo is gonna be 262.10. And your Good Sam member price is 249. Um, so that is for the portable RV waste pump. Uh, we showed off the sewage uh, sewer hose yep. earlier <laughs> so you can get this instead of just having that all by itself uh, just drop your comment below or give us a call and we will talk to you guys again soon Sean Parr at the Ultimate RV Show, and i got to tell you about one of our amazing partners. Ultimate partners, I'm talking about King, because for almost two decades, King has been a leader, an innovator, a pioneer in manufacturing and designing Wi-Fi, cellular, over-the-air antenna systems. King has always taken great pride in creating products that assist, that assist you, our customers, in connecting the internet and TV programming wherever you go. You need the system. We've got the system for you. It's our friends at King. To be out here, I mean, literally the most relaxing thing there is. Sit in a tree and just watch and see all the stuff that's going on around you. The best things happen outdoors, and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a travel trailer that sleeps five for only $98 a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. It's time to do more of what you want, where you want, with the all-new EU2200i generators from Honda. They're quiet, portable, and now packed with 200 more watts of stable power and all new features. Plus, parallel another EU2200 for twice the power, with long run times, outstanding fuel efficiency, and the same reliability you expect from Honda. It's power you can trust. In a perfect world, you're always chasing adventure and relaxation in your new RV. But in the real world, life happens. That's why Camping World offers a suite of added protection products for our buyers. If the unthinkable happens, added protection from Good Sam will protect your RV and your wallet for the road ahead. Ask your Camping World dealer about Good Sam protection for your RV. Every chef knows that travel and food go hand in hand. If you want to try new recipes, find the best restaurants, and discover amazing cuisines, then make Camping World the first stop on your culinary adventure. If you can make it in a kitchen, on a grill, or over a fire, then you can make it anywhere with your RV. Take your kitchen on the road with Camping World.
Just came out of the most unbelievable session on the um, Airstreams. How yes. gorgeous were those? Luxurious. Ian, thank you so much for the walkthroughs. And listen again, if you saw something that you like and uh, you had questions about, all you do is text EZRB to 32094 or call one of our specialists at 866 853 3510. We are at the Ultimate RV Show. We have had ultimate show pricing. Ultimate giveaways. Oh, we got to do another one right yes. now, right? That's okay, let's do right it. I've got here in my hands. I'm ready. All right, so winning a $250 merchandise certificate. Congratulations to Michael Henry. Thanks for registering at ultimatervshow.com. You just won yourself a $250 merchandise certificate. Nicely done, Michael Henry. Woo! Listen, again, you cannot win if you do not register. You still have time. Ultimatervshow.com. You know, listen, I was uh, just going back and forth via text with Brian, who's been watching for the last couple of days with his wife, and they thought they wanted one uh, particular RV model. It turns out they want a a 40-foot diesel pusher. They had all these questions about it. They went right over to our Nashville store. We are open across the country, over 150 locations. You've got a question, you want to see a unit, you come in and you get everything answered in one spot. And speaking of answered, I've got a little trivia for you. Ooh. We like to call this, it's time for our Beer Speak 101. Here Feel we free go. to play along at home, too. Uh, this is, <laughs> Elise, you, know, you ready? No, I struggle with these. All right. Sean. In our Beer Speak, Elise, what is a reefer? I'm is sorry. it A, an RV? Be careful. <laughs> is it B, the refrigerator in the RV? Is it C, a snorkeler in Australia? Or is it D, a tire wrench to swap the spare tire, perhaps? I'm going to go with D. You're going to go with B, you said? Oh, yes, yes. I said B. And you would be correct. Oh, it's the refrigerator there. in the RV. <laughs> RV or Speak 101. And speaking of which, we got to talk about maintaining your yes, investment, protecting right? protecting your investment. Correct. And maintaining your RVs. We're getting into that time of year. We're going to start covering them up when the winter starts coming in, the colder weather sets in. How do you maintain your RV? How do you winterize things? This is very important. Super important. We're going to toss it off to Ian and Sean to tell you how you can do that. Ian and Sean, take it away, boys. Here we go, folks. I am joined by my good friend, Sean Harless. And today, we're gonna go over covers, cleaners, maintenance, everything you need to do to take care of your RV. So, Sean, why don't you go ahead, just jump right into it, start off with covers. Why do we need them? What do they help do? Do you need them? Sure. So, yeah, we've got some covers just to show you in the box. We don't have any out of the box today, but um, for obvious reasons, you know, when you're gonna store the RV, Putting a cover like this on it that has a real good uh, coating on the roof, a UV shield, it's just going to keep the RV from having so much, you know, weathering on it when you're not using it. So sure. keeping the sun off of the roof, keeping some of the elements off of it, obviously tree sap, things like that. Yep. Um, and this coming down the sides, having you know something with UV protection down the sides, it keeps them from fading out when you're not using them. Okay. So all that's great. We sell these in the stores, um, many different sizes to choose from. You get it from a you know drivable motor home to a travel trailer to a fifth wheel uh, to the smaller campers as well. So. And yeah. for me personally, like this is one of those things I always tell people, right? Is that you know a lot of people like to store their RV outside, and if, if you've never seen what UV, I mean, it, it's insane what the damage can do, right? I mean, yeah. you get fading, you start to you know get problems with the roof. Something as simple as a cover can really help prevent a lot of that. And being in the Midwest when it snows, still blows my mind that people don't put covers on when it snows because of ice creep, some other things that can happen. You know, when you start to get that ice coming into the seals, a cover. You know, yeah. it's really all you need. So I, I think it's something. It's very important when you're, uh, you know, when you're done camping for the season, throw it on there, good to go. Sure. And there's there's a lot of other things too that you kind of have to maintain throughout the season, right? Obviously, put a cover on when we're done. One of the biggest things I think that, at least for me, that I hear that people worry about is leaks. Whether it's coming in from a roof, your seals. Um, when I think maintenance and. and you know, what people really want to make sure they maintain, what they want to prevent happening, is they want to make sure that RV doesn't leak. So what are some things we can do to help prevent leaking? Yeah, so on a standard camper, you know, usually you can inspect just by walking around, looking at the seals around the windows, around any entry points. Obviously, 
manufacturers recommend at least every 90 days to have the seals touched up. And, look and for what, any are, voids. what are we looking for? Are we looking for like cracking or mold or what is it that we're looking for? Sean? Anything, yeah, that you're looking at around a window or a seal. If there's any type of caulking that was put on there and it's starting to release and you're starting okay. to see voids where water can get in, um, it's a good time to go ahead and start touching that up. Okay, and what kind of product do we want to put on there? Um, on the outside of the RV, a lot of times we'll match whatever the manufacturer put on there. We okay. sell a product and we use a, a product called ProFlex, sometimes okay. just regular clear silicone is what we're using when we're doing the maintenance services at the at the shops as okay. well. So, okay, okay. A little bit of blend then, a little mix. Yeah, so everything on the outside of the camper is important. Um, obviously, both when you have an RV cover on or when you don't. So, worst thing you want to do is park this thing up for a long period of time when you're not in it every day and checking it yep. and come in and find a leak, right? Right. You know, it's been sitting there just causing damage for the last yeah, three months. Life's not good at that point. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so we're going to, we're, obviously we're going to maintain the outside. Um, and you know, even before we're going to put the cover on, we really should take care of that roof one last time before we put it into storage. Okay. You know, jump up on the roof, make sure it's cleaned up. It, obviously we're going to clean it up with a cleaner and make sure that everything's clean and get all that tree sap off of there because you don't want to sit there over the time when you're storing it because it's going to deteriorate the rubber even more. Okay. So great time to do that. Obviously do it again, inspect it again once you take your RV cover off. But basically we're going to clean the roof real good all around all the seams. That'll open up any exposed area we couldn't see that dirt was really into an area that maybe we have some voids in the sealant up there. Okay. So if we do run into voids in the sealant, um, one of the services that we do a lot of is rubber roof preventive maintenance. Okay. So something we do when we're up there, we'll clean it off, we'll inspect it. If we do see some voids in it, we're going to go up with a caulking gun, some lap sealant. This happens to be some Dicor self-leveling lap sealant. Okay. Depending on the part of the roof that needs to be sealed, you'll either use a self-leveling. All if right. If you use a self-leveling, it's going to be because it's on the actual flat part of the roof. Okay. And when you put it on there, it's going to smooth Flatten itself out. out. Okay. But if you come around the corner of the roof, you know, a lot of them you can see around the corner, yep. there is some sealant there. You don't want to use the self-leveling there. So it'll just kind of ooze down. It's going to kind of run down. You're going to have yourself a mess to clean up. So, sure. So yeah, you're gonna wanna do that. Um, make sure everything's sealed up. Let that dry and cure real well. Okay, now let me ask you. So you say you should do it before uh, you put it away. Is it should it like an, an annual thing, a once a year thing? Should it be you know, kind of twice a year thing? What is, what is kind of the general rule of thumb for the, the roof maintenance? So the roof maintenance is gonna depend on how much the, the unit's actually exposed. Okay. Out in the, on the elements. Makes sense. Um, if you're gonna use it full time, you're going to probably want to do a roof preventative maintenance on it and put the protectant and sealant on it okay. at least twice a year. Okay. So for some people that don't use them a whole lot, you do it before you put it away in storage, yep. you open it back up. You want to check and make sure there's not any mold or mildew that, that happened over the winter time from yep. the heat up and cool down and sweating under there. If you did, you're going to want to clean that off before you, before you use it again. So. And, and Sean, one of the things that um, you know that you mentioned is the fact that it is a, a service that Camping World provides, and a pretty common service as well. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, from my experience, it's for two major reasons. One is the fact you're up you're up on top of a roof, right? You're, you know, you're working <laughs> with something wet, yeah. can kind of be dangerous, slick. And the other one. I think that people don't understand is time. It is not a very quick process. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's it's a it's a good afternoon or or more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, depending on how many breaks you take. Sure, sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's it can take a little bit of time. Okay. Um, you do have to let the product dry that you're using. So whether it's the roof sealant that you have to touch up around vents or anything like that. Okay. It's going to take some time to dry, and then the same thing with your protectant that you put on there. It's going to have to have some time once you put it on there to kind of skim over. So you wouldn't want to put the treatment on there and then immediately put a cover on. You're going to want to let it sit out okay. and kind of dry up for a few hours before you get on it. Now, is the protectant for, for UV? Is it for um, like mold? Is it kind of all of the above? Yeah, it, it basically does a UV protectant on okay. it. It does okay. add a shield. Um, the way that it goes on, it comes out almost like an armor all. Um, oh, okay. Real similar to an armor all. It's, it's that, that kind consistency. Kind of putting additives back in it almost? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and what the cleaner does when, you, when you're cleaning the rubber roof with this cleaner, it's got a special cleaning agent in it um, that opens up the pores of the rubber roof again. Oh. So that's why it's a two-step process. When you're cleaning it, gotcha. this, this kind of opens up the pores of the rubber again. So once that's done then you and you put, put the armor in all in, it goes into the pores of the rubber and creates a nice barrier over top of that roof. That's that's a good that's something that's good to know. I guess I didn't realize that. So that's you don't want to skip a step. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't mix it together and pour it on, that's for sure. <laughs> right. So Okay. So 
that sounds like it kind of takes care of the roof. Now, another one that I hear a lot of people worry about, especially if they're not familiar, uh, you know, maybe they haven't had an RV in, you know, 10, 20 years, and they worry about slides. You know, you hear all these horror stories about these slides that are leaking, which doesn't happen near as often now as it did, you know, when they first came out. Uh, but there are some things we need to do to make sure that it doesn't happen, because they do have seals on them. Mm -hmm. So why don't we walk us through that? Yeah, um, we'll just go over to this slide real Perfect. quick. Yeah. Um, a lot of times people skip this step when they're out camping, but 99% of the slides will have what we call a wipe seal on here. Okay. And so what this wipe seal does is it's, it's intended, as the room goes out, this seal is supposed to wick out just like it is. Okay. So it pulls out. When the slide room goes back in, this wipe seal is actually going to fold right back in. Okay. So. It's basically going to, with it being out when you're camping, you want to look at the one at the roof as well. Uh, this particular one doesn't have a slide top on, so you're going to have to be extra careful with this slide room okay. when you're using it. If you could add a slide topper to it, great option because it's going to protect you from having to carry a ladder and look at that top seal when you're camping. Okay. Because if that top seal doesn't come out properly when this room comes out That's when you're gonna and start it to rains, have issues. you could have water that runs right back inside the camper. Okay. For sure. Okay. So. That's a big thing to watch when you're using them, obviously, with them moving in and out and with these seals being exposed to the sun and the elements and the moving the room in and out, that rubber is going to take a lot of beating. Okay. So we've got some product over here that obviously um, people forget to do it. It, it, it seems like it's, it's something that, you know, is overlooked inside the store. But, sure, sure. but those seals are not cheap, you know, and, oh, and they're yeah. labor intensive to change. So this is a rubber seal conditioner that we, we recommend that you spray onto those seals. Okay. And this is going to keep them, you know, basically it's a cleaner and everything all in one. Okay. And then obviously the next thing you have, there's the slide out dry lube. Yep. Now the dry lube, kind of hard to show on this room, but okay. basically what that lubricant's going to be for is all the rooms have mechanisms that make them move in and out. Sure, yeah, rack and pinion or sure. cables, whatever it may be. Yeah, so this is another easy thing to keep in the camper and do while you're out camping. Okay. It's something you can do while you're there. It doesn't take long, grab it out, put it in the storage compartment of the camper, yep. run the rooms out, spray down everything, the gears and everything while it's okay. sitting there. And you'll keep that well that well maintained throughout the year. Okay, okay, and so, so you have a lube for the gears and then a conditioner for the seals. Rubber seal conditioner, yes sir. Wonderful. All right, Sean, what, it looks like we have some cleaners next to that, right? Part of, part of maintenance, you buy something, you want to make sure it looks nice, has some shine to it. Just like a car. That, yep. That's exactly right. Why don't you walk us through uh, some of the cleaning products we have here? Okay, yeah, so uh, we've got the first one over here is the Black Streak and Bug Remover. And it's probably the number one complaint that we have with RVs. Just because of the roofs themselves, they have runoff and when they run down the side, it creates streaks. Okay. Um, it's not like a house where there's eaves and you got gutters and everything else, sure, right? Sure, sure. So as that, as that water runs down the side of the RV, it leaves these streaks. And regular, a lot of times regular washing won't take, won't take them off. Okay. So the Black Streak Remover is a great product to use. Basically, you're gonna spray it onto a dry, dry siding, okay. and it's activated with water. Oh, okay. Yeah. So spray it on dry, activate it with a soft bristle brush, and that should take care of most of the streak before you start trying to wash the whole camper. And I do notice bug remover on there as well, and I can say from personal experience that the front end of the RV that has all the bugs that are smashed on there, that is tough to get off. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So yeah, it'll work for that as well, especially on the, the front caps of the fifth wheels. They really, they really yep. see the bugs when you're going down the road certain times of year. So. So yeah, that's a great product to use and just spray it on, like I said, spray it on dry, okay. activate it with, a, with water and a brush. Okay, So real Perfect. easy to use. Um, next thing we've got here is the awning cleaner. Uh, we've got this awning that's out and talking about just cleaning the awning, it's, it's more important than just cleaning the awning. Okay. Um, you know, when you open up an awning and you've got anything that's on it, you want to use the proper cleaner putting bleach onto it. A lot of people use that bleach can really take the, the color scheme off of it. Um, it can it can hurt the, the material and make it weaker. Yep. So and, and really- they, they use bleach to kill the mold, right? It's kind of the right. thought behind it. Yeah. Okay. So, so using a good awning cleaner is a first step to trying to clean it. Okay. And a big misconception is 
do I roll it up when it's wet or wait till it's dry? You yep. really want to wait to roll up an awning until it's dry. Sure. If you roll it all up, you're just going to end up with a lot of mold and mildew inside of there. Yep. So, and, that, and then you try to use bleach and then you ruin the awning. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, not speaking from personal experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, that's the awning cleaner. Make sure before you run the awning in, everything's completely dry. And the other thing we've got here is just a basic wash and wax cleaner, 100% carnauba wax. Okay. Um, a soft bristle brush, works on both metal siding and fiberglass siding campers. Okay. Um, real easy product to use, just kind of, you know, pour it in a bucket just like you would a car. With an RV, it's a little bit different, obviously, a lot higher, higher surface to deal with, so a longer extension pole you know, makes a big difference when you're when you're cleaning these. Sure. Um, obviously, if you're going to do a roof preventive maintenance, um, you should try to protect the side of your RV. Okay. Um, so that this product, the cleaner, doesn't actually spill over the sides. Okay. Um, if that happens, if you're using and doing a rubber roof preventive maintenance, it's best to have somebody come and spray it real quick. You don't want this stuff to dry on the side of the camper. Okay. That, can, that's good to know too. It can affect the finish. So. Oh, okay. Um, so that's there again. Last step would obviously be doing the doing the side of the camper with a carnauba wax. This is just a simple pour it in the bucket, put it on with a brush. Really Make easy. It shiny to do. and new. Sure. And you know, the longer you own the camper you'll figure that you're going to run into times when you see that this is just not doing as much of a job so once yep. a year you may want to grab a high quality wax okay. and put it on by hand okay um, it's definitely going to prolong the the finish of the rv yep for sure wonderful so. all right moving on down looks like we have pressure regulator water pressure regulator sure do Perfect. so i think yeah the the pressure regulator we want to talk about we see a lot of people with new rvs come in used it over the weekend and they bring it back and say you know i had this water leak underneath my kitchen sink or my bathroom my the connection on the back of my toilet was dripping and left a little you know a little bit of water on the floor over the weekend when i was camping um, we come to find out you know they, they weren't using a water regulator and the rvs are set up and tested for around 45 psi water pressure okay so that's another it's a not talked about maintenance item yep. that you can prevent yourself some cost of it's maintenance. good preventative maintenance exactly yeah. it's preventive maintenance so making sure that you're using a water regulator um, the right type of hose be sure you're using a water drinking safe hose okay when you're yep. when you're hooking up with your water system so and um, kind of along the same lines the water regulator I, I feel uh, something that a lot of people maybe just don't think about either is the um, like a surge guard mm -hmm. right like something to protect from from like a blackout or brownout causing damage to the the RV Mm -hmm. um, I, I've, I've talked to a number of people where, you know, especially on busy holiday weekends, where that could be a problem. I know we don't have one here, but, you know, when I think of pressure regulator, I, I automatically think of those two, right? Those are two things that are, in my mind, just simple, safe, preventative maintenance. Yep, absolutely. Keeping your RV safe the best you can. I mean, it, you know, if it did take a, a, a hit from, a, you know, from electricity, from a lightning storm or something, yep. um, so many electronics inside these campers nowadays to yeah, keep us are. connected to the uh, to the internet while we're camping so all that is very sensitive to any type of spikes in electricity so um you know we we do a ton of people that don't use them and they end up coming in and now we've got to do an insurance claim for storm damage and you know that that doesn't look very good after a while it turns into a pretty big big repair so sure sure <laughs> yeah all right sean and looks like lastly we have some sewer treatment it looks like yeah, so talking about storing it or when you're using it, um, there again, another mistake that a lot of RVers do with a new camper is they forget to use the chemicals and treat the tanks. Okay. So uh, one of the ones we've got here is gray water. Um, basically, this is for your tanks will be labored black and gray, and then you'll have a holding tank for your fresh water. Okay, yep. So the gray water odor control obviously is going to go into all... You may have multiple gray water tanks in your camper, depending on how many Bathroom areas you have. have. Correct. Yeah. So you're always going to want to follow the instructions on the can, but you're going to want to keep these tanks treated, whether you're using them or not. Okay. That's important, just whether you're using it or not. Exactly. Okay. And don't forget about doing the gray tank. Um, that's a big, a big one that's forgotten about. And then obviously the next thing is, is keeping the tank for your black tank keeping it treated yep. with a deodorizer at all times. That, yes. Done camping, you can dump the tank, put about three, four, five gallons of water in it, drop one of these in there, and that'll that'll keep it nice and fresh and deodorized while it's being stored. And, and that's a, another important uh, maintenance thing I feel a lot of people miss is that, 
you know, you're absolutely right, is they're done camping, they dump their tank thinking, you know, hey, I don't want anything in there, and then just leave it dry. And that's, like you say, not what you want to do. You want to put a little bit of water in there, put some freshener in there, make sure that it's helping deodorize the tank while it's being stored. Yep. And then the last product that we had uh, was what, were they, what they call probe cleaner. Um, all RVs now have uh, what they call tank probes mm -hmm. mounted in all the holding tanks so that it can tell the RV owner how much storage they have available in that tank. Okay. Now, over time, it's nice to add that additive, and it's, it is just that. It's just an additive to your regular treatment of the tank. Okay. So it's a good additive to put in um, every so often if... Uh, you know, if you are noticing a problem with your with your probes, don't seem to be working right. When you go to empty your tanks, 15 minutes later you go back and you hit the buttons. You know they were all empty, but you're still showing a third full. It's a common problem, right? Yep. Yep. Um, so you'd want to go ahead and treat your tank like you normally would. Fill it up to you know about third capacity or so, um, to where you can have water against that probe that may be reading wrong. Okay. So you want to get the water level above that with your normal treatment in it, and then add your probe cleaner to it the manufacturer's instructions on the size of the tank that you're going to be treating. Okay. Um, and that can just sit there while you while it's in storage or while you're camping. It should clear up your problem for you. Okay. If it doesn't, okay. you'll have to bring it into a service center. It could be a problem with a with a with the probe. Itself. Okay. So. That that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things. You know, when I, I show RVs, um, you know, I, I always talk about how nice it is to have a black tank flush for exactly that reason. You get everything stuck on there, but a lot of times, you know, campers just don't have them. They, not every camper has them. So that's definitely. Uh, cause like you said, it is a common issue getting that, you know, paper and stuff stuck on there. Yeah. I can definitely see where that'd be beneficial. Yeah. And really the last, really the last thing that we can think about if we're going to go into that storage season, mm -hmm. um, is properly winterizing the RV okay. at that point. Yep. And, you know, using the proper antifreeze, you, you want to make sure that you're dumping all of your, uh, your fresh water out of your fresh water tank. Um, you can use water water tank freshener actually for your fresh water tank. Okay. So you can use some of that when you go use it in the spring. Okay. Um, you can put some of that freshener in there, run it through, that'll freshen up your fresh water tank for the season. Okay. But make sure that's drained out, make sure your holding tanks are drained out, close them off just enough. We actually do make some storage uh, chemicals, so when you do store them for the year, okay. you can put a little bit in there. Um, and pour a little bit of antifreeze in there as well, but obviously it's not going to freeze rock solid and break anything because you're only putting a little bit in the in the actual holding tank. Sure. Um, making sure your fresh water system has antifreeze through it. Your water heater's been drained and bypassed. Okay. It's a huge, huge thing that people forget about. Is yep. They Bypassing don't, they it. They don't bypass it and empty it. Yep. You get very expensive. Um, and then obviously from there, making sure that you run the antifreeze through if you've got uh, a ice maker on your refrigerator, want to make sure that that's properly winterized. If you've got a washer and dryer in the unit, you want to make sure those are properly winterized. And you want to make sure that all the P-traps in the unit have enough antifreeze in them so there isn't water sitting into that into that loop of the of the trap where the drain is. Okay. Basically run it through, make sure everything's ready to go. That would be the last thing I could think of for maintaining the RV for the year. Got to make sure that's done or it can cost you a lot in this <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. All right, Sean, well, thank you very much. Uh, this kind of wraps it up. Like I said, it's always good to know the maintenance. You know, you're, you're getting a brand new RV. You want to make sure you take good care of it. A couple simple things and it'll last you a while. Yes, sir. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. Yeah. If you know about Camping World and Gander, then you've heard the name Good Sam. How about Good Sam Insurance Agency, one of our amazing partners? Listen, they specialize in RV insurance that can save you up to $321 a year. Your RV is more than a car. It's a house away from your home. You need things to protect you, and Good Sam Insurance Agency is going to do that for you. All you have to do is go to GoodSamRVInsurance.com to get somebody to take care of you. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, 
check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialists will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Hey guys, Kaylin and Melissa back at the Ultimate Campsite. We have been slaving away washing the campers. No, we haven't. We really haven't. Don't worry about it. But Melissa is going to show us how to properly wash our camper and prevent uh, oh, having to overwash in the future, right? Correct. Awesome. We don't need to wash our campers all the time. All right, so um, first off, you're going to want to concentrate on your roof first. Uh, I would say every three to six months, you're going to want to wash your roof you're gonna want it to last that 10 years that it's supposed to last. So what we have here today is gonna to be our rubber roof cleaner and conditioner. So I would start off with this. You're gonna to wanna to do it in not sun beaming down. Okay. So you wanna do it cooler weathers uh, and you're gonna to wanna to try and do all this in uh, one step. So don't stop, come back, just get it all done at once, knock it out. All right, so right here, like I said, we have our RB, RV rubber roof cleaner and conditioner. This is gonna be my step one. Okay, and your step one is a regular $12.99 on sale for the Ultimate RV Show at $9.44 and Good Sam members coming in at $8.97. All right, awesome, sounds good. Step two is gonna be your UV shield and protectant. This is what's gonna help that sun protect it. It's like putting sunblock on your skin. You're gonna put this on your roof. Oh, okay, so would, should I put this on even if my camper is covered most of the You're time? You're gonna wanna do this every time you wash. Every time I wash. Yes. And for the UV shield protection, it's a regular $14.99, $11.02 Ultimate RV Show price. And for our good Sam members, you get it for $10.47. Awesome, all right, so. Like when you're in the shower and you're washing your body, mm -hmm. you start from the head and you finish at the toes. So we're gonna, next step is gonna be our awning cleaner. You're always gonna wash your awning. If you're washing your roof, it's gonna run off. Let that awning out, wash it, spray it down really good, scrub it. It's gonna last longer. It's vinyl fabric. So this is washing and protecting. It's washing time? and protecting, yes it is. That's awesome. And the awning cleaner, regular price is $5.99, $4.49 for our Ultimate RV Show pricing and Good Sam members are at $4.27. All right, so next is gonna be the body of the unit. You're gonna to wanna to wash and wax. This is great, doesn't leave any film or residue on the RV. It's just like you would wash your camper, just like you're gonna wash your body. You're gonna to wanna to wash every part of it. Right, get you that good shine with the wax yes. as well. So the wax here is at $6.99 regular. 523 for the Ultimate RV Show promo price and 497 for Good Sam members. And then what do we have here at the end, the spray? So these are gonna be a little extra. Sometimes you're gonna notice that you start noticing black streaks. That's mm -hmm. gonna be from you washing your roof and not washing the body properly. Or if you parked under a lot of trees, sometimes it'll just get runoff. Um, as soon as you see a black streak on your unit, the best bet is for you to try to scrub it then. The longer it sits, the harder it is for it to come off. Uh, same thing with mildew stain remover. So um, black streak remover, I think we have a special one going on that right now. Yep, so the black streak remover is at 
Promo price is at $5.23 and Good Sam members get it for $4.97. That mildew is going to be the same price, $5.99, $4.49 for the promo price and $4.27 for Good Sam members. And guys, all of this stuff is featured in our Ultimate RV Show. So you can drop that word camp below, text camp to 32094 or give us a call at 866-235-8751 and uh, go wash your RV and we'll see you guys in a little bit. And welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. Elise here with my good friend, Sean Parr. Hi, oh, Sean. It's so good to be on stage with you. What? And being here at the Ultimate RV Show. How about this beautiful day? Uh, couldn't ask for better. But honestly, we've had like every season here. I at think the you're Ultimate right. RV Show. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, it's time for one more round. This will be the final round of RV or Speak 101. Are you ready? No. All right, yeah. here's your trivia question. Play along at home. I'll do this quick. What is a pusher? Sean. <laughs> Sean, first the reefer, now the pusher. Stop it. <laughs> a pusher, is it A, water pressure? We're talking RV or Speak. Okay. Is it B, someone who always wants to go camping? Okay. Is it C, Chris or Ian? It's that one. Or is it D, a motorhome that has the motor in the rear of the RV? Hmm. Honestly, even though I think it might be Chris and Ian, I'm going to go with D. I gave that away a little bit <laughs> earlier uh, in the session. I did mention of our uh, diesel pusher earlier, so that was oh. kind of your clue. Oh, gotcha. And you know what? It's time for another ultimate giveaway. Woo, another one. All right. We've got not one, but two $100 gift cards. I'll start with the winner and best supporting actress, <laughs> Carrie Keegan, Woo! is our first winner. She won a $100 gift card. And the second winner, uh, we're doing two right now? Two. Okay. Richard Helms, Woo! you just won a $100 gift card. Congratulations to both of you. Yay! Accepting the Golden Globe for the, I'm sorry, that would be <laughs> the whole show indeed. But we're going to toss, uh, uh, get ready for some fifth wheel action, Ooh, right? I love fifth wheels. Yes, you do. And we're going to talk about some very sophisticated, top of the line. And the guy, when you talk sophistication and top of the line, is our very good. own true. Chris Young, who is standing by right now to talk fifth wheels and classic styles. So much yes this segment is all about half ton fifth wheels which are going to be you know still those mid profile fifth wheels but they'll be just a little bit lighter weight for example the one that i'm in right now the 2021 forest river arctic wolf 291 rl this is a rear living fifth wheel can easily sleep three people dry weight on this one 11,455 pounds now if you got a super duty half ton truck might be able to tow it but let me go ahead and preface this segment with this. We have some of the best service professionals in the industry at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. If you have any question as to what your vehicle will tow, sure, we have a tow helper online, campingworld.com. Just check it out through ultimatervshow.com too. But bring your vehicle in. Our folks will test it out and they will tell you what you should tow. More importantly, they will walk you through some units that'll be right for you. For example, if you say, hey, I need a spacious opposing slide rear living fifth wheel, but you know, it's, it's just me, my spouse, maybe you know the, the kids might come along or the grandkids might come along or I might have the dogs with us. But more than anything, we want space and room to kind of do our thing. These, these half ton fifth wheels are gonna be perfect for that. I'm a fan of them because they are a little bit lighter weight. They're a little bit shorter than those, you know, big giant massive fifth wheels, but you're still talking about room, comfort, and convenience. This one right here, look at the price. Ultimate of resale price starting at $38,995 or as low as $284 a month. And you are packed with features. You're talking about a hotel stay. $284 a night, three people at a resort when you could have your resort with you. This Arctic Walk, this, this one is the limited package, so you're going to see a lot of features in it that you're really going to like. For example, right here on the island kitchen, I got my seamless countertop, beautiful light interior. I got the bright accents sprinkled in there, giving me that marble style appearance. Got the graphite matte black farmhouse style sink with the apron and the high rise su suspension faucet right there. Now we have a baggie on this because uh, Kev, I don't know if you can see there. 
You see that pink fluid right there? That's winterization fluid. Um, that's another thing that uh, when you get a chance to talk to your industry specialist or your service specialist, how to winterize, how to dewinterize, or let our folks handle it for you. That's always a good thing to do, you know, especially during the changes of the season. Because we're coming into fall, some people might be storing their RVs. That winterization is going to be really important. Solid wood construction all the way around. Just look at that ball bearing drives, full extensions down here. Easy to use. And I don't know if you can see in there, Kev, but this is actually backlit. You see there? Look, let me get my hands in there. Hang on. Let me do the bunny rabbit ears. There is a blue backlight down there. Very nice accent that when you're walking through here at night, let's say you want to go to the fridge, want to give me a drink, maybe I want to steal a snack because I hid the good Girl Scout cookies in those drawers over there. This is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna creep. I'm just gonna grab it and boom, I got myself a night light to go to town. Got me some storage down here as well. That accent light continues in there. I think that's a great touch. Or, because you know, you could just cut all the lights out. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom. Ba, 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 ba. Get your party going. Ba, 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 ba. Get the black lights going. Ba, 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 ba. You have yourself your own little dance party right here. Um, I mean, if that's what you want to do, you can. I'm just here to try to stroke the feathers of creativity for you. That's what I'd like to do. What can you do with your half ton fifth wheel? More of that seamless countertop space over here. I got myself a power port there, so if I want to make a coffee station, I could. Frosted glass inlay, solid wood shaker style cabinets all the way around. And if you're just joining us for the Ultimate RV Show, thank you so much. Uh, we have had almost a half a million people, over half a million people join us for the Ultimate RV Show. This is all about giving you an option to see some of the industry's newest and greatest RVs up close and personal, virtually, so that you don't have to get off your couch. You can always come in and see us, Camper Roy and Gander. We're open. Come on out. You'll get to see and touch things like the backsplash, which is also a cutting board. Love that option. Great feature. Got my contour microwave. Got my giant fridge here. Got another little coffee station or prep area. Dual USB charging ports, power ports there. Got the lit pantry. That right there is actually the cover for the uh, for the sink. It's a solid surface, so it looks like it goes all the way through. High storage in there. Some big storage in there. And once again, this is a <clears throat> half ton fifth wheel. And look at the room that I have. Look at the space that I have. Residential, roomy. You got. This is inviting, open, and just great spaces. If you go out and you spend time with the family or you just want to set up something that you can go to when it's time to do the seasonal camping, maybe you got land to do fishing on, maybe you got a spot down at the beach, you know, maybe you got a space reserved at Myrtle and you just want to go down there and hang out when the weather goes bad. Who knows? This is a great option for you as long as you don't need to sleep more than three people, but you may be expecting people to come visit you and hang out because you have all the open entertainment space. This right here is a trifold, comes out, I got a bed, can easily sleep two people there. Got my side over here, I got my notches, got my end tables, my side end tables, dual USB power ports there, power port. Got the zebra shades, and I really like these because it's kind of innovative. We can do kind of the mix, get a lot of light in. We can bring it down, get the privacy going, you know, or just open them all the way up. But I like how they did that. It gives you the options of however you want to do your, uh, your lights. <clears throat> and I said earlier mid-profile, I meant full profile, so I apologize about that. Frosted glass inlay there, shaker style cabinets here. Solid wood balances all the way around. LED accents that are residential. I got my Michael K collection recliners here that are plush and comfortable. Got the space right there for the remotes, the hideaways, got my cup holders. These kick out. You even have the lights, the little blue lights right there, plus massage and heat. And Kev, look, when we cut the lights on, you even get the blue accent light right there in the cup holder. Just goes right along with my little raise in the roof party as we go on up through here. <laughs> Speaking of raising the roof, they don't have to raise the roof 
because I'm six foot two and I still have clearance inside the slides. Another feature you should ask your specialist about when you get a chance to come in or if you text EZRV to 32094. Now, the prices are only going to end or only going to last through today the, at the Ultimate RV Show. This one starts at $38,995 or as low as $284 a month. Tons of features. Got my hanger right here, my power panel, my main control panel. So if I need to run the lights, the awnings, the whole nine, my Wi Fi, my heat, my air. Come in here, got a solid pocket door. Going into the bathroom, got the porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Beautiful residential style sink here with the brushed nickel fixtures. Got two storage spaces up here. Got my medicine cabinet, a regular cabinet. Look at that, look at the space there. That's where we would put the fishing tackle boxes and everything right there, yes sir. Forget the towels. My RV is used as a hunting and fishing cabin. Plain and simple. Got the almost indestructible shower curtain right there. Single surround shower. Got my corner notches, not gonna be cramped up and down, left or right, plenty of space. Even have some room down here if I need it. Pull a trash can right there. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's more about the experience. It's all about having the comfort, the style, the convenience, and just being able to just crash out. If you say, this is the RV that we're going to take to, I don't know, wherever you want to go. I mean, it's the safest way to see America. Let's say you're taking your kid to college. And you know you're going to be there for a couple of days because they got a bunch of stuff. You say, all right, you know what? Instead of just taking the truck, we're going to take the Arctic Wolf because you got so much stuff. I don't know how you accumulated all this stuff for us to take you up to college. I'm just glad you got in. So we're going to put it in the back of the fifth wheel. You got plenty of room, store it there, take it up there. Then you can stay in comfort while they're staying in those little college dorms that are like eight feet by eight feet. Meanwhile, you're sitting over here laughing going, I did that 20 plus years ago. Now you get to experience it. So enjoy that ride. But this is just a comfortable, good reconnection space. I got myself a blue LED backlight right there. It says relax, so I'm just doing what it's telling me to do. I got my corner notches over here, so if I need storage, I got a night shelf here. I got it on both sides. Plus, I got the frosted glass inlay for the ward storage. Here, Kevin, I'm gonna open this up for you so you can see. You got my storage shelf up here. Look at that. Got my power port and my connector charger there. And a solid drawer, that's solid wood construction, ball bearing drive, full extension. And look at the beveled edge that we have here, that rustic appearance, making it feel like we're out here in a cabin. Just those little features that really make this, you know, a, a nice camper. And over here, I got my TV mount, my cable hookup, my ward storage. Love it, man, love it. And the headroom that you have all the way over. That's the great thing about fifth wheels. Um, you get pretty much six more feet of usable space if you think about it, because the weight of a fifth wheel is distributed evenly into the bed of the truck. So with travel trailers, you know, your truck's here, travel trailer's there. They come together like this and tow like that. Your fifth wheel, if this is your truck, that cab, that front cap, is going over the bed of the truck. So the weight is more evenly distributed inside the bed. And the, and the half ton fifth wheels, if you're a first time RVer, or you're thinking the first time, hey, I got a three quarter ton, I could easily tow that, great. But first time entry, don't need a whole lot of room. Take a look at the half ton fifth wheels. You still get a ton of features, a ton of amenities. Still get the same great construction. Look at the big beautiful awning with the Solera arm that we have here with the adjustable pitch. Got myself some floodlights. I got LED backlights on my entertainment right here. Got the leash latch right there. So if I wanted to bring the fuzzy friends, absolutely could. Right there, check it out. So here in your magnetic storage, if you had some cables that needed to come out, you could put them through there. You got a little safe spot because right here is your cable TV hookup and your power located inside the ducted pass-through storage that is finished off with its own LED light. Plus, we have that magnetic anti-slam on these latches. Got my propane tank right here. 
Here's the front cap that I was talking about. And you know, these Rhino boxes, with those fifth wheel hitches, they're easy, you know, they're easy to go in. These are sturdy and secure, and you're not gonna get that chucking and bucking when you're going down the road. Then the turning radius with a fifth wheel gives you so much more turning radius versus a travel trailer. Painted end cap right here with the LED lights. Come around to the off camp side, and this is just really where we have the other side of our pass-through storage. All of our connections, satellite, water, the whole nine, as well as my terminations down here, wastewater tank, whole nine. But look, here at the Ultimate RV Show, I wish we would have time to show you all the features of every camper out here. It would make life you know, easy for you. But that's why we've come up with Easy RV. If you text Easy RV to 32094, drop me a comment down below, Easy RV. Let me take a look. Tell me that just doesn't look nice. The full black right there just looks good going down the road, looks good setting up. You got the amenities, you got great insulation. Let your specialist walk you through and give you all the features and the amenities that are inside these half ton fifth wheels. For example, this one is the 2021 Forest River Arctic Wolf 291 RL, starting at $38,995 or as low as $284 a month. Dry weight on this one is 11,455 pounds. Fun, functionality, comfort, and style all come together in these. And this segment is all about the half-ton fifth wheels. Hang on, the Ultimate RV Show is going to continue here in just a few minutes. I'm going to go find another one to show you that I bet you're going to like. But until then, text Easy RV to 32094. Hey guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite. I'm here with Ian, and uh, we had lots of time to get very comfy in our, <laughs> yes. in our RV furniture. Uh, so we're gonna uh, show you guys a little bit about these pieces that we have out here, and at any point during our spiel, feel free to drop that word camp below in the comments or text that to 32094 or give us a call at the 866-235-8751. What you got over there, bud? All right. So definitely some very comfortable pieces here. Um, this is with the Heritage Line. Right over to the side is the theater seating. Now, what you'll notice is that all these pieces are individual. It's modular, which is awesome because it gives you the freedom and flexibility to make it fit your own space. Uh, we have the right armrest right here with the center console. If you wanted the left, you can certainly have that too. If you don't want the center console, you can have just a right and just a left and hook them together. They do have connections here as well, so they do hook together. I know that's a big sticking point for me. I hate having it when my modular pieces will you know, come apart when you go to sit down in it. It's a big pet peeve of mine, so I love that they do connect. This particular one is in the walnut color. Uh, you'll see that it has a kind of chase style footrest. And what I mean by that is that you don't have like the big space here. The whole thing is covered so that you have support across the entire footrest, which is awesome. Uh, kind of has the, the two-tone stitching, which I like as well. So it kind of makes that pop a little bit with the, with the walnut color. And it is a wall hugger. And so what that means, let me kind of show you here. If you take a look at the back, when we lay this down, it only comes back a couple inches. So if you take a look, if this is the back of your sofa, this is all the further it needs to be away for you to fully recline. So just, you know, four inches or so, and this chair will fully recline. Uh, so that way, again, if you have a little bit smaller space, it makes it super convenient. Also, the back right here is removable. So again, if you need to take this in and out of the RV, if you're replacing current RV furniture, you can get this one in there because that back does come off so you can carry it in as two pieces. You have some cup holders right there. Pretty obvious what those are for. And with the center console, you'll also see that you have the big space for your remotes, whatever else you want to toss down in there. When we're talking about pricing on this piece for your arm, whether it's a right arm uh, or a left arm, you're looking at $639 is the standard pricing. We're, with the special we're running this week with the Ultimate RV Show, it's $457.36. And if you're a good SAM member, you can pick it up for $434.50. The center console piece right here is normally $199. The promo price is $137.86. And again, if you're a good SAM member, this one is $130.97. 
So excellent deal that we're running on right there. And as Kalen mentioned, you can call, you can text, or you can comment to be able to take advantage of that pricing. Then right here, what I'm sitting on, Kalen, is a trifold, and I love trifold sofas. They're super comfortable. Uh, this one is the tan color, so a little bit lighter. Wanted to give you a couple different colors so you're able to see what fits your RV best. Uh, the trifold, if you haven't seen one before, I'll show you real quick just how fast and easy it is to make up the bed. Your back cushions are removable. Uh, you'll notice they have a kind of a felt backing with Velcro, so that way they stick to it nice and easy. And then with the trifold, you just lift this one up, you'll pull it out just like that. You see you have a couple legs, drop the legs down, and then it's as simple as taking the back piece, flipping it down just like that, and folks, there you go. Now you have a bed, it's nice and comfortable. To give you an idea of length, I am six foot tall. As you can see, if I put a pillow here, my legs hang off just a tiny bit, but it's very comfortable, much more comfortable than your traditional pullout. And if you have two adults, you can easily sleep two adults here, which is fantastic. Uh, if you're looking to replace a sofa, if you have an old uh, kind of regular style, you know, where you have the pullout mattress, you'll, your friends, family, everyone will thank you for switching to a trifold. As far as pricing on this one, regular, you're looking at $1,309. We're running the special right now for the show. It's $954.70. Or if you're a good Sam member, you can get a brand new trifold sofa for $906.97. Kaylin, I take got it the, away over there. I got the cool one with the buttons. Oh, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> I got a massage chair here. It's a full Heritage 360 swivel with the massage. So uh, we don't have it powered up here at the ultimate campsite but i do have a re remote and you have a timer option you've got a strength option um and you can change your positioning so chilling in a massage chair that's nice now is yeah. that one a rocker as well it is a rocker okay. and i also have took you by surprise <laughs> got some power on that one it does <laughs> i have a full foot rest here as well and uh the pricing on this one oh and it has a removable back just like the others yes Pricing on this is regular six nineteen, which for this, I mean, this is a plush, nice leather, comfy that chair. That's a good price. But we have it on sale for the Ultimate RV Show at four forty nine forty four, wow. and the Good Sam members are going to get it for four twenty six ninety seven. That's a steal. It is a steal. And I, I like the dark walnut color personally. I I think it again, it fits great in a lot of different RVs. Yeah, I think because. It doesn't even look bad. The stitching matches this. So even if you wanted to kind of mix and match inside yep. your RV, give it some yep. depth, feng shui. <laughs> I like I it. I know you're all about it. <laughs> and uh, guys, don't forget, you can drop that word camp below for any of these products that you see here or text camp to 32094 or give us a call at the 866-235-8751. Has this furniture been featured in any of the RVs that you've kind of walked through? Uh, it has been in a few, absolutely. Yep, very common. Uh, a lot of RV manufacturers put it in there because they know the quality. Uh, the Thomas Paine name is definitely something that uh, kind of resonates throughout the RV industry. So people definitely know it. Yeah, awesome. Well guys, we're all wrapped up here. I think we might stay comfy for yeah. a little bit. It's cooling it's down. Oh, have cooling a good night. Bye. I'm done. <laughs> Would you look at, boy, what in the world? Boy, look at this, boy. Look at this, look, I thought this was the TV. Oh, hey, what's up everybody? Chris Young, back at the Ultimate RV Show, discovering the luxury and opulence of half-ton fifth wheel pickups. You know, like my buddy Ian has said many times about half-ton fifth wheels, these are made so that they can hopefully be towed by a half-ton pickup truck. And you know, manufacturers try to do that. They're made a little bit lighter, but they're also made a little bit shorter because there are some states that will allow you to train vehicles behind your truck. So for example, with this one, if you got a boat, you could pull that through. You know, and I'm gonna tell you now, nothing screams, I'm gonna have myself a good time more than a big old truck pulling a fifth wheel, pulling a boat. I'm following those people right there because they know what's going on. We are standing inside the 2021 Jayco Eagle HT 28.5 RSTS. This one is just a smidge over 33 feet, can easily sleep five people, and the dry weight on this one, 10,130 pounds. Half ton fifth wheel. 
Sprite, the price for this one starts at $46,995 or as low as $342 a month. But the thing with the half-ton fifth wheels, sure they're going to be a little bit smaller, but you are not going to lose out on the space, the style, and the comfort. It's just, you're not going to be able to sleep, you know, seven, eight people like you would if you had a bunkhouse. Now, there are some bunkhouse mid-profile fifth wheels, which you can easily find if you text Easy RV to 32094, or just leave us a comment down below, Easy RV. We have people standing by, industry specialists, that'll walk you through virtually any unit that you want to see. They say, yeah, man, I want one of those rear living fifth wheels, but can I get one with the kitchen on one side? And But yeah, sure. Over 25,000 RVs, just let them walk you through it. They'll take care of the finance for you. They'll take care of bringing it to you. If you got a trade, they'll even go get your trade and bring it back. Plain, simple, and easy. But if you're like me and you say, Chris, I want to come in and I want to check out the Stacey Stewart Pillow Top features, guess what? You can, because we are open. Over 150 locations out there. Look how plush and comfortable and soft that is. Go ahead and squeeze it, Kev. Can you hold the camera and squeeze it at the same Ooh, time? Look at that. Look at look, there. Look how comfy that is. That's just a good night's sleep right there. Oh, it's like I'm hugging grandma. Mmm, mmm, you gonna make me some mac and cheese? When you got space, style, and comfort, plus the look at these giant panoramic windows that we have here. Open that up, you get the cross breeze going. We even have the decorative valances here. It feels like leather and, well, I was about to say lace, leather and cloth down here. Frosted glass inlay, shaker style cabinets with the brushed nickel fixtures, strut supported. Very nice feature, because when you're loading stuff in, sometimes you need both hands. But just take a look at the roominess, how beautiful this is, the rustic cabin style feel that we have here. It's almost like an old Southern cabin. The distressed look, the ivory with the dark accent. Love how Jayco did the 2021 models. Over here on the off camp side is where we have our slide that has the very comfortable plush pillow top recliners. Oh man, this feels good. And, oh, I mean, sorry, I was just gonna knock out for a couple of minutes. Look, this is tough, man. When you are going around and you're sitting in some of the best, most beautiful RVs that have ever been made, and you sit down on these comfy chairs and they are plush and they are soft and you have massage and you have heat and you have the USB charging ports. And I got myself little accent lights under here. I mean, Got, I can charge my phone, get a massage, watch TV, enjoy the fireplace, open up the windows, I'm gone. This is a sleeper. This is where dad can sleep, kids can sleep wherever else they want. Time to reconnect and have those meals. Take a look at my decorative chairs that come with this Jayco Eagle. Look at that. Got the flower pattern, got the back cover. If I wanna sit here and enjoy the sunrise, sip my coffee with my loved one, and just talk about the activities for the day, maybe what we're gonna do with the kids, or maybe you just decided, you know what, we're gonna take the kids on the road, and we are tired of having to homeschool them. We are now gonna incorporate getting out and seeing America the safest way possible, and the homeschooling all together. By buying our own RV, and enjoying the creature comforts of home while out on the road. Take a look at the decorative glasses that we have here. LED lights, residential style and appeal. I even have some angled storage up above where I was sitting over there with the recliners. Got me a pantry right here. Love this tinted privacy glass into, oh, it's locked. Hey man, we need to get in there, can you? Can you, okay, never, oh, oh, you are? Okay, all right, so that's Elvis. Um, he's hiding, I didn't know that he was gonna be here at the Ultimate RV Show, but that's pretty awesome. So when we're done here, I'm gonna hang out and oh, we'll get me a little autograph. Come over here because we do have the opposing slides. We have ourselves an island kitchen. Seamless countertop, got the stainless steel double bowl sinks, brushed nickel high rise faucet with that sprayer handle. You see so much of this inside of new RVs, but here's the bottom line. Like Stone Cold said, 
If you text Easy RV to 32094 or leave me a comment down below, Easy RV, we have people standing by that will go through all these options for you. Explain why they're there. Explain what it means. What can my truck tow? Bring it in, let our folks take a look at it. Then let them walk you through the options that you need to make your camping experience the best that it can be because that's what it's about. Got my seamless countertop over here as well. Got the flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass style cover right there. LED accent lights, got the large oven, plus got my pot and pan storage down here. Got the solid wood cabinetry here, solid wood built, got the full extension ball bearing drives. Chris, why is that so important? Solid wood construction is important anyway, right? I mean, it's good to have. Plus, when it's on that ball bearing drive, look how easy it is to open and close. I mean, this makes life so much easier. It's not just wood on wood. Another great feature that you should have. Got that tinted glass in here. Got me some storage up top. Right in here. We got the hangers there. Plus we got the shelves, got a little mudroom storage. And we do have a pantry over there. It's just, you know, Elvis is holding the door, so we're gonna let him be. You know, just a hound dog. Come up the walk here, got a solid handle to make my way up into the main living area or the front cap area of this uh, half ton fifth wheel. Solid pocket door and look, even that leather finish continues right here. Small features that make this inviting and warm. Love what Jayco did here. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Got my hangers right here. Got my ceiling fan. If I need to turn things out, over here in my Neo Angle shower with the solid glass doors, not gonna be cramped. Got the skylight right there giving me natural light. Plus, I got a little blue LED accent light in here. Close that, you can have yourself a good private shower. Plenty of room, I'm not crowded left or right or up and down. We also have seamless, uh, beautiful residential style flooring right here. And as far as air conditioning goes, you got a 35,000 BTU furnace in here, 15,000 BTU air conditioner with Whisper Quiet. It's actually running right now. Whisper Quiet, Whisper Quiet is great. It's something I probably will never be. Backsplash right here, which is solid. Got my mirrored medicine cabinet. Once again, you're beginning to see a lot of these come out. Um, got the back lighting back there. I call it the old school where it looked like the old style medicine cabinets that's almost in a picture frame, but it's just a regular medicine cabinet. I, I just love how residential and nice that looks. Plus we got the undermounted sink, which means you don't have the sink sitting on top of the countertop where that caulking is. It can get dirty, it can be scraped up, you know, come loose the whole nine. It's under the countertop, it's not going anywhere. Easy to clean, you can just wipe everything off. Got the brush nickel fixtures here, my power ports, got my handle right there for my towel, and that distressed look, that rustic look is gonna continue all the way through this, even here in the bathroom. Now, this layout, these, these rear living layouts are, you know, they are really good for entertaining because you can get a lot of people back there just kind of hanging out. You know, but when it's time for somebody to go and, you know, hey, Kev, I appreciate you coming by, man. It's good seeing y'all. I think I'm gonna turn in now. You know, the, the polite way of saying, get out. Um, they could knock out back there. You know, you still got room. But your space, your sanctuary is always the master bedroom. When you're looking at those rear living floor plans, sure, you're thinking about the fun you can have back there, the space you can have back there. Oh, we got sleeping rooms for the kids. Kitchen master bedroom, and bathroom. Focus on those, then focus on the entertainment space. Because when you walk into the master bedroom, you want it to be a place that you can call your sanctuary. Just take a look right here. We got our own AC back here. I have the angled ward storage that's mirrored. Got my lights on both sides. Plus, I got my dual USB charging ports and my LED accent lights. So, if I wanted to cut off the main lights and leave the LED accent light, I could. I got some storage space down here. Hi, my hideaway. Got plenty of space right there, so if I want to put a CPAP machine, I could. 
And right over here in the slide is my mirrored wardrobe that is split into the bathroom because there's a closet here as well. Mirrored door right there with the ward. Got the bar right there to hang my stuff. And I got my prep space right here. But imagine sitting up with a cup of coffee. Just kind of hang, because you know sometimes you don't leave the bathroom, the, uh, the bedroom, you know, right away. Got your cup of coffee, got the window up, and you're just looking out. Or maybe it's night, and you're just watching the moon or the sunset. Just kind of hanging out. Or maybe you need to write a letter. When's the last time you wrote a letter? Why not? Do, why not? It's your RV. Do whatever you want to. I still write letters because I'm not good at typing. And that's solid wood construction, full extension. Got plenty of storage space. But your sanctuary, you got access to your bathroom. You got access to the living area as well. So if somebody needed to come in and use a the restroom, they're not going to wake you up and vice versa. You have, you know, your private separation of space. You want to put a TV up? Got your backer right there with 12 volt option. There's your cable and sat connections and your power. Got my vents right here. Just beautiful. This one also has a fully and heated and closed underbelly in it as well. So half ton fifth wheels. Lighter, shorter, you can do more with it, except for when I'm trying to walk out, which is probably why Jayco knew I was gonna, was gonna do that. Got the solid grab handle right here. Extra large grab handle here. Awning with the LED light strip. I got my diamond plate on my pass-through storage right here. Got my lights, my cable connection. If I wanna set up a TV, I could. Have my power ports there, my Furion dual zone speakers. Power leveling jacks, spray port, anti-slam, magnetic. And right here, the, the, the fifth wheel, the molded end cap just means you're gonna have really good construction. Whenever you see that, that means this thing was really well made. Plus you got the welding right there. Got myself, come on now, come on now. There it is, get that out of there. Saw that dripping, just had to get that out of there. Now, with the fifth wheel hitches, this is where that turning radius comes into play that I was talking about before. You know, you got truck to bumper on the travel trailers, fifth wheel, the weight's distributed inside the bed of the truck. This is gonna help with that turning radius, and this is taken into account by the manufacturers when they're setting up these half-ton fifth wheels so that you can try to tow them with a half-ton truck. Everything is taken into account when it comes into that weight. How do we make it safe? How do we make it usable? Beautiful painted fiberglass end cap here. Got my external command center right here, and I love how Jayco does the color coding. Got your green, your blues, they tell you how to do everything, how to do the combinations. Got your termination controls here. Got your outside shower there. Got my amp plug right here. This is a double axle fifth wheel and those 15 inch aluminum wheels with the Dexter Easy Loop axles. But look, I'm not, gonna get, I'm not gonna get a chance to go through everything I'd love to show you on this, but trust me, if you want style, space, and comfort, you wanna be able to, to go out and just enjoy the country, check out the Eagle HT 28.5 RSTS. Starting right now, $46,995 or as low as $342 a month. Ultimate RV show pricing ends today. So text Easy RV to 32094 to get in on it because you don't want to miss it. Traveling down the road, tire issues occur more often than you think. And you don't always know about it until a good Samaritan flags it down, resulting in thousands of dollars in damage and trouble to your trip. Introducing the Tire Minder Tire Pressure Monitoring System with external sensor, signal booster, and bright color monitor. This system wirelessly alerts you of any tire issue instantly. Winner of Reader's Choice Awards in Trail Life and Motorhome Magazine. Located in beautiful Stewart, Florida. Tire Minder. Peace of mind for the road ahead. Chris Young, thank you so much talking about that amazing fifth wheel and of course the way he talks about everything. I mean, we want to buy every single thing because there's so many different models, so many styles to choose from. And as we stand here in the midst of history, no. Morgan. Breathe it in. Oh my goodness. Over half a million people have tuned in in the last five days for the biggest virtual RV show ever. I mean, it's almost like you could say the ultimate RV show. And it was indeed. <laughs> Past five days have been jam-packed full of camping and RV information. 
You could buy up all of these RVs, so many in stock. And if you missed out on anything, we've got these videos on demand. Over 50 videos of your favorite RVs. You could go check it out on demand. Just go to ultimatervshow.com to check it out. You know, we started with over 25,000 RVs at the beginning of the week, and we thought to ourselves, okay, well, that's a lot of amazing the manufacturers and the different styles and the Class Cs and the Class As and the fifth wheels and the travel trailers and, and some of the most popular segments. And then we talked about, you know, different merchandise and all the, you know, from the Coleman bikes to the go-karts to the, all the gift cards that we've given away. I mean, this truly is a piece of history, and I can't tell you folks how much it means to all of us at Camping World, at Gander RV and Outdoor, that we just love every single one of you. It's been amazing to see the love of what America loves to do most. See the highways across America, especially with your families, especially as uh, things going on. It's the safest way to see America, too. Definitely. And what I love most is that the manufacturers, they're listening to you, the comments, Absolutely. everything. And it's paying off. You know what we're going to do right now? What's that? First, we're going to text EZRV to 32094 if you have a question. Second, we're going to go talk to our hardest working man in show business. Chris Young, what you got? I love the Keystone Cougars. That's why anytime somebody says, where's Chris at? A good chance is you can say Chris is somewhere hiding inside of a Cougar. Because take a look at the 2021 Keystone Cougar 24 RDS. This one Mid-profile, half-ton, sleep six, dry weight, 10,000 pounds, even starting at $35,995 here during the Ultimate RV Show, or as low as $262 a month. I am sitting in the rear portion of this. The RDS stands for rear dining. Rear living, rear dining. The only difference is where they're going to put the table. If the table's up against the back wall, chances are it's going to be a rear dining unit. And you can always tell by the letters. But let me tell you, as we're coming to an end here to the Ultimate RV Show, if you have any questions about any of the units that you have seen here during the stream, checking anything out, if you want to come by the stores, please, by all means, text EZRV to 32094. Leave us a comment, EZRV, or give us a call, 866-853-3510. Because we have industry specialists standing by right now to walk you through all of these features and a whole lot more. They are there to help you and to answer your questions. Now, I want you to come on this journey with me of entertainment. We are sitting here enjoying space that could easily fit four to six people when you want to eat. Maybe you're out at the baseball game. Maybe it's a traveling soccer league. Maybe it can be whatever you want. You want the comfort and convenience of home on the road with quality construction. You have found it, my friend. And at 10,000 pounds towing weight, I might have just stumbled upon your golden egg. Take a look at this beauty. Large panoramic windows, wood blinds, solid wood balances. Yes, wood blinds, very residential, very beautiful, very appealing. Comfortable plush cushions on this. Plus, this will reduce down and turn into a sleeper. Can easily fit two people here. I mean, shoot, as big as that is, you could probably get the baseball team there. Frosted glass inlay here on my shaker style cabinets, brushed nickel fixtures. Take a look at my storage space. And the accents that we have here, the backing, the color scheme, the light on the dark, gives this a very modern look, a very, what I like to call, clean and dynamic look. Got my speakers mounted into the roof, as is my AC. Now, their AC, um, the way they have it ducted, this goes for uh, the, in, the in line and in the roof of the AC. Right here, Fritz, check it out. We have what's known as a quick cool dump. So if it's hot out here like it is right now, we cut the AC on, boom, you drop that and that cold breeze comes out. Oh, Fritz is smiling. Now, close it up, it's now gonna go through the vents. You want the dumps on both, boom. Now everything's coming out right here. But you get the options and they've taken the, this racetrack style system that we're gonna see here. You can't really see it because it's under the floor, but like in our vents, the ducting, they've taken these tough lock joints and they've put it in between all of the ducting so that you're not gonna get the soft spots in the floor, you're not gonna get the crushing of the ducts, and that air is gonna be distributed way more equally, way more efficiently than you know most campers that you run into. Right over here on the off-camp side, oh, hey girl, I got myself a plush recliner. 
that has the pillow top. If you take a look, when I say the pillow top, what I mean is they've taken an already comfortable plush recliner and they've added a couple of inches of soft foam on top of it. So that, you know, if you do have to end up spending some time here, maybe I just want to enjoy the fireplace or maybe, you know, I got some folks here just hanging out. This table is removable, so you can take it outside. Uh, you can use it in here. Plus, you'll see it has the suspension there. That's what drops down and becomes the bed portion of this U-shaped dinette. But you can also take it outside and use it outside. But let's say we just have it sitting here and we're playing Pictionary or whatever game you play. And I'm just chilling. I got my cold one right here. Everybody's laughing, having a good old time. Time to go. Lights are out. Party's over. I got myself a dimmer switch right here that we can use, cut the lights on, cut them off, side them on, cut them off. Love the option to bring the lights up and down as you need, because you already got giant panoramic windows right here letting in natural light. Open this window up, open this window up, extend this bad boy out. Ooh, I just cut the air conditioning on. That's nice. Now granted, they go out further than that, but I don't want to kick Fritz in the knee. You got a good night's sleep coming if that's how you like sleeping. And take a look at that. You see the light under there, Fritz? Check it out. We got ourselves a LED light strip under there as well. Now, over here on the campsite, solid surface countertop. Look, we have that molded edge. Once again, residential and very clean, very modern, very dynamic. Plenty of prep space here. Got a large campsite window. Got my Furion AM FM control center with the CD DVD dual zone. Got my dual USB charging ports right there and my LED backlit fireplace. 5100 BTUs or 5500 BTUs on that one actually. Got multiple flame settings, multiple light settings. That will kick out the air, it has a little blower right here. That'll knock the chill out of the air in a heartbeat. Got my TV on a swivel. Got that residential style crown molding up top. And right here in my kitchen, I got myself a bowl of baby taters. Right now, people on the stage are laughing at this. That's an inside joke right there. I love it, absolutely love it. Flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover and the residential style backsplash. Got the backlit LED right here. Man, let me tell you what, when it comes to style, convenience, and just overall flow, Keystone nails it every time. I mean, just take a look at this kitchen. Take a look at this space. I could be here. Friends could be there. Friends are there. I got a friend right here holding the camera and we are not crowded. We're moving around. We're having fun. I got frosted glass, shaker style cabinets. Yeah, man, hang on. I got another glass for you. Got the drying rack, the cutting board, the 50-50 stainless steel undermounted sink, brushed nickel high rise faucet. This is for the family, the couple that wants to get out and wants to go in style. And since our insulation gives us a rating of a zero to a hundred degrees, I mean, that's, that's technically four seasons camping. I put that in air quotes, because if you live in Antarctica, that's not four seasons camping. If you are dredging across the equator, that's not four seasons camping. But if you're in Ohio, Michigan, Arizona, New York, Florida, North Carolina, you can get four seasons camping out of zero to 100. As always, talk to your industry specialist about where you're going to take your RV, what you need to do with it, what you want to do with it. That's gonna help them point you in the right direction of which style you should get. Everything from insulation to weight. If you need a half ton fifth wheel, you want something like this. I gotta tell you, man, can't be beat. 2021. Keystone Cougar 24 RDS rear dining half ton fifth wheel starting at $35,995 or as low as $262 a month. I cannot stress enough. Run, do not walk to your local camping world, your local gander, or text EZRV to 32094 right now to get these deals. This is it for the Ultimate RV Show. Today is the day. So if you've been thinking about being on the fence with over half a million people tuning in to watch it and only 25,000 pieces of RV material love out there, odds are pretty good somebody else is looking at what you want to look at. So get on, on it. 
10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo right here. The Dometic runs on both gas and electric with the automatic switch. Plenty of pantry space as well. Let me grab this real quick. We're going to head up to the bathroom and the master. And right away, you're going to see that continuation of the, the clean, the, the style, the, the, the modern, the dynamic, all the way through the single surround that we have here with the bench seat. And I mean, look, I got a place to sit down. I want to shave my legs, go to town. I can do that. Got my stainless steel all the way around, including the nozzle and the handles here. Glass doors for my shower. I got the big skylight with the clear inlay. I got my AC storage here. Look, half ton, just because it's a little bit shorter, doesn't mean you're going to be giving up any features. With the fifth wheel, you're still getting those premium features that you would get on a regular giant fifth wheel. It's just now with the half tons, they're a little bit lighter, they're a little bit shorter. So if you do want to train something, maybe you want to pull a trailer with a golf cart on it or a boat, you can do that behind your fifth wheel in some states. You know, exclusions apply. Towel rack right here, mirrored medicine cabinet right there, stainless steel brushed nickel appliances all the way around, and the beautiful giant bowl sink right there, got a little storage spot underneath too. Let's see here, Fritz almost scooped by you. So we get into the master. Another thing you're gonna see a lot of with the half tons, to give you more space up here in the living area, they're gonna include the mirrored wardrobe right there. And check out the drawers that I have. Bada bing, bada boom. Got my shelf space right there. Got my dual USB charging ports. Got my power ports. Got my area for my nightstand. So if I need to set up a CPAP machine or a reading light, got the option to do this. This is a walk around. Got the ward storage on both sides. Got that there for some storage with the frosted glass inlay. Got my TV backer over here with my cable and satellite connection, the key TV connection. Key TV is really cool. That's just where they combine all the sources into one so you're not chasing cables. And then underneath the bed platform is the strut supported storage. Now there's no bed on this one. Um, you know how we had the power hour last night, Ian and I were in the boxing ring. Uh, we needed something soft for us to bounce up and down on out there. And well, we just decided to borrow a bed real quick. I guess we'll have to bring it back. We will. So if you want this one, we'll bring you a bed in it. That's fine. Starting at $35,995 or as low as $262 a month for the all new 2021 Keystone Cougar 24 RDS. If you like this floor plan, you like this layout, but you don't like maybe how the U shaped dinette is in the back. Maybe you want the rear living style of this with the big old couch back there and the booth dinette over here. We have over 25,000 pieces for you to choose from. Just text Easy RV to 32094. Drop me a comment, Easy RV. We will have one of our industry specialists walk you through or you can come by see us but let me tell you these prices for the ultimate rv show are not going to last there you go fritz i got the door for you let me tell you kudos to our guys here too because when you're talking about walking through an rv i mean take a look now it's 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 an rv so i only have this much space my man fritz is walking backwards with a 315 pound camera on his shoulder kudos to him for being able to do that just a beautiful unit inside and out, and a beautiful cameraman, my man Sam out here as well. Seamless safety glass that's tinted all the way around this one, and I like how they ran the awning all the way down the side of the camper from the end cap to the end with the LED light under here. Got the double axle, travel trailer, 15 inch aluminum wheels with those Dexter Easy Lube extra wide suspension. Finished off and heated pass through storage in here. Just take a look at the room that you have there. So even if you did need to set this up, you got, you know, kayaks or whatever, you know, chairs, beach chairs, towels, whatever you need to do, bada bing, bada boom, throw it in there. Heated and enclosed underbelly with heating pads on the water tanks. Another option that you saw that, right? Almost whammed it. We're about to have some fun here in a minute. Heated, heated tank pads are another great option that you should talk to your industry specialist about because if you live in a cold area and you're traveling through something that's going to be extremely cold, those water tanks could freeze. 
That's something you do not want to have happen. So write that down. Ask them about it. Is that important? Here's where I'm planning on going. No question is going to be a bad question when it comes to making sure you get the best RV humanly possible. The Ultimate RV Show is all about you being able to see just a sample of these beautiful RVs. Just in these five days, we've been able to show you just barely over a hundred brand new RVs. Yes, and we have 25,000 of them in our over 150 locations at Camping World in Gander. So you can do some searching, you can have some fun, but more importantly, with over half a million people tuning in right now, chances are if there's one out there that you want to see, somebody else is gonna be looking at it too. So text EASYRV to 32094 right now, or drop me a comment down below, EASYRV, or give me a call, 866-853-3510. Do not miss the boat. This is your chance. The Ultimate RV Show is all about you finding your dream camper and getting what you want to have the best camping experience that you absolutely could. If you want a fifth wheel, you want something that's gonna have the road armor hitch on it with the rubberized pivoting head so you're not chucking and bucking, ask your industry specialist to give you that. We will get it for you. And if you got a trade, we will come get it and deliver the new one to you. Ultimate RV Show, we are having so much fun and it's going to continue with some RV covers right now. Caitlin and Melissa and Scott and Christian back here at the Ultimate Campsite. We've got some helpers helping us out with this segment. Uh, so we're going to show off our Camco RV covers. Melissa, which covers are we looking at here today? So today here we have our Ultra Shield and then we have our Pro Shield. So a lot of people would ask, you know, what's the main key factors of difference in these two? Um, what I can tell you, the Ultra Shield is for all weather, rain, sleet, snow. So if you're further up north, this is something you're going to want to look into getting. The Pro Shield, it does the rain and the weather, but it's also the main protection is for UV. So if you're down here in the south and you know that sun can beam down, you're going to want to protect that roof. So the Pro Shield's really great for you. Scott and Christian are uh, putting on an Ultra Shield for us today to show us how to do that. So you can see they're just walking it back. And uh, I wanted to let you guys know, of course, we're running all of these awesome promotional prices for the Ultimate RV Show. We we have the Ultra Shields starting out at four five seventy eight ninety one, and our good Sam members are actually getting five percent off of all of our prices through the Ultimate RV Show. So just keep that in mind. And uh, the promo prices on all of the covers um, are starting at three oh eight. 38. Uh, these are all the Camco covers, all the different sizes that we have in the Pro Shield and Ultra Shield. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you get a lot of questions about measuring the RV. Yes, so you're not going to want to go by what's in the book, what it says that the length of your RV is. You're going to want to physically get out there and measure it. So you're going to want to have a helper with you. You're going to want to measure from the front to the very back of the unit. If you have a ladder or if you have tanks on the front, you're going to want anything you want under that cover, you're going to want to measure from point A to point B. And that's the length. If you fall between sizes, you're going to want to always go up they do come with cinching on the sides, so if it is a little loose, you can tighten it up. So we have our straps here. As you can see, the, that's what the guys are doing now. It also has underbelly straps, so it'll connect under, that's how it stays on. Oh, okay, so whenever the wind picks up again out here that was knocking our flags down a moment ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna take the RV cover out. It's not. Mm -hmm. And if you ever, if you if you wanna go into the camper and get something out of there, cause throughout the season, you, you might forget that you left something in there that you need inside the house. Um, on the sides of it, it's gonna have zippers, panels. So that way you can still access your RV. Oh, because I always- taking the, the cover off of com completely. I always leave something somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and so the ventilation on the sides? Yes, it's got ventilation so that it lets that moisture out. You don't have to worry about mildew or mold or anything. 
So it's covered air vents. They help prevent that moisture. And then, like I said, you got the front and rear cinching and then the underbelly. Okay, awesome. So uh, once again, our promo pricing for all of these Camco covers is going to start at 308 38. Uh, if you drop the comment camp below or text camp to 32094, uh, we'll get a specialist with you and they can kind of walk you through any questions that you may have about measuring your camper. And also give us a call at the 866-235-8751. Scott and Christian have done such a great job covering our, our RV for us. Today. They have. Yes something we can sit back and relax now for the rest of the season. Yeah, and that's also gonna cut down the temperature in that thing for so long. That's protect that great. roof, yeah. key factor, you wanna protect your roof. Oh yeah, because the beams are getting a little serious out here. So yes, <laughs> we'll see you guys again in a little bit. And don't forget, drop your comment, give us a text, give us a call for your Camco cover. The Coleman 17B is the most affordable, family-friendly RV on the market. Made right here in America, the 17B can comfortably sleep fine, features many high-end amenities, and can be towed by your SUV. Starting at only $98 a month, it's no wonder the first thousand sold out in just 30 days. The hottest RV on the market is back in stock with extremely limited availability. Visit rv.campingworld.com to reserve yours today. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With all plans currently 50% off, you can't afford to get stuck without it. Sean Parr having a ball talking about the great products at the Ultimate RV Show. And listen, Furion Vision S cameras are incredible. The motion sensor is my favorite that wakes the monitor when the camera senses movement. Imagine that. Also, they're weatherproof. They're durable. They've got five and seven inch monitors with touchscreen. You can see four cameras at once. Get the Furion Vision S cameras right now and make your camping experience the best ever. We're here at the Ultimate RV Show with Furion Vision S cameras. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Five incredible days at the Ultimate RV Show in the books. Sean Parr, what a crew, what a treat, and what a blessing to be standing on this stage and make history with all of you, because all of you, and we put this on for all of you. And let me just say, can we welcome everybody again with open arms from day one? We talked about it. Our new family members, over 500,000 of them that tuned in over the last five days. Welcome to the camping world and Gander RV and Outdoor family. We could not do this without you. We're so blessed. What a great day, right? Seriously. Wow. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did these past five days. 
This has been an incredible event. Actually, the largest virtual event in the history of this industry. <laughs> I love the way you say history. And Morgan, I know you have had a good time. We've seen some amazing vehicles. And all you got to do now is decide which one you're going to take home with you. I'm telling you, I've been talking to my boyfriend, all of my friends, and we're trying to decide which <laughs> RV is the best for us. We have a ton of trips planned. So we, we've got to get an RV, but we've learned so much. I may have to hit the archived videos just to see which ones to choose right. from. Remember that on-demand button. We have that. Check out the videos. All the RVs and information you need is right there. Yeah, it's ultimatervshow.com. You just click on on-demand. We have over 50 videos to choose from. I know. I think your favorite part, Bria, was uh, waffles. Our, we had a goat here. We had a boxing ring. I, I loved the goat. But the goat in the boxing ring would have been icing on the cake. Oh, that would have been absolutely awesome. <laughs> We're going to count it down uh, from five, ladies, if you will help me. We'll sure. do this in my natural speaking voice because, oh. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> oh. it's just come to the time. We like to call it the Power Hour. Five, five four, four, three, two, one. Chris and Ian, take it away. Let me tell you what, when you get a chance to see a group of people like that up on the stage, Ian, giving us a opening here for the final power hour of the Ultimate RV Show, what a week it has been. Absolutely incredible. I mean, record setting, you know, it is literally the biggest RV show that's ever happened in the industry, right. Chris. Right. And here we were, we were a part of it. I want to thank everyone that has yes. been a part of this, to be able to make it what it is. We couldn't have done it without everyone watching. Yeah, over half a million people tuned in to see us go through first looks, to see us go through brand new RVs in the industry, to get a chance to walk you through and show you just a few little things that you and I were able to cover in such a short span of time. Mm -hmm. But for you spending all of the time that you're able to spend with us, man, is a totally touching and just wonderful experience. And I gotta say, it was probably one of the best of my professional career. I am so glad I got a chance to share it with you and our whole crew here at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. And you know what, Chris? I know that by, just by watching this, we certainly made some people's weeks. I know it made mine, but you know what? what? We have one lucky winner today. We're gonna make someone else's day. We're gonna do it early, buddy. We're giving away. Already? If, listen, it is the last day yeah. of the Ultimate RV Sunday show. Sunday fun day, baby. We're gonna kick it off right. We're gonna do a winner right now. And what do we give away? We give away campus. We give away campers. So my friend, Let's hear it. Kicking it off for the power hour, a Coleman 17B is going to, man, we have some lucky ladies, buddy. It is lady what? after lady after lady for these campers. It is Miss or Mrs. Holly Brandt. Yeah, Holly. Congratulations, Woo! Congratulations on getting that 17B. Coleman 17B, and you are going to be able to make memories like we did here today. I tell you, Chris, again, it, it's kind of bittersweet for me. I've had so right. much fun, and I kind of feel like, you know, I don't know. It, it's touching, right? Like, right in the heart. Like, I just yeah. feel I feel touched in the heart, and yeah. it, it's kind of sad to go. You, you know, it is, but, you know, we've been doing this for a hot minute now. Yes, sir. But, but you know, I understand what, you, understand what you're saying, because, dude, every time when you were out there walking through those units, and you were crushing it. You were, Thank you. I mean, giving those things. You, you, you're so good at what you were doing. I was doing nothing but sending you the love right there, man. I felt it. I felt it. I felt like you were with me. I was with you. I was I was giving you the positive vibes. I was sending my brother my love, letting him know, man, you're the best to do it. You can do it. You, you were crushing it, and you nailed it all week long. And when I was walking through, yeah. I felt you right there. Well, and that's the thing, I buddy. felt you right there. You know, look, I, I see your energy. I feed off it. You're so uplifting, you know? Just, just kind of just want to jump up, you know? Just, yeah. I love it. You just want to jump up and do a dance. And you know what? Chris, my friend right here, yeah. you're yeah. also gonna jump up and make you do a dance. When you see the inside of this beauty, this Forest River Hemisphere Hyperlite. Chris, this is one of many units we have on our clearance list. Let me tell you, the overstock and the pre-owned inventory that we have at Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors is unmatched. We got over 5,000 pieces right now. Of that 25,000 that we have, if you wanna check out something that is pre-owned, if you wanna check out an overstock, yes, just sir. means that it's new, but it's gotta go. That's exactly it. It's gotta go. It's been here too long, somebody's gonna get a heck of a deal on it, but it might be in an area where you're not. Yeah, that's right. So if you text SAVE mm -hmm. to 32094, S-A-V to 32094, you're gonna get a list that's gonna show you all those units stacked up right there on your cell phone, on your computer. You click, boom. Confirm availability. Confirm availability on the one you want, 
Somebody's going to say, yo, you want to see this one? I hear Ian and Chris out there talking about it. Would you like a walkthrough? Let me answer all the questions for you because they can't hear you through that television and the inner tubes. But I can show you everything that you need to see. Well, that's exactly it, Chris. You talk about the overstock, and we saw a bunch of new stuff that's coming out in the industry. Yes. A bunch of amazing stuff. But in order to get that in stock, we have to make room. And so we have some yep. stuff that's left over. We're blowing it out. You saw the prices we've had been rock bottom. And again, we talk pre-owned inventory. Chris, immaculate condition. Yeah. I, I mean, this, this thing great. still has a sticker on it. They yeah. never use this? <laughs> no, it's never been used. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't I know mean, about you, but, you know, is, is this like leaving the wrapping on the couch, right? Yeah. You know, you have it on the bed, the pull-out bed, you leave the plastic on there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you know, sometimes you try to gig it and you try to sleep on it. You can still <laughs> tell. Now, not like leaving the wrapping on the couch like a grandma's house. Oh, okay. I think that okay, stays that's, on there. Uh, yes. That's yeah. <laughs> this is, no, nobody has actually bought it and used it. I mean, you got your area right here to do the clean and the prep. Bam, got my power port. I bet if we look under, I probably have an LP Quick Connect somewhere. I'm willing to bet. Looks like, yep, right there. So if I wanted to bring a grill out, I absolutely could do my grilling. And you know I'm big on the exterior kitchens, man. Oh, yeah. I love the exterior kitchens. It's about hanging out and reconnecting, and it's that inviting space in the camp area. You got the kids playing. You got families over here playing. Yes, sir. You start grilling the dogs. Somebody comes over and says, hey, man, let me... I'll give you a beer if you give me a dog. You know, I'm Ian. Nice to meet you. Absolutely. And you know what? Next experience. round's on me because you know what's in my fridge? A bunch of beer. A bunch of beer. Not in this one. Well, yeah, not yet. But or it was. I mean, is it is it that time yet? That's early. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's early. It's yeah. Sunday. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> it's half past. Chris popping one. That's all I know right about now. So, but I mean, if you could also put the apple juice, uh huh, the orange juice, the water. Yep. You know, all those things that you and I consider mixers, but the kids call drinks. Yes, you sir. can put those in there as well. A beautiful fiberglass. We got the LED Big backlit awning. speakers. Oh, look, look at that. It's got the star of approval. That, it does get a star of approval. Yeah. Or is that a Dallas Cowboy star? Oh, if that's it, we got to take it off. <laughs> I thought that's it was a star coming. of approval. You know, like, like when you do something, you do, you're good, right? Yeah, like you get the gold in star. In grade school, you get a gold star. Yeah. Absolutely. My daughter does that to my stuff, and I love it. Oh. Makes me feel good. That's why, okay, I've noticed on your bag you hit all those gold stars on there. Yeah, okay, of that's course. from the little one. Okay, yeah, I'll yeah, dig yeah. it. You know, I love it. You gotta do good deeds once in a while. Come on in, buddy. Solid steps coming up here. Extra large grab handle. Oh, nice rear living floor plan Beautiful in here, rear man. As you can see, Woo. big open space, Chris. We've been talking about it all day, buddy. At least I have. You know, the dual opposing slides. You have slides that are across from each other. This just creates a huge space, and it's great mm -hmm. for so many reasons. It, you know, it kind of gives you that open floor plan feel, that concept. Yeah. If you have dogs, right, you have plenty of space for them here. They yep. can snuggle up next to the fireplace. Yep. It allows for that island right in the middle of that yes. kitchen, just giving you a ton of prep space plus a bunch of storage. Yeah, I love the fact that you do get the island kitchen. And you do see that a lot with the dual opposing slides. Mm -hmm. But even right here yeah. with the fireplace, this is a good spot for the kids to crash out in the sleeping bags. Exactly. You got the TV right here on the swivel, so it's easy for everybody to see. Yep. You got component space. Take a look at the frosted glass that we have here on the cabinet. That's also beveled in. Yeah, that's cool. That is really nice. And this you is know, a hemisphere. This is just a, a little example of what anybody could see. If yeah. they texted SAVE to 32094, pull up that list, go through it. Look, I got my and, little end tables. And, and you know what, Chris? This is a 2018 unit. I'm wondering really if that maybe this was a unit that took advantage of the assurance program, the Good Sam Assurance. I oh, wonder absolutely. if this was someone's unit. They had it for a few years, loved it very gently. It's obviously in beautiful condition. It is. And maybe, maybe life changed, buddy. Maybe it was just two people. Maybe they had a kiddo. Yeah. You know, needed me needed a little more space. We decided to go for a bunk room. Yeah. Maybe they had kid number two. Who knows? Yeah. You know, maybe we came and picked it up. There are so many options. May or maybe they say, you know what? I'm going with the latest and greatest model. I'm one of those cats that likes to turn over the car every two years. Yep. We have people to do the same thing with RVs. Absolutely. So, I mean, because we do have some of the best financing options, the strength and the size of camping world allows us to have some of the best financing options 100%. for RVs. But that good Sam Assurance. Guaranteed best price, or you're gonna get a thousand bucks in cash. Mm -hmm. You got three days to shop it. If somebody yep. beats the offer, it's genuine, thousand bucks. Thousand bucks in your hand. You want the offer? Twenty four hours. You can have the cash in hand, and we will come get the RV, deliver you the new one, and take the old one away. And you know what, Chris? Do you know what I really just love about that? What's that? Is the fact that it just gives you the the peace of mind and knowing that you're really getting the best deal. Yeah. You know, if we're putting a thousand bucks on the table. You can come in with confidence when you buy, knowing that 
you're getting a fair deal on your trade. It will be over NADA pricing, NADA wholesale pricing every single time. Oh, absolutely. And you know what? Right to the point, right to the heart. Boom, right yes, there, sir. right yes, there. Sir. You nailed a great mm, point. Mm -hmm. Confidence, confidence in our people. Mm -hmm. We have some of the best service techs and these people will come to your location and give you a walkthrough yes. as if you were at the dealership. Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, who else does that? That's exactly right. And you know what else? And the other thing I like too, Chris, is that even from the beginning, and I, I have to give uh, my man Marcus Limonis a shout out, and I mm -hmm. have to give him a lot of credit. From the very beginning, when this whole outbreak hit, he sent out email after email oh. on how he was not just going to protect us as employees, mm -hmm. but protect customers. And I, I applauded him. Um, you know, I uh, spoke with some other people, and CEOs did not all have the same beliefs or feelings sure. he did. You know, sure. until much later, but yeah. he was on top of it, and he made sure that we were all safe. You know, overstocked us with hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, gave us up, masks, yes, yep. gave us masks, yep. set up cleaning schedules. I mean, all this well in advance before mm -hmm. so many other people did. And even now, if people, you know, want to go in, he's making sure that people are safe. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I truly from, you know, from the bottom of my heart, you know, um, you know, it, right there, like, I just have to give the man a lot of credit. You know what? And from, from the bottom of my heart, because, you know, I am a solid marketer. Yes. Sir. Um, I love getting a good solid message out there, the one thing that Marcus made sure that we did not do mm -hmm. was take advantage of the situation. Yes. He positioned everything and everything that we did in such a positive light. It was, it was, hey, we're here, we're here to support you. We know that this might be trying times, but if you wanna get out and you wanna see America safely, come talk to us and let us help you. And 100%. anybody that kind of sets that example and kind of puts that message out there who doesn't all of a sudden see an opportunity Yep. Doesn't turn into an opportunity, but everything yep. was, hey, are my people okay? I mean, those emails at three o'clock in the morning, 1130 at night. I mean, the man was up and constantly worrying about this. And when you yes. have, and that goes that from the top a down. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah you know, that goes from the top down. True. Our whole entire management is like that. Yep. From everybody, stem to stern. You've heard the calls like with Josh, with Randy, with Brandon, with Matt, with Will, with all these phenomenal people that we have that motivate yep. us to do what we do. Yep. And this ain't blowing smoke, man. No, 100%. This is not, this is not blowing smoke. We've already Listen, been paid. You, you, you just, We've already got the yes, kids yes. already passed Friday. It's payday, baby. This is nothing but love and love coming out to the 100%. people who, you know what? We wouldn't be able to do this if we didn't have a good motivating structure ahead of us to do it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, anytime you look at a company, you know, leadership is 100% key. And yeah. I've worked at a lot of places, Chris, and I'm going to tell you the leadership for me all the way up. Yep. You know, I would, I would do just about anything for all the people the entire yeah. way up. They are phenomenal leaders, um, very caring. I mean, oh, absolutely. you know, today, you know, I, it's funny. I, I got a, a tweet uh, last night, you know, from, from someone and they, they said that, uh, you know, after this, you know, we deserve a week vacation. And you know, what's funny is our boss, he, you know, looks me in the eye and he's like, Ian, he goes, absolutely, man, take time. You know, yeah. take a couple of days. He's like, listen, I had you for a week. Go spend time with your family. And you know, I, I absolutely love that, dude. I was I was supposed to fly out tomorrow that. morning, and he's yeah. like, he's like, hey, we're gonna be wrapping up soon. He's like, if you can catch a flight out, go home tonight, dude. That, let me tell you what, from top to bottom, it's like that. Marcus, Tamara, I mean, Brenda. There is not a person in this organization I've had a chance to work with that just hasn't been top of the line, mm -hmm. cut from the best cloth, good people. And to that point, and I love that sentiment. I love that from the bosses. Yes, me. Yeah, because of my love for my big dog, mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna stay here and just continue streaming live myself, and and until every piece that we have here is just gone. My boy Josh Erickson, I got I got to make him proud, baby. I get I got to make the band I get that. proud. Chris, I I wish I could be here with you. I do, I do. I've had you, such you, a good time. I, I I am here. I am with you. You are spirit. with me in spirit, hundred percent. Just you know. Just wear me like your emotions on a sleeve. You know, I'm right there, buddy. I'm going to wear you like a cummerbund on my midsection. Man, I don't know that I could be happier. It's just a warm, snuggly place to be, my friend. It's the best place to be. That's probably the softest part of my body, my wife tells me all the time. <laughs> and you know, some of the softest places in this camper right now. Right here on this sofa, <laughs> this buddy. Sofa. Right here on this sofa. If you can't tell, we're dragging it out because we don't want to get up. <laughs> <laughs> we have been walking RVs. All day. And having fun. All week. And let me tell you what. 
Cut that fireplace on, man. Let's get the game on. Yeah? Your lions are playing. My bears are playing. Hey, you know what? I have to check that. Last I looked, listen, I predicted it when I was doing walkthroughs. I said my lions were going to beat the Packers. And I looked, and this was a bit ago, but it was 14-3. Knock on wood. Right? I don't know. It may happen, bud. Well, it I've, may happen. I've said it many times. I'm a, I'm a diehard Bears fan. Uh -huh. you, you've seen my Bears memorabilia. I got oh, yeah. a oh, we've, foot inflatable I put up We've had house. arguments over it before. Yeah, but I pull for the Lions every week except for two each year. <laughs> That's fair. Every week except uh -huh. for two. Uh -huh. And Bears fans out there, now look, corporate folks, we just gave you all some love, but a lot of our corporate family are Packers fans. Yeah, I know. And if you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about professional football. <laughs> the National Football League, uh, two professional teams that just so happen to be we are fans of. Yes, um, that is correct. They're Packers fans. Yeah. But I don't mind saying Packers stink. I pull for them to lose every week. I don't like Aaron Rodgers' mustache. It's, done, it's not as clean as yours. You know, Chris. It doesn't look as good as your face. His facial hair doesn't I, match yours at all. I knew I liked you. I knew I liked you. That's love. I knew it. That's love I all day long. I knew whole time. I mean, it's just a... When you can see greatness and experience greatness and package greatness. And you know what? You know what a one of the best ways to see greatness is, Chris? How's that? In an RV right here in our beautiful country. Heck yeah. Safe way there. possible. That's exactly it, buddy. That's what yeah. we said from the start. Yep. Staying it's safe. A, you're going in your place. You're going in your home. You're taking your home, your people, your things with you. Yep. And you don't have to worry about setting up plane tickets. You don't have to worry about changing flights and going through the hassle. Charges, setting up, okay, honey, oh, we need to plan out. Oh, gosh, is this place going to be open? Do we need to call six months in advance? If you got an RV. Oh, yeah. Hey, dog, you got time? Let's go fishing. Let's go overnight. Dime. You can just go. Your home is with you. Yeah, that's exactly right. Anywhere you go, you got a place to crash. You got good company with you. It's all yeah. you need. And you, there's a lot of trepidation. A lot of people say, oh, well, I don't, eh, I don't. Let me tell you, once you get in it, mm -hmm. you'll get this analogy. Yeah. Because, you know, you fit man. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> it's like a gym. No, I'm just kidding. You kind of have a little trepidation buying that membership because you think, oh, what are people going to think? I'm going to walk in there in my Richard Simmons shorts, and what are people going to say about me when mm -hmm. I roll up in there? But let me tell you, just like a gym, the more you use it, mm -hmm. the more you like it, mm -hmm. the more you benefit from it. Your RV, the all more right, you use all right. it, the more you like it, all right. the more you benefit from it. Man, and you know what? that was good. Don't care if you roll up in here with the purple lights. Don't care if you roll up in here with the leg warmers. Get out and see America the safest way possible. Go on, put your headband on. That's right. Rock your wristband. Rock and roll, baby. I'll do it every day. Hey, listen. I, earlier, bud, I was doing I was doing some sit-ups. I was oh. doing jumping jacks. Oh. One point in this week, I was doing some push-ups right here in an RV. Oh, so man, living the best life. It's a good space. I'm I mean, telling look, you, you got, you got the areas over here, here, buddy. You can knock them out. You got it. I mean, you get to see so many great units when you just text SAVE to 32094. And look, if you want to set up some campsites you want to set up some good stuff outside you Look want to get the uh, you want to get the best in Not chairs lights. you want to get the best in ma stabilizers mats, pads jacks. for the inside oh dude stabilizer jacks mm -hmm. water filters water hoses sewer hose kits oh yeah every yeah, all your essentials the whole thing our retail team is phenomenal mm -hmm. text cw deals cw deals 32094 yeah up to 75% off right now on retail items and and chris Here's the thing I really love about that is, again, <clears throat> it is off things you are going to need. It's yeah. not like it's just, you know, uh, you're going to a, a second chance store or, you know, like a, a second hand store where it's stuff mm -hmm. that's left over. That's not it. That's not the case. Right. This is stuff that you are going to want, stuff yeah. that you are going to need for your camping trips. Yeah, we call them you're campsite just saving essentials. Money. Yeah. Exactly. And you know what? If you got a chance to watch, Ian and I both had a chance to work with David, Kaylin. They were uh, fantastic. Yeah, oh, they, they, they were great. I mean, they, oh my gosh. Melissa, they were phenomenal. Lauren, yep. to go through some of our retail things for you. Now, all of that is streaming at ultimatervshow.com, campingworld.com. Yeah, we have it archived on YouTube. Yeah, we have it archived on YouTube. You can just go and just put, you know, hey, how about some campsite essentials? What about furniture upgrades? What yes. can I get? Where can that's, I go that's get That's a big one. Furniture's yeah. huge. Yeah, that's that's one of those <clears> things that a lot mattresses. of people... Well, it's the things that people don't think about, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. when you're talking mattresses, while some do have residential size mattresses, that's not mm -hmm. always the case. A lot of RVs will have what they call camper queens, camper which queen. are a little shorter. Mm -hmm. You know, there's specialty mattresses. There's specialty sheets you can get for mm -hmm. them. If 
you want to, you know, I was, I was talking to my wife the other day and, you know, we look at some of these a uh, little bit older floor plans before theater seats were a thing. Right. And you have, you know, a couple chairs there. Well, listen, if you yeah. want to take those chairs out, put in theater seats or put in a couch and, you know, move theater seats mm -hmm. somewhere else, you can kind of change your whole floor plan. Yeah. Just by changing a few pieces of furniture. I mean, the updating and the redesign of RVs is such a huge thing right now. And, and I think after the Ultimate RV Show, mm -hmm. one of the ultimate things you and I should work on with the team yes. is Pimp My RV, <laughs> where we should come in I like this. and just I like completely this. redesign it. And, new, you know, furniture, new furniture, new lights. Yeah, new everything. We just come in. Marcus, you listening? He's on to something. We just come in and we just pimp that RV. We turn it into a special. Okay. Maybe it's something streaming. Maybe we got something for that. Maybe we don't. Maybe I'm a little off my rocker. I did hit my head a lot this week <laughs> while going through campers. I'm just saying. And I think I saw Elvis in one of the Jacobs out there. So, But no, I, I, I like that idea because you're absolutely right. We have this stuff to do it. Uh, I think that would be a cool show. And mm -hmm. when we talk about furniture, Chris. I talked about it, uh, you know, in some of my videos it's with Kaylin. Yeah, but, great you session. know, a lot of people don't realize that when you look at like residential furniture, because that's what people think, right? Like, oh, I'm just going to go buy this big couch. Nope. A lot of times you can't fit it through the door, buddy. Yeah. You know, the RV furniture is built to come apart, it's built to go in place, and most of it looks like it matches, which will up your resale value. Yeah, exactly. And which it, it, it kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, the, the retail products that we sell, the furniture that Ian's talking about, the financing that we do, the insurance that we do, yes. it's made to fit. Good Sam is the insurance agency for RVs, plain they, and simple. They have a huge suite of products, man. Yeah, and it's made for RVers. I mean, yep. it's just, you, you want to go with what you know. They know RVs, they know insurance. Coming up, the yeah, stairs. Let's take a quick it. look. I, I like Dig the handrail. That's I nice. I like that. That's a nice, nice touch. Yeah. yeah. Got the pass-through bathroom. I'm a big fan of those because if you do have people down there, um, let's say, you know, the kids or whatever, or you got friends staying over, and you're like, man, look, me and the wife are turning in. Y'all have fun. Don't worry about it. They have access to the bathroom without disturbing you and vice versa. And then we have the residential-style shower with the glass enclosure. And let me tell you what. That's all love, too, in there, man. Look oh, at it. Oh, thank goodness. Didn't have a lock. I was like, oh, man, Chris is going to lock me in here. If it had, I would have done it. I would have had it. <laughs> like, so, as you know, I would have just kept talking. Yeah. Just flipped it around. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Heavy hands coming over the top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks like somebody came up in here and took a nap. Oh, that was me. I was oh, sleepy. Okay. No, just kidding. Hang on here. Let me make sure. Because, you know, here's the other thing. We got these. Got a bracket for a TV in here? Yeah, I got the TV mount. That's nice. <clears throat> My man Kev's trying to get in here. Oh, comfy. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, this is plush. Yeah, You is. know, speaking of mattresses, we also sell... This, this is an upgraded mattress in this one, Those Chris. Those comfort zone and those sleep numbers. This is a comfort zone right here, bud. That's... There it is. You Dude. talk about... And that's one of the big things, right? So, Woo. not to not to interrupt you here, but... No, no, no. Something right that on. people don't realize, and I get this question a lot, is people say, you know, why are, why are RV mattresses so uncomfortable? But here's the thing, manufacturers in the past have actually tried to put in more expensive <laughs> mattresses. The problem is it's a very, very personal thing, yeah. right? Like I have a sleep number at home for good reason because I like a much firmer mattress. Right. My wife likes a, a lot softer one. So wh what she considers a comfortable mattress, I don't. Right. So when a manufacturer is putting you know, $2,000 into a mattress, it, you still may not think it's comfortable. At that point, you're just wasting money. Right. So, you know, right. so they put in a basic mattress and if you want to upgrade it, that's where we come in. You know, we have the mattresses available. Yeah. You can get a, a mattress to your liking, whether it's firm, whether it's soft, somewhere in the mm -hmm. middle. You know, they, they make sleep number mattresses for RVs. I know my yeah. in-laws have one. Yep. <laughs> my, my dad's got one. Yep. And his diesel pusher. My wife and I, when we took the kids over there, my other two sisters were there. So we stayed in his 92 Gulfstream. There you go. And that's sleep number, man. You can lay down and you just hit the numbers. And before you know it, you fall asleep with your finger on the button. <laughs> And you know, it's like, ah, I got the hundred. Ah, I, got the, I slept on the floor. I, yeah, I rolled over, <laughs> boom, boom. So, but no, they, they are extremely handy. And talk to your industry specialist, talk mm -hmm. to your service specialist about what's right for you. But Ian's spot on, man. Mattresses are so personal. Yep. And we say it all the time, we get a chance to talk to people. When you get your RV, go ahead and get your mattress. Yeah. Get, get you a mattress 100%. that you love. Because that's going to make or break having a good time sometimes. You, you know, Chris, uh, someone once told me, and, and I, I live by this, that, you know, you spend a third of your life laying down on your mattress. Right. Why wouldn't you get something that's comfortable? Yeah, absolutely. 
Should we go take a look at the outside, my man? Why, why would I stand up here <laughs> like Lurch all hunched over with? <laughs> because it's love, Looking man. good, though, buddy. It's all love. It's all love. <laughs> Let's so, come on out. I love the fact that this week mm -hmm. we, we got a chance with the Ultimate RV Show to show some new RVs, to unveil some new products, but, but more importantly than that, to, to have some fun. Chris, it's, I, it's been such a good time. I mean, and again, I say this with all honesty, like I don't know that I've ever been, you know, ever done a job, ever had a career where I've been able to have as much fun as I have today yeah. and still be able to help people with information, with good mm -hmm. pricing. Um, you know, I, and I, I said this on Twitter, I've said this on camera, we've had some of the best deals here this week that I've ever seen in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, and I've seen a lot of positive comments about people about how happy they are, you know, they're getting, they're learning so much, they're getting yeah. so much information. And that for me is affirmation. You know, it's, it's tough for me to be here, to be away from my family for yeah. a week at a time. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I have a seven month old at home. I have yeah. a five year old, you know, I have a 14 year old. My kids miss me and I miss them. But when I'm, you know, when I'm here and I see all the positive feedback that what good we're doing, how much we're helping people, it makes it all worth it. Yeah. You know, it, it's validation. Yeah. Um, and at the end I of the day, it, when we get a chance to remember that, that what we're doing is, uh, we're, we're selling a good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100%. We're, we're selling safety, security, and a good time. And, you know, Ian and I have said at every power hour, you, you know, we, we, we do get real from time to time. We like to have fun and we poke a lot of fun. But at the same time, what we're really trying to do is communicate to everyone that, look, this really is a lifestyle that's a good choice. There are so many options out there, but the main thing that comes through is the safety and the security of being able to see the country the safest yep. way possible, which is in an RV. And I want to take a quick minute, if I can. Yeah, please. We have had such tremendous professionals here with us all yes. week long. The production crew that we've been using, CMS, they have been absolutely outstanding. And when you have a group that was able to do that and allow us to focus on bringing you this message and having a lot of fun and having our management team here, yep. allowing us to have fun and keeping us pumped up, man, from all of us here at Camping World, and especially from Ian and myself, yes, thank you to you guys for allowing 100%. us to do it. Because, dude, we have had so much fun out here. And, and it like, has been love on love on love all day. Yep, and, and, and it, it shows, Chris. Again, you know, the people that are watching, like you said, nothing but, nothing but love, my nothing friend, love. coming nothing our love. way. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been it, it literally uh, one time, a uh, once in a lifetime experience. Like, yeah. I, I'm just tickled pink. Yeah. You know, my, my heart is soaring. Yeah, and sometimes the words escape us, but you know what? It is love, and I got nothing but love for our fabulous host as we begin to wind down the Ultimate RV Show. Yes, let's send sir. it back one more time to our fabulous host, Dr. Sean Parr. Please take it away. <laughs> I love you guys, man. There is a lot of love here. Chris Young, Ian Baker, man. I, I tell you what, you guys are so good at what you do, and we can't thank all of you enough that have been a part of this history-making week here. We've had such a great time, right? Get this. Speaking of time, we have been live streaming for 2,940 minutes. Hold on just a second. I'm sorry. How long? Yes, yes you heard that. 2,940 minutes of the <laughs> Ultimate RV Show. Oh, my goodness. And I'll tell you what. How many people have tuned in, Rhea? Over half a million of you have tuned in. Wow. Which is remarkable. And when we talk record breaking, we truly mean it. Morgan, your favorite part this week? I'd say breaking history with these numbers, with our viewers, learning so much about RVs. This is new territory for me. So I want to buy one, seriously. <laughs> and working with this dynamic team has been a pleasure. It's hard not to get emotional when you talk about people you work with for a week, you spend 10 hours a day with, but seeing the numbers that you all have provided, and speaking of numbers, Ian, I just have the only bad news that I can bring this week is that, um, I'm sorry about your Detroit Lions, uh, the Packers came back, last I checked, 34-14, 31 unanswered points, but on behalf of all of us, I, I just want to say we're not slowing down, we're not stopping by any means. We've got the Camping World Concert Series that happens every single Tuesday at 8 o'clock Central, and we've got the biggest stars in country music. We started last week with Alabama. We've got Martina McBride. We've got our own Chris Young, but we also have country superstar Chris Young and Zach Brown and so many more, guys. Uh, the Camping World Concert Series is truly 
a remarkable, remarkable show, and I'm so blessed to host that, just like you guys and all of us have been blessed to host this record-breaking event. Sean, that hit my man right in the heart. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my, <laughs> my Lions, they never failed to disappoint me, but I love them so much. <laughs> well, listen, we also want to talk about uh, one last special, very amazing thing that we're doing. Yes. We want to announce... The Follow Us to a Million. It's, this is an initiative that is so incredible to bring the RV community together. You all have come together this week. There will be over $100 million or $1 million in RV and cash prizes. If you don't already, here's what you need to do. You need to follow us on Facebook, on our Twitter, on our Instagram. That All the details are right there. And if you want to get eligible for any of those prizes, all you have to do is be a part of what we're doing that we like to call our big camping world and, of course, Gander RV and Outdoor Family. And you know, Sean, talking about the, uh, the concert series, amazing concert series we're putting on, we had a little contest with that. And we, we happen to have a winner. Oh! Oh, yes! A Here we go. A concert series winner who was able to guess all 10 acts in order. Wow. What? All 10 acts in order. Wow. wow. And I don't know if it's Marion giving off the good luck vibes <laughs> or what it is, but I swear every, or every winner I have is a female. Every time. And here we go. The winner of a brand new motorhome Woo! for the concert series is Rachel Fell. Hey! You wow. Rachel! Good work. You are going to love it. And like Chris said, you're going to be able to uh, tour this beautiful country and see the sights in the safety and luxury of an RV. Absolutely. Truly remarkable. Thank you all so much for making history with us. Most importantly, welcome to the camping world, Gander RV and Outdoor Family, because this is what it's all about. Seeing the highways across America. Thank you for an amazing five days, and we're not done yet. Guys, on behalf of all of us, we want to say, and to our incredible crew, thank you as well, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for making history with us. God bless you. Thank you.